Friday night tights. You're about to get frostbitten. Get him. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. All you geeks and gamers better stop jerking off to me, okay? I smell like burnt hair and Julie. That is stopping you. I talk to you like you're retarded because I think you're all retarded. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. Frostbitten. Go frost. Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frostbitten. Go frost. Wow. Why like tights? Get him. Frost. Not jerking off. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. <laughs> it's weird. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. I am not qualified. <laughs> Go ahead. Make my day. Get him. Call me Beaver Barbie. Bitch, you're that goddamn ugly. I jerked off to the dislike ratio. I'm not hot to you. No. No. What in the heck did I just walk into? <laughs> wow. People keep confusing me for a brief you best than Justin Bieber. Someone in the chat called me Eminem mid transition. Frost bitten. Go frost. Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frost bitten. Go frost. Wow. Why like tights? Frost bitten. Go frost. Now press F if you're not jerking off. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. I'm standing up for all the women at G4. Emily. Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Pocket, Scissors, Tape Dispenser, and Filing Cabinet. <laughs> X-Ray, girl, she is a beautiful young oriental. X-Ray, girl, she gave me cock. Ask them the price of cock. X-Ray, girl, what is this for you to stroke your chopstick to? <laughs> Nerdgerotic.com Go. Let's go. Let's go. Where'd we go? I got it. Don't worry. Okay. Wait a picky. Yo, go get frosted. I pay, I pay this man top dollar for that. <laughs> so now I don't have to. I, I delegated my boomers uh, to to the younger generation. Welcome. Oh, shit. Let's do that again. It's right in our tights. Our hands are going to be as calloused as Sarazon's afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, yours are already calloused. Let's be real. <laughs> I, I masturbate a lot with no lotion or lube. So, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Respect. 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 Yeah. <laughs> respect. Yeah. Hey, respect. Uh, it's FNT. We're going to talk about Rings of Power. We're going to talk about She Hulk. Uh, dance on G Ford's grave a little bit it's gonna be a good night it's a good it's been a good yeah. week you, you know regardless of how much we dance on g4's grave it won't be as disrespectful as what frost did maybe they'll listen someday folks maybe they'll listen yeah
Maybe. Uh, but yeah, she, she's, I hope not. Still, she's still fighting with people in her comments about the incorrect statements she made about Xbox and PlayStation exclusives oh. that are the reason people like went after her in the first place that yep. resulted in her doing the sexism and gaming rant. She's still arguing with people about that and blaming YouTubers for it. Yep, yeah. still to the, I mean that, and a lot, not a lot of people really realize that. That's what I did in my video the other day was talking about. That's what led to it. Like she was, they were doing their Xbox predictions for 2022 show, and she sat there with with four other dudes that they know what they're talking about. I mean, Adam's Adam Sessler's a nut job, but he knows what he's talking about. She made these statements that the PlayStation Five was dead on arrival in 2022, and that Sony had no exclusives. Every Everybody that knows anything about gaming was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And none of them would challenge her. Now, the chat was like, this bitch don't know what, what are you talking about. <laughs> Posted her. That's what led to her going sexism in gaming. That. She's Imagine like, distraction. That. Sexism exactly. in gaming. It's not exactly. me. Exactly. It's they unbelievable. Still- they probably could have got away with that, but everyone backed her. Everyone was yep. cheering everyone. on the side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the company came out on Twitter afterwards. And so you, it's the then company. not just one person that takes all the ire, it's your entire company. Yep. Yep. So, fuck them. You know. Fuck. Yeah. I'm not that little, for little girl who's though. just like looking at the camera when the house is burning behind. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Let it burn, baby. No, oh, it's it's burning. They just can't fire her. So this is the best example of you let that uh, poison in. Uh, it's hard to get it out. It's cancer. It's stage four. So they just, uh, the 30 people who got fired all probably should have been at that job more than Frost. Oh, no, they all should have been at that job more than Frost. Uh, but they yep. can't fire her because they're still trying to save face over this. And, and like, Welcome yeah. to crime. Okay. Oh, well. There, there might be... <laughs> It might not take too long for her. No, uh, for no, her no. She got a couple so, months. She survived yeah, a couple yeah. months. There's, uh, there's a couple months, I think. Yeah. What's up, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers? How are you? What's up, Gary from Nerdrotic? It's been a, a good week. Uh, I got to troll a bunch of losers on Twitter uh, with my Cobra Kai Season 5 Goes Woke video, um, proving all of the, proving that all of it is all in bad faith because not not one single loser that screenshots our, our you know, thumbnails and videos actually watched the video because all it would have took was like 10 seconds. 10 seconds for you to realize that I was praising the, the show nonstop, but that was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I can't lie, you know, G4 and Frost, uh, I, I'm really not sad at all about it at all. I'm actually uh, enjoying every single aspect of it uh, because you get what you deserve, and it's been so funny. And uh, I think I survived Rings of Power. My God, that episode four was so bad. I made such a bad joke that even Ryan told me not to say it live, so I said it before the show. Um, it's not true. I'm yes. totally down with you saying it. Yeah, just maybe a little later. <laughs> But yeah, uh, it's uh, it's been a hell of a good week. Happy to get this party started. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do What's this. Up, chat? I have to get my Rings of Power notes because I probably forgot. Uh, <laughs> oh, and shout out to my girl Bree, by the way. I love having Bree! you back. Uh, back I love man. having you back. I saw the quartering in chat. Uh, I'm, uh, I know you took the top spot, but I'm ready to take back the, the Bree throne. So uh um my girl tracking number one every video i make it's my girl has still got it my girl has still got it so captain marvel five six seven eight nine and ten better happen because geese and gamers <laughs> are going places if that goes on so oh. they're gonna need a lot of black and brown people to cast <laughs> along with brie larson if they want to justify making all those movies oh they can hey, no, they have a, a racist director who had to delete tweets too remember that <laughs> The 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 yeah. other the woman who's in that picture that's shielding Brie, because <clears throat> that's oh, yeah, what it is. The one who's, oh, the yeah, one who's yeah. kind of fat, right? That one. No, no, those the one in the uh, the one standing. Oh my God! Yeah. No, <laughs> no, that's not what I said. You brought up Brie. Bro. I, 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 no, no, I Bro. said pull up the Melanie Bro. Mac tweet talking Bro. about Bro. sexism in Middle ah. Earth. We, I was about to eat this pizza, man. Jesus. Awesome. Why you gotta hurt a brother like that? Yeah. Listen, Here, let's put up say, something Ryan, better. We know we'll, your standards. We'll put up something better. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. That's better. Now this I can back to. This I can back to. Okay. <laughs> uh, rumor has it though, Zipper got uh, Zipper actually got fired. <laughs> so uh, like yeah, she thought she was just living off the coattails of Frosk and uh, posted this, but. Uh, 
Rumor has it, no zipper is a is a fatality as well. So who knows what's gonna happen in that one? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No sprinkles. <laughs> Just have, like, one that, is <laughs> that is good. It is Holy so shit. good. It is perfectly bad to make it good yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. low effort yeah. pixelation is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> pixelation Placement. just a straight line at the fucking neck <laughs> brilliant yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what you have was the corporate I, like i love how corporations like they don't understand the internet they thought that you know by putting those stupid watermarks on memes that it would stop people from <laughs> using those memes it's like no, you don't understand no. like there's an art to making a bad meme yes. there's actually an art to it and that is art right there that was perfect so her meme game is on love it. Yeah, and the watermark makes good. it just even better you get <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> This will stop them. Oh, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> Simu Lu everywhere. <laughs> Watermarks across his face. Just adding fake ones. Just, that's, that's not all this crap. Can't, can't wait for his second movie. I can't, can't even remember what it's called. Chang Chi. Can't remember. Can't it's going to be called The Other it's Marvels. <laughs> that's by the time the sequel comes out. <laughs> my, my sister starring Chang Chi. Exactly. Mm. Hello, Az. From Hello. heel versus baby face. What's up? I, I tell you what, you know, I've had, I've had a couple of dark times in my life, you know, I've had a cancer scare. I've had some some trauma in my childhood. Nothing's ever made me want to fucking delete myself more than TV <laughs> this week. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking she hole. I was, I was, I was cocking the gun. I was cocking the fucking gun. <laughs> and then today in Rings of Power, it was in the mouth, Gary. It was in the fucking mouth, Gary. <laughs> well, you're in English. It's a butter. I'm glad you're here. I mean, it was a Nerf gun. Just saying. Okay. Um, it's still confiscated, though. Yeah. It, uh, neighbor neighbor came over, took it away from me. It was bad. It was bad. Wow, I mean, She-Hulk was this bad. Is, this is one of the... Like, I, look, I do cringe TV for a living. This week was... T you know, Jeremy said this was a great week. This was tough. This was fucking tough this week to get through this shit. That's like going through a fucking quicksand like... Ah! <laughs> You're in a nightmare, just, uh, dude. You gotta look. I can't run. I can't. And like run. rings of power hands are coming up, trying to drag you down. I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Turn that. Every as, time you thought the episode has ended, they did another. They scene. did another <laughs> scene. Oh, yeah. 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 It's coming in my mouth. It's coming in my mouth. It's coming in my mouth. Turn, turn that uh, uh, turn that disprove <laughs> we know you love it you little sadist yeah this is your perfect oh, no. timeline i heard you say that <laughs> i was watching no, rings of absolutely power today it was but nothing has challenged me as much as this episode uh, compared to wheel of time episode seven is the worst i made the video i've never watched it i never watched it back i edited it once and left it forever this for the last 12 hours i've been on this episode and it's oh it's I, really I, I was bad. watching today. I was watching, and I'm like, I'm going to get through this episode in one go. I'm, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go nope. through. And I was no, nope. and I, I failed. Yeah. Just want to say, yes. I did yes. fail. Yes. Yeah. But but I was what at start. I was watching, and I was watching, and I was watching. And it got to a point. Where I was like, I'm fucking struggling. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. It's like, okay, I've got to take a break. I must have moosed about 25, 30 minutes of it, and I, then I moved the mouse over. Fucking ten minutes. <laughs> It 10 minutes in. I and checked I like, it 30 minutes left, dude. I was like, <laughs> this has got to be over, right? Hover. 30 oh. minutes. Yeah. No, it was it was really tough to like I told you, I, I was I was having to force myself not to look at my phone all through the episode. It was so boring. The only parts that even got me interested was when they were going full MAGA country uh, with the tiki torches <laughs> talking about the elves. Uh, you know, I, I finally <laughs> felt represented by Amazon. Job. Did you? <laughs> Just they tried okay. with Homelander, Le Le and you know, but, yeah, the Alan no Memers. That <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh, yeah. Take your germs. Because, take your germs. Uh, guys, the uh, the allegory was a little too subtle last episode. They had to yeah, dig, dig. dial it up a little bit.
Didn't yeah. quite get this <laughs> one. Yeah. Legion of Memers, we need you to get the tiki torches in the hands of all of them when they're saying. Uh, oh, dude. Elf lover, elf lover, elf lover. Elf lover. Wait, wait. At the end, when they all like uh, volunteer, mm -hmm. uh, they're all yeah. doing like a. They're doing the fucking. They're like. It's like, what the hell? They're all doing it. <laughs> that was I was like, like, really like whoa. Right now? <laughs> That's a little on the nose. <laughs> I'm just um, really glad that they really honored Tolkien by putting an allegory in there. A man who famously <laughs> loves allegory. There's not a quote out there, something that's effective. I cordially dislike allegory in all of its manifestations. I think, but, no, the Tolkien <laughs> professor like said he found a letter that says, I totally love allegory, man. It's like fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what a piece this is of shit that guy is. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, That's a little too on the nose there, right? Oh, <laughs> oh, good lord. Man, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, Richard Spencer was hired for an extra in this. <laughs> that, that has to be intentional. Like, you can't tell me, like, when people say, raise your hand to volunteer, you naturally just do this. You know, yeah, you, yeah, like, up. Like, Go ahead. This was a directorial decision. Everyone, we yes. need you facing forward. Like, the, the, gosh. Same hey. arm. Everybody, hey, why are you making us arm? do this <laughs> Roman salutes? You, you've got the orcs, uh, yeah. by the way, in the Southlands going, my man. Uh, <laughs> Again, we were like when we were talking about how bad this was going to be. Like we were, we weren't bullshitting. Like it's really no. fucking bad. It's really bad, and it's bad for a a lot of different reasons. If you're an if you're just a, a normie, a casual viewer, it's horrifically boring. If so you're boring. paying to the social commentary, it's unbelievably on the nose. If you're a lore person, it's next level beyond anything you could expect of how horrible it is. At no level is this good or entertaining, no matter what type of viewer you are. This is unreal. I mean, it's, a, it's I, amazing how bad it is. Can I add one? We're going like, to get shit canned. If, yeah, if, go if, you're a, if you're a writer, this will give you an aneurysm. Because <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> crap dialogue and structure and like oh i can't i i gosh it is unbelievably oh. garbage absolute yeah. garbage like, so they, i can't like, wait till we get to the episode like when refusing to tell somebody and like making them swear basically on their fucking mother father lord everything they possibly could swear to never tell anything about this Thank it's so you. secret and then 30 seconds later be like if you just want to take this back. Yeah, take it. <laughs> take it what are you talking about? You just made him swear and you're like, no, I didn't take it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, this yeah. is a guy who can't lie. He says no secret is worth deceiving someone over. So if anyone yeah. asks him what it is, he's just gonna tell him straight away. <laughs> yep. I was like, oh yeah, I mean you mean this? Yeah, I Honestly, right I think here. I'm gonna try. I, th I think I'm gonna get custom hats made of make Numenor great again. That's what I think I'm gonna <laughs> have made right there. Oh. Like it's just so this is so bad, man. Holy shit. Oh, man. I'm on Team Numenor. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, what's up, Ryan Kinnell? Uh, so you're no longer uh, alt Rohirrim. You're just Team Numenor? I'm yeah, I mean, I'm Team Numenor. I, like, get the fucking knife ears out of here. They're fucking everything up. I, I kind of <laughs> understand what they're saying. So, yeah. Elf, there, elf lovers. There's a, there's a lot going on. I'm just looking forward to Episode 5 of House of the Dragon on Sunday night. Yep. Um, so that's going to be yeah. excited. I'm ready for that. But... There's a lot of shit to talk about, and most of it's fucking horrific, but uh, at least we get to bash it together, which is the good thing. That's the one good thing to come out of all this bad entertainment is we get to sit here and roast it live for a couple hours every yep. Friday. Yeah, it's been, and a lot of people are reading the books now, so I think a ton of good has come out of this, actually. I, I, Tons it, of people it, watching the oh. extended cut, too, of, yeah. the, of the original trilogy, yeah. of the, of the only the, trilogy. Yeah. Watch it on HBO yeah, Max, not on fucking Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of the it's extended free. cut, well, with this, we've had in. four hours of the show so far. If yeah. we were watching the Lord of the Rings extended cut, we've gone through all of the Fellowship of the Rings yep. and yeah. half an hour of the two towers. Yeah. Just, and just think everything that happened in the extended cut of just the Fellowship. Yeah. And then just think how nothing has happened in this fucking show. And the only yeah. defense Isildur I've seen is not of your that. favorite character in every the scene that she's in is I've so important. Come on, the on, only disparate. defense I've seen of that is people comparing it to 50 hours long of show. 
So they're saying, well, you know, those movies, they're like 12 hours together, but this is 50. So it can be boring for so much longer. It's relative <laughs> yeah, time. great. It's such a terrible excuse, but it's the only one I ever see. Great rationalization wow. there, except for the fact that we're going to see the fall of Kaza Doom and Durin's Bane, the fall of Numenor and the War of the Last Alliance. And they and haven't got, like oh, and, oh, years. sorry, and the forging of the rings. And none of it happens in the first season. Not a single. That's why they debate you now. They're like, they get you all hyped at the start of the episode. Yes, Numenor's got destroyed. No, they bring it back. Nope. It, was like it was a the dream. It was uh, all hey, a dream. I loved it when they showed the exact same thing the second time because I didn't get it the first time too with no differences whatsoever, except for Guy Ladriel getting hit by the wave, which I did like. I rooted for a little bit. Had to admit, I was like. <laughs> I was sad when she woke yeah. up. Yeah, I was too. I liked how she took someone else's baby and used it as a human shield. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> There's bad things happening out there. You just see over her shoulder is the real mother. Like, can I, can I take that back now? Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, that was my reaction. Like, I, you know, bad thing you just happened. Are you, you going to give the baby back and just expect? Yeah, no, she'll take it with her. Just, <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Uh, she's, what, she's, what the... she's dreaming of drowning babies. Okay. <laughs> One of the most insane things is that this is coming out at the same time that House of the Dragon is coming out. Yep. And in reality, they're adapting very similar things. Yes. You know, they're adapting things that cover a lot of time and are very sparse in terms of the specifics involving them. And while House of the Dragon is doing like a remarkable job of taking a couple paragraphs and turning it into an entire show and filling in a lot of gaps and like showing how things actually happen compared to maybe how some people perceived events like Rings of Power is doing the complete and total opposite. I, I, how, how do we have both of these shows at the same fucking time? That's crazy. embarrassing That's for the author's Amazon show. Prime. It's so embarrassing for them. Author's dead. Like, one's alive. <laughs> that I mean, that has something to do with it. Uh, uh, but no, th there's, there's, we're in the worst timeline when George R. R. Martin's show is better than a Tolkien adaptation. And I say that as a fan of A Song and Ice and Fire, but this should not be. This should not be happening, uh, especially with the amount of money they spent, Amazon spent. It's 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 a travesty, but here we are. It's better. House of Dragon is a thousand times better. Uh, hi, it's, Quarter Black. It's competent. It's yeah, competent. It's competent. It, yeah. It's, it's well-written. So uh, a thousand times somewhere. better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a seven out of ten show so far with, like, one really extraordinary episode. <laughs> Um, and with some yep. big potential. Big, well, yeah. Yeah. If people are, like, it's not going to be slow forever. And um, it gets pretty brutal. It gets really fucking brutal. Uh, that's, I think that's where, that's where the complaints are going to come in from a lot of sensitive people. When people start getting, like, just ravaged and kids die and people get you, eaten by have, dragons. Blood, yeah. blood and cheese. Blood and cheese, dude, cheese. is going to be bad. It's gonna Dude, be bad. They, uh, oh man, I'm all for it. I don't it. know what like, these are. Bring it on! Like, like to me, that's just, oh, you know, it's I'm well, it's sorry. It, it's sorry, can we it's just... a historically Blood accurate thing. It's 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 it. You know, it's kind of like locking two twins up in a tower for the rest of their lives, never to be seen, seen again. So similar, but worse. So yeah. I, I, yeah, I've, I've, I I haven't watched this episode two. I just I can't get into it. I, I just don't give no, a fuck about House of Dragon. I just don't. It's so boring. The first two episodes are so boring. I'm like, uh, yeah. I can't watch the rest. Yeah. Like, I'd rather they started with the gore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. That was so good. <laughs> 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 Sauron's eating a salad. I, I want Sauron to fucking win right now. Uh, yeah, I, I, honestly, I want him to kill every single character. This yeah, yeah, I'm not even joking. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. Just yeah. kill them all. It'd be so satisfying seeing Gladriel getting splattered all over the place. And the the one thing that people keep pointing to in this show is every time Galadriel's a fucking stuck up bitch, they're like, yeah. "Well, look, Hallbrand is, is like telling her, saying this is the way you should do it." And so they're trying to show that like he's giving her these instructions. Well, wait till you fucking flip the script. You realize Hallbrand is fucking Sauron, and so they're yeah. show you that he's actually fucking evil, so she shouldn't listen to him. And she's right? that, that dumb. That's what's going to happen in this show. Yeah, oh, I saw that tweet. It's like, yeah, except she's right, and that and Sauron is manipulating her, and so is Farazon in that conversation. Conversation. Yeah. It's like, yeah, dude. Yeah. Play, the show's, all the from way the through. show's yeah. perspective, she is correct the entire time. From mm -hmm. the show's perspective, she's right. Everybody that's questioning just, her is wrong. We're waiting well, for her. She's not I, necessarily I, right. She just gets what she wants. Yeah, yeah. She it's just there's no arc of wants. humility. She doesn't change to you know get like she's basically just given an army this episode because 
she gets reasons? Like, 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 like petals on a on a tree fell and that made the queen just <laughs> that was my favorite part the entire yeah, they, did it. they did no... it three times in the show and then they explained it to you after that you remember if the petals yeah. fall that's not There's a good a, sign. There was a yeah. strong breeze. Let's bring her back and have her lead our army. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she actually broke through a window, smashed up a load of stuff, and then I'm yeah. sorry for my After intrusion. She like, what? Creed up the tower. Can we Assassin's Creed up the tower through. with the dress on. After oh, well, she threw those board guards well, into the lo- like into the dungeon. How did she oh. do it? I don't understand. Push. She pushed them, and he's like, "I can't arm. let her leave." Okay, well, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll get to it. We'll get to how she, how the the three yeah. of the five guards just walked into the cell by themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? They just <laughs> kind of they they just walked. Ass men. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, the, uh, I, I will say this: this show has single handedly made me appreciate uh, mixed relationships because it is just so beautiful to see that every relationship is just a, a white person and a black person. Nobody can just be in a, unless it's two, unless it's two white dudes. Fucking, yeah. Kill a brimbo in hell, Ron. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's so re- like, again, like who cares about this stuff until it's all in your face. And it's just obvious that they're like strategically going, Hey, let's have a pair. Oh wait, no, we can't have a pair unless they're d- different. So we can, yeah, have they have diversity. to be diverse. Like it's all so specific just happy in this show it. yeah because mariel don't look like daddy at all yeah yeah, yeah her, her, i wonder what her mom looked like yeah probably yeah, yeah. what happened to her <laughs> uh quarter she black hello been, what a black lady she's that. starring in the woman speak, King. speaking of quarter black <laughs> speaking of quarter black what's up hey what's up yeah uh i, I hate this show it sucks <laughs> it's uh very bad there we go what what i find interesting between house of the dragon and this show is like ryan said they're they're adapting similar things but in House of the Dragon, they can do they can do stuff that's like ambiguous and you don't know what the motivations are from one scene to another one. Like um whenever uh Matt Smith, like I forgot what his name is, but he takes he takes her hat off and you're like, does that mean that he's trying to set up the whisperers to see her there? Or is he just doing that because he's passionate and then later he's trying to th- there's like all these motivations between the characters that you're like in the books it was vague, but in the show I think I know what I'm seeing. I think I know the motivations and then a different scene will change your perspective on that. In Rings of Power, they just explain everything to you. They just go, oh, this is the character's motivation. It's so like it's black and white, just one to one. Yeah, she is. She wants to get Sauron. That's her whole motivation in every single scene. You know exactly what it is. You yeah, know they, exactly they don't just tell you Mariel's quarter black. They tell you over fucking eight again, times and again, and in the again. episode the same thing. Yeah, it's just so like pedestrian the writing in this show. Like I said, with the <laughs> pedals, they had to tell you because they knew that you would forget because you don't care about the show and it's so boring. Yeah, you remember like three episodes ago, if the petals fall, they don't fall, you know, just for no reason. It's That's a bad right. sign. Uh, After you showed like, it to me twice in this episode. In House of the Dragon, like you have, you have di- the last one. It was the last one. <laughs> it was. Oh it feels God. a long time. It just feels three. Uh, in the last House of the Dragon, Daemon Targaryen comes back, bends the knee to his brother, and we don't find out his true motivation till the very end, and that's when he actually, they make it a part of the line of the show. They're not like, hey, Daemon is trying to do this. No, he he actually says, ah, just, I want to marry Rhaenyra. That's, that yeah. was his whole motivation set up throughout the entire show. You didn't have to tell us anything. We had to figure it out. And, and we still don't know if he set her up or not. There's still things we're wondering about this show. It would just tell us, it would tell us in the first five minutes and there'd be some nice uh, establishing shots of King's Landing. By the way, what happened to the establishing shots in this? There was a couple. I, Gone. Where, where's the map? The, the editing in this no episode map. is appalling. There was well, no it was map. There was, there was no, to fit in. They didn't have uh, no transitioning. They had all the Asilador sister scenes to fit in there. Okay, so yeah, we had to new, cut those. So oh, a girl Sildor scenes. Those the passionate scenes between the two lovers. <laughs> girl Sildor washing Sildor. the floor. Ah, oh, I needed that scene. Thank you. Yeah, I, yeah. Just, like, just, how this, how this show, this episode was an hour ten minutes. By the way, everybody, oh, hour and ten minutes. How is she gonna like end up that goofy looking fuck? That don't make any sense. No, like, well, for one, she's not that great. Is she? Lo- no, no, that looks like restraining order in the future. She looks like she's a little crazy eyes. Sorry, no, no thanks. Girl <laughs> sealed door. No. eyes. I know I was because I'm older and I've learned. <laughs> I have eyes, learned bro. to look into those eyes and see if there's a little psycho in there. It's like mm, no. My eyes are up here. I know, but you yeah, yeah, right yeah. <laughs> but eventually, you got to look you up into them. I'm looking at that is what I'm looking at. Yeah, so you don't get a knife sure? between your blades, uh, shoulder blades, in the middle of the night. 
Uh, I'm just on the way to architecture college. You just shrug your way into the coffin, buddy. She just gets caught up in a Trump rally. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> She's done and literally now, nothing for episodes. She just watches stuff at a distance. Yeah, you're like, they invented <sighs> this character. This character isn't fucking real. So it's like they invented her just so she can be present and watch these things happen. It's yeah. no, that, no, it was to, to add feminine, a feminine energy. energy to the family. Mm -hmm. And she that got it. A, she got accepted weird. in the University of Numenor. Highest grades in the class. Oh my god! Well, they certainly don't have the feminine energy with Galadriel, so they needed something. Well, I <laughs> you think, think you, you got to get those girls in STEM. Sindor brings plenty of feminine energy himself, so why have any more? <laughs> oh, you guys are femi in this. <laughs> no, no, Elrond's femi enough. Like Keller Brimble's like looking at fucking Elrond like I'm he's like, a fucking roast chicken. Even Gordon is like, oh, he didn't get talk stuck to me. into that fucking white meat. <laughs> you remind me so much of your father. Blatant. <laughs> 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 And then Elrond turns around for the winners. It's like, it hate me like one me. of your French ladies. <laughs> like, it feels more you know on the nose than Brokeback Mountain, dude. It feels more on yeah. the nose <laughs> than Brokeback <laughs> Mountain. Like, it really does. Like, you can't watch it without going. Uh, let's get to the intros. Let's get to the intros. As, let's get through the so intros because <laughs> we got somebody else coming in. We got somebody else coming in. So, uh, hello, Exodus Girl. Hello, everyone. Um, That's enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Thank you, X Ray Girl. Thank you. I want to sing. No. I, I just want to see. I just want to see Elrond say to Durin. Durin. I can't quit you. <laughs> That's what I want. Oh my God. Well, he's kind of the perfect size for him for, for a lot of stuff. I don't right? you. Hey, Extra Girl, you were great in Cobra Kai season five. Good job. Oh, so, thank you. Yeah, I was, was trying to job, bring so. my Japanese roots and fight people. So. Yeah, good so good job. Good job. job. Uh, well, oh, no, I'm racist because I thought she was Devin. <laughs> uh, welcome back, Disparu. How are you, sir? <laughs> oh, great. Always happy to be on, except for the fact that this is on the same day as a Rings of Power review, so I can't take breaks. It just has to be all in one go, and this one, like, seriously, almost broke me. Like, I can't even believe... I never thought anything would make the last episode of She-Hulk look interesting, but I would <laughs> rather watch her go clothes shopping any day than what I've had to just put up with. I agree. So... <laughs> Oh, this I was totally an hour agree. with less happening than She Hulk for twenty minutes, which is astronomical when you find out they just went to a boba cafe. So <laughs> there was, yeah, was, dude, um, probably the worst episode of TV I've seen since uh, Wheel of Time episode seven, which is the only other one that's actually got to me. And by the end of my review, I'm just like shouting at the screen and like hoping that everyone's never acts again. I mean, even the guy at the end who's just in his bed on his deathbed, I'm like, can, we, can that either be me or can we swap out axes? Somebody, like, seriously, <laughs> it's the best job in the world. I just want to sit there and pretend I'm dying. So <laughs> it's like, I feel you. This, this is the worst episode I've seen since the finale of Star Trek Picard season one. Yeah, Which I know is... you said they were getting they were going downhill as time went on, but I I, I didn't expect <laughs> I it to wait. be this boring. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> incredibly no. Uh, hey, guest in the back, we'll be right with you. We'll be right with that. But uh oh, first we got a surprise guest. We, we yeah, we got a yeah, surprise guest, do. but we but we are eyes. Our special it's guest. Frosk. Our special <laughs> our we special guest. Oh. Our special <laughs> guest. Like, uh, was actually here the last two weeks, so I don't know how special. <laughs> he and he's on with me every Sunday. But regular. What's up, Shad and Brooks? How you doing? There is a tempest in me. <laughs> oh that tempest has led me here for a reason, and it will not be quelled by you, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great. Daddy Sorry, chill. Like, so that is, is oh, that, yeah. Was that tone just a little bit out of place? It, no, like, it was, uh, it was I mean, it's was your that, character arc, so it's... Yeah, was, okay. was, I, was, I, was, I, was I not addressing yeah. the question that, that you posed? We need to know who you voted for and what you identify. Some, something out, out yeah. of the blue. I, I, like, oh, I, I just... just once we determine, we, we can only determine our answer once we find out who you, what your pronouns are, what you identify as, mm -hmm, and who you voted mm -hmm. for, and then we will determine yeah. if it fell out of place or not, and if we're toxic for having that opinion. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> so, so I, I have an allegory because we know J.R. Tolkien loves allegories, right? You might have been noticed I'm holding this this sword here now, a katana, right? It is usually described as being a very overhyped sword, uh, and this series is extremely overhyped, and from a surface 
you know, uh, ob- like, look, you might think this is a fancy looking sword when it is the biggest piece of crap I own in regards to swords. <laughs> like, like, you have no idea how garbage this sword is. It's crappy stainless steel, the worst edge geometry. It is just crap all the way around and it kind of encapsulates rings of power where it might look fancy at a distance but as soon as you look close oh my goodness it is just an astounding piece of crap and uh and overhyped incredibly and so now i i have been holding it so long i feel i've soiled myself i'll get rid of that piece of junk uh, and uh, replace Shad, it oh, with something far going. better <laughs> there, we go. there we go there we yeah. go, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Shad, congratulations on being dun, dun. in a in a in a ryan kennel twitter video that called oh, yeah, and, uh, so. yeah. Oh, you've made funny. it people have linked me in that is like yep. guilt by association it's so oh yeah he yeah, didn't you're... stand up for trans people <laughs> you guys you're like i can't believe shad is caught up with these people <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what do you mean these people the show. i wow. like the show <laughs> holy fuck uh, all right Shad's uh, gonna be like, Shad, we are not affiliated welcome. with Geeks and Gamers. Just want to say, so we, <laughs> that uh, we, uh, <laughs> so we have a guest behind the scenes that oh, I would like hey. to introduce. The quartering. What's up, dude? What's up, Jeremy? Oh What's up, buddy? What's up, hey. Wow. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for having me on. It's uh. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, the tempest yeah, has been it's, uh, it's an honor. There's the uh, so is many, out with me now. So <laughs> many esteemed <laughs> panelists. Hey, we need as many as we can in our fight against the knife ears. So, uh, yep. we have to have <laughs> <laughs> Are you an elf lover? Yeah, Jeremy, I heard you were an elf lover. I'm not sure I could stand that. Again, this is the first time I've felt represented in an Amazon show since Homelander fucking lacing the shit out of a bunch of people, right? So, oh, so everything, it. everything could be forgiven if it wasn't so boring. On the nose mm-hmm. and boring, yes. Like, if it know, just wasn't so boring. Yeah, that, that's no, the thing. It'd it's be funny. Like, they could listen if it was look, the boys is a really fucking political show mm. they pretend like they're taking shots at both sides really we understand what's coming across they hate you if you're conservative they hate you if you're right wing but a lot of people can still watch that show because it's like exciting there's action i like the boys like that i like all three seasons yeah right and so two and they three are dog shit this. this can get no one interested yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I know. There's like I didn't watch season one or season two or three of the boys. I heard like criticisms, but I watched it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm aware of what they're doing, but I enjoy it uh, because it's entertaining. That's one thing that Rings of Power has not going for it. It's, it's there's no characters. entertainment at all, and uh, it's really bad. This this uh, show couldn't get anyone less interested if they were uh, Martha's Vineyards introducing immigrants <laughs> to their population. We ain't got no more room here. Okay. Hey, those no were Venezuelans leaving the socialist paradise for Martha's Vineyard, okay? <laughs> those I white mean, liberals as soon as they, they saw take them on there. It's just a scummy white, little country. White liberals as soon as they saw a few brown people in her neighborhood called the fucking military. They called <laughs> like, the, the National <laughs> Guard. <laughs> wow. Yeah. White <laughs> privilege. The guys <laughs> playing <laughs> soccer in the the street. Oh. National Garden. Sorry, football. We got brown people here. Get the fucking <laughs> National Guard. <laughs> that fucking. Did you that see that lady talking about it? Show, that is for show only. We, we, don't, have like, we, we, don't, have we don't have any room here. No we don't have any here for houses. these people. We don't have enough like, houses to house the people we, that are already here. So, like, we just don't have any more. And that's yeah. exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, really? <laughs> bitch. And that's exa- the okay. Whoa. The, the, uh, that the just house blew my ears out. Massive tent behind it. It's like Martha's Vineyard leaps into action. And sets up stations for the immigrants that have just come in. And then below went, psych, this is Barack Obama's birthday tent that he has. <laughs> oh, well, uh, the Numenorians, uh, the Numenorians. Yes, yes, exactly. Holy shit. That was the best own ever, though. Uh, and the Numenorians did the same thing that Guy Ladriel when she got there. Oh, yeah, here's, uh, here's the this sign. Is- yeah, this is the messaging at Martha's Vineyard. This is the sign that they have up to show how incredible they are. We <laughs> respect women. We value black lives. We stand with our LGBTQ community members. We stand with immigrants, with Uh-oh. refugees, Uh-oh. with indigenous peoples, people of all faiths. We stand with our community. 
all now are welcome off. here. <laughs> Kate has no business here. Now get the fuck out of here, you brownie. <laughs> <laughs> We stand Dude. with them over here while they stand way, way, way oh. over there. Yeah, we stand yeah, with them is... as long as they're not on our island, our very yeah, exclusive yeah, island that's... with a Did medium house range oh, of six million dollars. Yeah. Not my backyard. Nope. Yeah. No, okay. I think, we just hey. all appreciate the Chad that, that Ron DeSantis is. Like, holy yeah. shit, dude. This guy is a Chad. It's so it's so <laughs> it's awesome hilarious. to watch him own these fools. Martha's Vineyard, they, they basically just pulled a Numenor. They, they did. One elf in there, and they just start all this anti freaking out. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, wait, wait, we take the, the, take the sign down. Take it out, Joe. agree with that so, anymore. So, yeah. That, take your primrose fences. Oh, my God. And, and, and that scene that we're talking about, that happens in the first three effing minutes of the show. Like they go right yeah. into MAGA, tiki torches, and immigration in three minutes. I couldn't believe it. For that, bullshit, though. Though. that was a big deal. Yeah, that, that, they wanted that out yes. right away. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. but, but he says there are there are elven ships on our shores. No, they're not. Yeah, like there's no one ship on your shores at all. What are you, okay. fuck are you talking about? Ca- Disparu. Like, what stranded Disparu. Elf? Like, it's like, calm down. I don't think they're ready to invade, but they're going crazy. Yeah, Disparu. And what's hilarious about this, the show knows this because the, the politics guy, when he comes in, he, he says, you know, one elf, a castaway, couldn't threaten us. And I'm like, yeah, it's bloody obvious. And is they try to present it like you're saying something really intelligent yeah. and wise when it's when it's like, of course, this is the common sense thing. And it, it just shows that they know how dumb it was. No, they were trying He's to like, show they were trying to show popu- around. They were trying to show Everybody. nationalism. Yeah. And the the actor who played Alindiel at Comic Con said, Yes, that that Numenorians were nationalistic. And I I'll never forget that. But uh Disbrew, you you notice things. Wasn't that the guy who got his face Bashed into a fucking wall by Halbrand uh, last episode. Yeah. yeah. Like, he was yeah. saying the exact same things in the pub to Halbrand. Yes. And when Halbrand started kicking off because he was like, they're taking our jobs and everything. And he went, and our women. And it was like, <laughs> that's when he went over to beat him up. And it, the only reason that he calmed down is because he got given free alcohol. And what happens at the end of this? Oh, the booze came out. Everyone's fine. Yeah. But, they but, they that guy's, but that guy's story the from the second episode. The, but that guy and, should have like, like total yeah. facial reconstruction surgery the way he got his face pounded into that fucking wall after the compound oh, yeah. fracture. And he's got a little like, black how, eye. Yeah. <laughs> how did Farazon have a group of fucking women with loads of drinks <laughs> ready and waiting? Dude, <laughs> Chad. It's Ron DeFarazon. That's uh, that's how they're trying to portray <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh. No, no, the guy, the other guy's Ron DeSantos. Farazon is Trump. Oh, uh, totally- they're all a mix of everything that that like this is supposed to be him talking to uh, all his make, nationalist make friends. Great again. Uh, yep. Aaron, uh, Theo's friend is supposed to, is Incel Nor. That's why I call him as Incel Nor. I don't know. I just made up that name. It sounded Tolkienian. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, we we have a uh, we have a uh, uh, Karl Marx Farazon who's supposed to be <laughs> Trump. <laughs> no, that one doesn't work because they like Karl Marx. I know, but uh, they like it. <laughs> And he's got all his guild badges. So all those guild badges mean everything. And and, and all the elves want to do is steal their women and their work and their ships. And, <laughs> and, 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 and Karl Marx never worked. And no, he but, didn't. Yeah, elves don't he was a rich sleep, kid. But elves still have to meditate Listen, to uh They don't die. Regenerate. If we don't get a they scene don't tire. if if we don't get a scene in the in the se- season finale of uh the people of Numenor downvoting the little mermaid trailer, I'm gonna be very, very <laughs> upset. <laughs> <laughs> They're review bombing our media. <laughs> <laughs> you can't let this stand, those knife ears. Oh no, 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 no. I want to race of Black Mermaids next season. (laughs) We will be instituting a 72-hour hold on any reviews from Knife Ears. (laughs) (laughs) If we smelts, there's a 72-hour wait on any smelts that have been done in this. (laughs) This Is it funny that there's only only 13,000 reviews on Amazon's page? Yes. And... If, if twenty, if you believe the twenty-five million, which I do not believe the twenty-five million people watch the show, uh, you would think there'd be at least a hundred thousand reviews, mm-hmm. at least. Yeah. And especially with the fervor and media around them locking the reviews, you know what that does? It means people are going to leave more reviews, be more excited yeah. to leave more reviews, and they're just they're just holding it back. If you sort by the latest reviews, they're all one star. It's very. Well, actually, there's a five star. Loving every second. 
Yeah. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Every well, second. And, and Jeremy, You're if you go through, second. if you go through and you, the one thing that really can tell you that it's not reality, that they're holding back a lot of one stars or just deleting them or whatever, is when you sort and look at how many people find reviews helpful on both oh, IMDb mm-hmm. and on Amazon, by far the ones that people find helpful are the negative ones. Like if, if it was reality, if the reality was that half the people are there giving it five star reviews and it's overwhelmingly positive, all that stuff. If that was true, then the same would hold true in the comments and showing how many people found a review helpful or how many people didn't like it. But yeah. that's something that they haven't found out how to fake well enough yet. Well, well, my, I, did a, no well I did a review uh, and it was okayed by Amazon. I got an email saying thank you chill, for your review. Chill, chill, chill. Yeah. chill. <laughs> How much were you paid? I cashed the check. Okay. It yeah. bounced. Uh, but mine hasn't appeared. It's not appeared. I've gone through the reviews and why, it's as, not there. I know why. Have you announced your new partnership with Audible? Yet, <laughs> then they will make it. They will. They will then publish your review once you've told them you're sponsored by not Amazon but Audible. Uh, everyone. So yeah. Right. So it's it's not a not a coincidence there at all. Okay, I look my mistake now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's been a these are, these are just like a week. Oh, Gary, oh I didn't are, see Gary said BRB. <laughs> these are well like thought out reviews. Mm-hmm. Look at this. There's a lot of data here that they're putting forth. Like it's not just I hated every second of it, but they're trash. Well, I, love, I love every trash. second of it. The Even title if it was just trash. It, trash. It shouldn't actually matter because this is Amazon, which is linked to your actual account. You've paid money. They've got your credit card. They know you're a real person, and so they should yes. let the review happen. This isn't bots. If it's from a real person with a mm-hmm. legitimate opinion, it should be let through whatever. So they don't even need a 72 hour thing. They are more than aware from their Amazon reviews themselves. They know how to filter bots. They know how to make sure they're real people. It's uh, not just a real person. Just you have to actually watch this episode. I tried to and leave then, an, uh, leave one because I watched it, but I didn't watch it um, on Amazon. Uh, so I tried to leave a review, but they wouldn't let me do it. They were like, oh, you haven't watched this episode. Please go watch the episode. So every, every review here is somebody that legitimately watched the episode. Mm-hmm. And they're blocking those reviews. Well, I think that they're sitting from a position where it's uh, they want to, th- they know they can't really go lower than three. So I think they're, I think Rotten Tomatoes does this too. They're, they're like, okay, well, I can't, this is our bottom, 3.3. So they'll let enough tens through and then they'll push a bunch of ones through to keep, because this show should really be in the twos. I'm, yeah, I'm, two or three. You know, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. Too... Oh, like uh, to me, it's definitely a one. Yeah, fair enough. So, enough. like, but if, if, if you look, if you want a convincing argument, I'd suggest watch my reviews because this is a horrible show, man. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but you're I a think... toxic racist. I've blocked you. On I, oh yeah. Well, <laughs> don't stand up for trans people either. No. All four when you them. look at when you look at the review sites that aren't tied to Amazon, one of them is Rotten Tomatoes. We saw some weirdness with them removing reviews early on like that kind of like we always do see but that still's in at 39 percent. metacritic which for this has been pretty fucking unfiltered is like at a 2.5 or like 2.7 that's what ryan where it's been hovering i think somewhere in there's the reality you know mm-hmm. the, those guys really have no reason to to help amazon at this point in time so i think that's the reality of what now whether all how many of those are i just fucking hate it so it's a zero or a one and i just love it so it's a 10 no fucking idea but that's the reality of how people feel yeah, that's why I think. I mean, two, two point nine. Eh, it, well, balances it, balance, yeah, it. it balances out. It balances. Yeah, it balances. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I think all the ones and tens kind of uh, count each other out, and then you look at how how many mid reviews are, and there's so few. There's so few. There's so few mids. Yeah. It, it, it yeah, tells you it, that that the, even, there's just no even interest. This, so seventy one. That's not good. That is not good. No. For a show that needs to make bank because of how much money they spent on it. 71 that's there, there's bad. a lot of weird like I, look. I, I, there's a lot of funny stuff going on with even going back so i made, <laughs> I made a video screen I, I, I made a video on like the little mermaid trailer and how the, the little mermaid trailer now has four million interactions or three and a half million interactions on 18 million views that does not make any fucking sense at all it has nearly a million likes and two was it two and a half million something. yeah and, i think the and, likes that, are getting botted 
100 yeah. percent like th- there yeah. is some fishy shit going on and that goes back to even the lord of the rings trailer now i didn't follow that that much but gary didn't at one point it had four million down it had, votes it had over that, three million down votes had, and then they yeah, took away a million and a half at 1.9 yeah. million i there's a lot of funny stuff going on which i think that these companies are oh, they want to keep the divide going they're trying to keep the divide going and and they're using i think a, a lot of different funny stuff to keep it going i think they're going to use the little mermaid to make some more changes too that's what i'm a little concerned about it's the yep. new captain marvel they're yeah. gonna captain marvel is what pushed rotten tomatoes over the edge little mermaid <laughs> Like, oh my god <laughs> that's actually more accurate though. <laughs> it's more accurate oh. look at this stuff but but quartering what were you saying man. though i was that, gonna say i know I, I, by the way thanks for letting me on i don't want to take the shine away from shan disbrew and everyone else who's here but <laughs> I, I do want to say um i i think that what they're really afraid of this is where where amazon's in the pickle is because when Rotten Tomatoes is like, well, we're gonna we're gonna make sure that people who leave a review saw the movie. We're gonna use our Flickster plugin. We're gonna be able to know if you bought a ticket. I think that blew up in Amazon's face because people are trying. They know they've seen it, and so like hmm. now the negative reviews cannot be explained away by oh, it's just review brigading because of racists. Mm-hmm. Now it's like oh crap, like a hundred thousand people saw it and they left a terrible review. Now what? So like. <laughs> What's the next? What do you think the next level of uh, gatekeeping they can actually add? I just wonder no if it's more, re- no, no, more no more reviews. That's just it. like yeah. just like Netflix. Yeah. Remember Netflix yeah. used to have the reviews Good and point. then they moved away from it to where thumbs it's like up, thumbs down. Here's here's what yeah. here's what we think you want to see based on your yeah. viewing history, which essentially just means here's what we want you to watch. Remember uh, something and, and with so, LGBT so, representation yeah, yes. is like a nine percent <laughs> recommended for me. Or something this like that. sounds yeah. crazy, but remember talk about it a lot. It was talked about in Business Insider that like the streaming service is hinging on this series. The entire street. Now, it doesn't mean they're going to get rid of Prime Video. The whole Amazon Studios. Yeah, that, it means Amazon yeah. Studios is is relying on this. And I've heard it from a second person now that, like, the, it all hinges on this. So they're going to probably try to fix it, obviously. they got a couple years. Uh, but They've greenlit two seasons, they, right? Yeah, the, we, five. They're, they're well, they're, no, five. They're committed five. to five. five. They're committed to five. They've only greenlit a, a second season. So far, but they are, they have to pay for five. five. Yeah. How much did Amazon Studios pump into the new world? Because that was a fucking disaster. I know. Well, all of their gaming stuff. And don't forget, like, Amazon doesn't need Prime Studios. Doesn't need it. It absolutely. Well, a billion dollars in new, new, they need a billion in new Prime subs. That's the thing. And um, Mm -hmm. by the way, their NFL launch was a disaster. I assume you covered that on Sports uh, Wars, maybe, but. Like they they're they're trying to get into the NFL stuff. That didn't go mm-hmm. well. They're really spread thin right now. I, I think the reality is they very well may make some very quick changes. When it comes See, to yeah. Prime though, it's not as simple as just like subscription revenue to actual revenue, because they know that if you have Prime, you're more likely to buy shopping from them. And so yeah. there's a lot more on the back end. There is, but they, they still don't need the but they, but they have Prime. enough on on like just on your video rentals that they and they can keep their old stuff up. And I can see them if they need to make a massive, you know, if the economy goes further down, if they just need to chop something, they will. They'll do it. They do, dude. They absolutely well, destroyed the, Comixology. They fucking destroyed it. Know, yeah. They've uh, got the. They've oh. got the Amazon. Uh, <clears throat> Amazon kind of. They use all of this media to lead everybody to Amazon, like Disney does to lead everybody to their parks. That that's that. And the parks fund so much of the shit that they push out because the parks make so much money. That's where Amazon's doing it. Obviously, Amazon Prime makes more money than we can even imagine, yep. and it funds all of the bullshit. But. To the quartering's point, though, you still can't do a billion dollar project without making your money back. Like yep. this is a this is a massive massive miss for them if it ends up going the way it seems it's going to go. And, uh, and this is the thing, right? To correct, to try and redeem the audience, they would need to do something that they would never have the balls to do. Because if they try and continue the show based off of this dumpster fire of a first season, no one's going to watch. Like you can't continue a show when it's that bad even if season two happened to be good does that mean i have to slog through season one to just know the continuity and everything like that it, it's dead 
It is absolutely dead. The only way they could fix it, and they would never have the balls to do it, is if they retcon the entire first season and remade it. Yep. Uh, but they yep. would never do that. They can't. This would be the opportunity to do it. This would be like the one mm -hmm. time that they could legitimately do that. All the backlash, all that stuff. Be like, Muriel what? wakes up. Oh. You, know, you know what? Fuck it. It was a dream the whole time. <laughs> no, not that. Muriel. no, 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 because that's, that's not, not Muriel. No, they, they would have to like complete recast, redo mm -hmm. fucking everything. That would well, be the only yeah, opportunity. From the ground up. Well, again, we all have our finger of the pulse on what's going on on the internet and fandom, things like that. And I talked about this in my video that I'll release later. Last of Us Part 2 came out, 4 million copies opening weekend. That was what they saw. Oh, this is the biggest release ever. They never reported on the numbers again. They never said anything again. And we got the feel, they're like, enough people aren't talking about The Last of Us Part 2 to justify what they're promoting. The same applies to Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, they say 25 million people watched it there's not anybody out there talking about Sampled this in a positive it. way yeah th they're not talking about it they're not actually out there and we all see that we're like the only thing we hear is the negativity there's no positivity to set this off so those numbers whatever they however they came to that 25 million it is not sustainable and they have not held those numbers well, after that first sampled number that they came out with yeah. their money is not here's something to consider their money the billion dollar number that's not in cast and writers. So mm. if you're talking about assessing your investment, they paid 250 million just to own the rights. Then mm -hmm. they, they're paying all this in CG and so they can replace actors and writers. That is a low value uh, item. So they very well might look over these showrunners and say, <laughs> no. But guess like, what they can't replace? Mm -hmm. uh, the 24 executive producers. Yeah. There's oh, 24. <laughs> Executive producers. You're uh, an executive and producer, and you're an executive <laughs> producer. Oh, well, like, here's where the budget went. All yeah. these people, they be getting All paid. All fucking producers. Stacks. Yeah, and, and there, there oh, is Patrick no way. Patrick Ubike call. and John Good D. Call. Payne, hello. You're there they as only well. got five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and but they got an extra five on top of show running, and yeah, it's weird mm. that they're executive producers for five episodes, but they're the showrunners, and they're not and writers, and yeah, yeah, that's really weird. What happened but was early, early, early on in the process, this thing was actually on track to not be a woke piece of shit. They had the right guy cast as Elrond with uh, Will Porter, mm -hmm. and uh, Tom Shippey was on board. Chris. Uh, uh, the late great Christopher Tolkien was still around, and they were thinking about doing, uh, for, you know, lots of concepts like another Aragorn, like a prequel to Aragorn, and then they settled on the Second Age, and then everything changed when Christopher Tolkien died. The heirs that were left sold them out, took all the money, didn't give a shit. They found another Tolkien to put his name on this, and they were absolutely fine. And that's right when they got rid of Shippy too. It happened around at the same time. They also lost. We don't know which ones. They lost a bunch of writers. A bunch of writers left. So mm. that's why there's the big shift to England. So, like, it's all shrouded in mystery. But what I've heard uh, from a couple of pretty good uh, – I can't say one of them met us, Ryan, at our meetup in Vegas at the the second meetup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the people talked. Yeah, I can't say who it is, uh, but um, heads are going to roll after this, and there's going to be a fall guy, and so look for maybe the I, who knows, who knows, maybe showrunners get fired, maybe they get demoted. Yeah. Look, look, look for the white men to get fired. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. what will happen. <laughs> yeah. um, I think Jennifer Salk's head might be on a on, on one but, too for this. I think they should bring Tanahisi so Coates much. in. Uh, but they oh, panted God. so much to the woke crowd, they could never recast so many cast members no. now that they're, 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 they've screwed themselves over. That's why they'll never have the balls to reset it. Mm -hmm. And it's hilarious that they're going to try and, oh, season two will be better. Trust us. Like, oh, <laughs> well, nah. that's the thing about season you, you, two. Even you, the budget you, itself, it comes out as a big figure, but they said themselves, that gets headlines, but it's not the full story. That was meant to set up for future series. So they were meant to get more efficient over time, but now they've moved countries and having yep. to build entirely different studios. Yep. That's out the window. Whatever the budget was for season two will be astronomically more than they ever expected. So if they're relying on the fact that, well, you know, we may drop some people, but it would get cheaper over time, <laughs> they ended up with the exact opposite. And back to the dislikes. Disbrew, tell us what you learned about the dislike algorithm, which is essentially British what jokes. it is. Americans, uh, anyone, oh. Disbrew, you, no, no, Disbrew, you can't, you can't. Is it 10 pence? There's a 10 pence in me. <laughs> no, 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 the, <laughs> no, nearly, you nearly got it. Pence? Disbrew, you 10 can't. pence. 10 pence in me. The, 10 pence? In, okay, in me would be. 10p? 
Tempe? Inside of me. Tempe, Is Arizona? Right. There's a Tempe, There's Arizona? A Inside of me! <laughs> okay, listen, I have a better meme because that fucking required explaining. This one does not. Yeah, it's uh, a pretty new, new <laughs> meme. I knew this was the one you were going to share. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you made it Let me retweet that. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wow. Hey, I asked, Jeremy, Corey, I, 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 I got a... Every time I see that you made it political uh, that they share about you, I laugh my ass off. It, Dude, it never <laughs> fails. So it gets good. like 25,000 freaking <laughs> likes and retweets every time. It's I so love good. it. Yeah, it's it gets so some good, good subs out of that. Yeah, so, it's awesome. Dis Brew. I asked you. Uh, so I asked Dis Brew about, about the, the, yeah, the, the add-on, the dislike algorithm, which I've gone yeah, back and looked, and that's what it is for sure. Uh, essentially, the add-on can't see the YouTube data, so what it does, it runs its own algorithm between the data that it can collect, which is the likes which are on actually YouTube, and the dislikes compared to that from their users, um, which actually have the add-on. So it can skew either way. If people that download the add-on are meant to have a certain side of the opinion, then it will skew that mm. way, or it can skew the other if it's supposed to go that way. So Correct. it's not YouTube data, but I I've reached a point where I think it's... If someone deliberately takes data away from you, I think it's personally re perfectly reasonable to go off the data that you have accessible to you. Yep. And if anyone complains, yeah. yes. it's like, well, talk to YouTube about it. They're the ones that yeah. remove the actual yeah. data. Mm -hmm. Let's and, see. And yeah, when, when, I compare, when I compare it to my stuff, but right, when I compare it to my stuff, it's really close. You know, what I mean, it's yeah. very fucking close. Can fluctuate a little bit here and there. It certainly didn't add two million extra dislikes to my. <laughs> no, no, it adds a couple hundred. <laughs> like if you have, for for example, I have four hundred dislikes it'll be like six to eight hundred in reality which so yeah. it could skew at ten percent but it's yeah it's not going to be millions yeah. it's not going to be millions right. so That's that is that conversation me and ryan were having about it the other day about how on the back end we were looking comparing and it's like well but it's close it's, was that it on youtube close, or each other exactly it's close so, huh was that on youtube or each other each other's back ends when nah. we're having a discussion about YouTube. I was trying to think of what I said. Uh, <laughs> but ultimately, what to Disru's point, YouTube took this information away. And they took the information away, not for the YouTuber, not for our mental health. Mm -hmm. It's for Joe Biden and other people. It had nothing the to White do House with, with getting ex embarrassed. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And so all we have to do is go on the information that's available to us to give us you know, you know, the guidelines that we're trying to report on. And yeah, all you got to do is turn the dislike button back on. And we won't be able to go off of a, an extension. But until then, that's all we have. And they're they never going to remove it. it. They're just going to remove, remove it together. Now, yep. it'll be like, um, you think so? You can mm -hmm. only like it. That's like yeah. um, Facebook and, you know, it'll just be, well, you can only like it. Well, yeah. you remember quartering whenever the comments so were supposed then. to remove the, the they were supposed to remove the extension a while back but what happened with that i don't i don't know what happened with that because that was somebody's reported gonna that buy I, it somebody's gonna buy it and bury it like it's like the 40 the 50 mile per gallon carburetor it's gonna get bought up <laughs> yeah by like <laughs> just going to a vault somewhere and, and yeah. they're gonna mothball it i, I far, promise oh yeah the, yeah. the, yeah. the eternal battery the yeah yeah that, that it, there it yeah. used it used to access the youtube api which existed for longer than the actual website version so they were like, well, when the API goes, we're going to have to shut it down. But then they came up with their own, like, algorithm their with their own guess. data to continue it afterwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, bless yeah. them for doing it. And I think you're right, Jeremy. It's just going to make the comment section blow up. And then what? Are you going to take away the comment section from YouTube? Yeah, that would YouTube is dead. You know that's going to be on the chopping block. YouTube is well, dead Are you going to delete day. all negative comments? Well, then we're just going to leave sarcastic, ridiculous comments. Like we've seen. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, we've seen yeah. on the Rings of Power trailer. People are always going to have a way. They will always find a way to voice you, their opinion. You opinions. can't defeat the internet. You just can't. You, you, it, there's but always But companies can defeat Spally themselves. And yeah, getting rid yes. of the comment section would kill YouTube. That would... It would kill yes. the, the, the hey, interaction. Hey, just put a yeah, just put a watermark on it. That worked for memes, right? Go for it, internet. That's all, <laughs> you know. So, oh. well, that, that's actually a Gabe quote from Steam. Like, and this goes back to like 2011. They realized this. You are never Gaben. smarter than the internet. Mm -hmm. They will uh, remember all of your spin. They will deconstruct everything you ever say, and they will remind you of it. it. You have to learn. It's more like a dance, less than you thinking you're better than they are. Because yes. you're against the combined intelligence of literally everyone on planet Earth. It doesn't matter how cocky you are, you're never going to beat them. No. Somebody out there somewhere will be able to find that information. Yeah, it's like, you can even go on a live stream with a few thousand people, ask however specific a question you want, someone will be an expert on it in your chat and just start giving you the information. Yes. So yes. if that's just a yeah. few thousand people, when you've got millions on a TV show, no.
they'll always remember. <laughs> they'll also also give you the direct wrong answer to try to troll you to make you look stupid. Well, so uh, yeah. like internet will yeah. always win. <laughs> they will always always win. win. It's a yeah. double edged sword that always wins. Yeah. Um, That's right. Shad, uh, I want to talk Yo. about I want to talk about a, a, a particular particularly retarded part of the episode with Aaron Deer, Don, Don Lemonless, his whole journey uh, with the, the the mysterious Adar that we didn't see at the end of the last episode. And we met and we learned next to nothing about. He went on a boat ride in, a, you know, in Beleriand, uh, you know, yep. same place uh, with Don Lemonless. And then he sends him a very important, I got a very important message for you. <laughs> This has to be so, so this has to be delivered. It cannot so be interrupted. Uh, and they'll even release a highly trained, effective warrior, give him his weapons back, and send him on his way with this really important message. And when he said that when the, like this this episode was painfully predictable, was like so on bad. multiple layers. And, and there are so many times where I was writing my notes and I said, Oh. They're going to do this. It's so damn obvious. And when they did that, I was like, wow, they are not going to be as lazy and cliche as the message being essentially surrender or die. <laughs> and that's and all guess it was. What? Yeah. That's what that's the what message was. <laughs> like, holy crap. You couldn't have sent an orc to just mess. I, I think but, they just know that intuitively as well. But you'll release someone. To, give to be fair. Uh, Bronwyn is leading uh, a bunch of retards uh, who do who don't bring any food with them or or animals. They just leave their animals and their fucking food behind. They're like, "Oh shit, Sauron's gonna be here in like four hours. Let's go now." You know, I flipped out. When I'm they're, sorry, they're, 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 they're in the tower and they're like. Oh no, we we didn't bring you any food, and I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Well, I'm like, call you know Uber you're going Eats. to a scene, <laughs> and then, all right, what are the reasons? That Jarbo will show up. It? Like, like, were they getting attacked and they didn't have enough time to get food? <laughs> no, that didn't happen. Did they have no food? It was a bad season in the village. No, there's actually heaps of food in the village. What yep. do the people go back to get the food? And, and it's like, so why did they do it? And the reason is, which is just indicative of this whole, whole show and the terrible writing is that they wanted an arc or a reason for the boy to go away from the tower and have his like confrontation with the orcs and they couldn't think of anything consistent logical that would make sense to justify it and they're like oh, I got no, one. No, he, don't get food Oh, Shad, I got one he, his sword he, hit the sword. He, he his sword have him house, forget goes, the sword oh, I know how to fight back <laughs> Go and then go and find the sword again. No, but that could be the reason. But they had to write the sense. stupid fucking reason that bring him back. None there. of it makes sense. As why are you trying? Benefit of the doubt. <laughs> why I don't give them the benefit of the doubt. I think they slit the, the wrists of their own freaking animals. I think they're that dumb. Well, they're like, oh, when, they, uh, when they go to the village though, and and he says, I'm going to go into the inn because there's going to be food in the inn, and the other kids waiting outside with the trolley, while he's looking for the food, an orc goes into the inn. Yeah. yeah. Or he's in the inn. Why would the orc yeah, go inside. into the inn? Or he's inn there. Because the right sunlight, there I think. Yeah. With a fucking barrel full of well, food. Uh, no, well, I don't oh, wait, 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 wait. Was the orc go in? Was the orc in the inn, or did he? No, he goes through the front door. You hear him go through the front door because he goes. Is How? That you friend, who's outside? He How? thinks it's him, so he just. It's sunny out. It's well, like yeah, really it's sunny, sunny out. out. Yeah. I, 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 I think that's, well, you see the show doesn't care. Yeah, they, I think these orcs, yeah, yeah. sometimes they don't like the light. Sometimes they can run right into it. Sometimes it's like, sometimes oh, they it, use it, it arrows. Us, we sometimes they forget to use arrows. <laughs> we would have to actually <laughs> watch it again, but I, I really believe it we have cakes. We don't have <laughs> I believe he goes. I believe he goes in there and then like the door closes or something like the that. I think that's what happened. So I think they're implying that the orc was already in there. Because there is a shot later yeah, where like other orcs come out of Correct. Like, other buildings yeah. and whatnot. So yeah. that but may have already been In regards to orcs and sunlight, it when the elves are trying to escape and they're first a bit hesitant to go in the sunlight, and then they just go in the sunlight and fight them anyway. And so they it, obviously and could go into the sunlight when they're motivated enough. And wait, wait. So the kid has the very big thing that they were searching for, making this big excavation to find. That you'd think that would be big motivation, but oh no, no, no. Now there's sun. It's like we we can't do it because plots. It's plot armor. That's the only reason. And they're willing to just contradict what they show in the in the story in the show already, just to achieve what they want because they are incompetent at writing and they can't 
think of any logical, reasonable reason to justify the things that they want to happen in the show. So they just have the most retarded crap happen. Like Elrond hearing the code to open the secret door because the kids were singing in the background. <laughs> and then How he said, that a kid song? I didn't know that's How where he got it from. Song? Like, what? Yeah, and yeah, and, and when he's in the room with, with Deezer, the kids are, uh, I did, I missed it, but well, Nathan, no. you get it through, you knock on the door three fucking times, and the is that, that what it was? I yeah. was like, did he just yeah. 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 sing in the fucking oh, house? Oh, I thought he just noticed it Right, right. Oh, and isn't it suspicious that they don't show the kids oh. at all? I, yeah, I do too. That? I, I don't. I want to see the biracial dwarves. Why yeah. don't you fucking show them? Why aren't you showing us the <laughs> kids? <laughs> once, once <laughs> is fine. The EBPs took all the money, so um, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, one, nobody show, believes not Ryan wants to see the biracial dwarves. Uh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> but not hey, make a video. Not showing them once. Okay, Gary, fine. That's what they were singing. Not, they were singing I know, I know. <laughs> but I think it's ah, way okay. weirder that they didn't show the kids for a second time. Why the hell not? That's really fucking weird. <laughs> Just show the kids. Strange. It's a billion right dollar billion show. Billion. Very strange. <laughs> That's why it is we, we can only afford to have one black dwarf right. in this show, all right? <laughs> I, I think just have a clip of Ryan saying that. Just play it over and over again. I want to see the biracial dwarves. <laughs> What's bizarre about this, right? They couldn't think of anything to explain how Elrond would figure out how to open the door. And, and there's so many easy reasons. He's got elven eyes. He looks really close. He sees a seam. He feels it. And then he finds a, a secret hidden lever and everything like that. that that's not, I, I would have accepted that. But they couldn't even think of something as basic as that. And they'll twist bullcrap and have the children sing the secret code to the <laughs> passageway so he hears he's like ring around the rosy pocket full of posy yeah, it yeah. works like <laughs> It's like me telling my kids Why my ATM number, and it's like, uh, uh, you guys can see it. It's Why would you automatically it's think so that a kid singing a song is the password to the secret layer? It's kind of secret 842619. My birthday. He beats on the door, and like in the exact right tune to open it up. And, 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 it's and like so Hunter Biden's laptop. It's like, in the review. We it was counted retarded. ten. Yeah, yeah. We counted ten specific moments of astronomical stupidity that the show does to justify <sighs> what they want to happen. It's like the not bringing food, the hearing the thing, the Deza and Durin walking out in the open after they just said it's definitely a way, but we'll just walk out in the open for yep. everyone to see. In this echoing for Elrond hall. to see. Because they're so dumb that they couldn't figure out a way for Elrond to find out that, oh, they're actually lying. So we'll just have them stupidly walk out in the open like they're retards, right? Ten moments like this in the show where they just do astronomically stupid things because they lack the talent and competence to weave mm -hmm. in the way to justify where they want the story to go. Mm -hmm. This show is written by amateurs. Completely well, that's what I like about the kids. Amateurs. The kid, when he's getting food, he gets saved by Arinder, who just turns up. The only way I can even, like in my head explain how he gets there is if he's been going through the tunnels which the orcs use to get there but why are they sending an elf through the tunnels to avoid the sunlight when he could just go across the land and take the direct path through anywhere he wants they're like no he's got to obey the door we've got to send him back the way he came he's going to get lost otherwise it's the most ridiculous and, thing ever just for him to attend disparate then they meet the mother on the way there she's like <laughs> Yeah, where'd she come from? Magically. Yeah. yeah. Oh, don't even fucking start with that bit. I just burst out <laughs> Okay, wait. Okay. I just could not start fucking right? laughing. It's all, it's all in slow motion and fucking oh, yeah. music. Really and it's like catching arrows and firing arrows. And Theo's like, ah. And then suddenly fucking a pride flag and a fucking <laughs> trans flag. <laughs> and a fucking Biden Kamala 2024 flag waving. BLM t-shirt comes running through the fucking forest. Oh. Theo! Theo! I'm here to save my son! How the fuck did you know where they were, bitch? Yeah. I was just like, what a great time to come back. You did. Give me, the only... Give me the coordinates for so... fucking Sansa Sansa. <laughs> So the only ex, so the only realistic thing, oh. if she knew that, she would be heading straight there, and maybe a Rondier and that guy are running straight there. That that's like the the only thing you can reason. That's like say. running like into a raft in the run. middle that's of the fucking is. ocean. Well, yeah. <laughs> the shortest possible path to get Twice. from that town to that fucking thing. You know what I mean? But did you notice how um, she's perfectly clean? Like she is clean as like she just yes. took a shower, had her hair did, a uh, little she, blush, she, little she, eyeliner, and everybody else is just dirty. It looks like they've been like sleeping in their own that. shit. 
you know? everybody else in that uh, in that entire town looks like they're all you know, disgusting. You remember the scene people. from Monty Python and the yes. Holy Grail? Where yes. there's just people that are like yeah. they're just like picking <laughs> shit for some yeah. reason. Like yeah. that's their job. You saw them just like me. move shit around. That's like what this entire town is, <laughs> yes. except for tits out brown. <laughs> She's supposed to be. She must be a queen. How do you know that? She doesn't have crap all over it. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when he puts the that... potatoes down and he's and she's like, "Is this all we've got?" And he's like, "Yeah, this is all we've got." And she's like, "Well, I'm on a keto diet, so how on earth am I meant to fucking live off this?" You know. <laughs> I think the directors fucking... are like instructing the women to stand like a board, because Galadriel, every single scene, she, scene she's in, her arms are straight at her side, mm. stands like a board, walks like that. She does the exact same thing. Just this and weird specifically on boats. Posture. Even when the Numenorians have her on a dinghy going out to the boat, the she's just standing there. And it's like, glad you're there, there's a seat on the boat oh, right yeah. there. She's, she's waiting really for somebody to take her clothes off, Shad. That's what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> she's waiting for somebody just to strip her in the middle of the fucking ocean. And then go, hey, look, we're at fucking Valinor. Wait, that's the other side of the fucking sea. I know. Now I'm going to jump in and then I'm going to be in Numenor, which is halfway through the fucking sea. Even though I traveled the whole of the way through the fucking sea, and the people in the village still haven't gone from their house to the fucking village. <laughs> so let's talk about the scaf- what is time? Let's talk they about the scaffolding. Yeah. Are in Linden now. <laughs> let's talk about uh, Erregion, and we had uh, Elrond go to Casa Doom two episodes ago with a proposal mm-hmm. that we never really saw finalized, and it just happened off screen. And you're supposed to That's remember it. There. Yeah, it's just there, and. Oh, my dogs are barking now. And there's a big scaffolding, and the dwarves and the elves are working together, and they put that thing up in a day. That is pretty good work. Wow. And that Chinese job, dwarves. Guys. Chinese fucking dwarves. That's what I said they were. And it's a up beautiful it's a beautiful it's scaffolding. Hard. It's a beautiful scaffolding. But the problem is, like, I only know. a couple of days have passed on Numenor and yeah. everywhere hold on, hold on. else except Gary, Gary. here. Where are the dwarves? Oh, oh, we can't show dwarves. We don't have the budget with it for that. We only spent a billion dollars. They're somewhere in there. So I, I, I look closely. I look closely. When it's closer in, you see a tall person and there's two small people standing next to them. Like, so they're, 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 yeah, just built everything. like you know token dwarves in it. Uh, but just on a scaffolding, it's like I know elves are like artistic pompous assholes, right? But but for scaffolding, <laughs> they're gonna it's make scaffold. artistic scaffolding. It's like come on, that's, yeah. that's it. I, I mean, there shall be arches on the scaffolding. There's the actually, uh, like, the dwarves are unionized. The elves didn't know that, so they're all on a fucking lunch break. So that, <laughs> that's actually what happened. I thought that was a, a good point, uh, uh, Gary, last night when you were breaking down the episode, which was uh, cathartic for me to watch because I, I was having some trouble falling asleep But the uh, because I was so enraged. The, the A billion dollars, and they don't have any money to generate some CGI dwarves or real dwarves the, the thing about the kids how they're always weirdly out of shot like yeah why do they not have they spent a billion dollars they don't and nothing looks like where are they yeah they, and they had that opening scene with the rock breaking with a bunch of people who look like dwarves and i guess they only got them for a day uh that's that's my right. guess oh maybe they're on it's, like the child that you know the children maybe dwarves have like a thing where they can only work so many hours in the day like a full house with michelle Tanner. <laughs> yeah because they, you think you can get them for laws. one fucking scene well you yeah. think they're so no, but where are they they're, and then the one well, and like when they said, did show them they had helmets on like had the, the big they heads to, on so you they need to start them. treating them they're, they're treating them like they are in inception with the kids they're trying to leave some mystery with the kids and never showing their faces and there's going to be a big reveal they're just white it's kids after all oh yeah i think they're I thought they would use the dwarf kids to try and get like a, a, go, a, a Grogu um, kind of thing where they could <laughs> oh, yeah. plush baby dwarf. Like, oh, little... look at the baby dwarf. Oh, it's just so cute. Oh, it's... oh, we have our new plush line. Out. Uh... <laughs> little Put out a casting call. Put out a casting call. Uh... No, but don't even don't don't, yeah, yeah. don't 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 <laughs> Ryan don't don't. Hey, didn't you think it was smart? What are you months ago? You and yeah. you have learned nothing with all of your clips. One <laughs> clip uh, uh, every couple yeah, weeks, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we had one last week. Okay, we save it. <laughs> but wasn't it smart of Theo to wait till it was night time to come out? Yeah, what a genius. You know, also, spent the whole night in the well or also, something. Also, he spent the entire night in the well, yeah. and it's a cold place because you can see his breath. That motherfucker's dead. I'm sorry, yeah. he's dying. Uh, I, 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 he's sitting I, in that I, water the entire yeah. night. 
And I know orcs are supposed to be stupid, but are you kidding me? Like, like he looks down. Oh, it's just water. Boop. And he doesn't think maybe he's hiding under the water. But no, the orc is like, he's, he's not in there. I'll just go. And, and then when he's he 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 disturbed. Uh, uh, but he, he sees the bucket, right? This guy's drinking from the bucket. You're like, well, what's he going to do next? Well, he's going to get more water out of the bucket, so it's going to be landing on me. And the guy's going, oh! It's like, just shut up for <laughs> one then, second! And then Disparu, when he when he does hide under the water, you'd think that he would, like, come back up and be, like, yeah, like very, like, <laughs> quiet. The surface quiet. Barely. But instead, <laughs> he's, 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 like, freaking he's little explored. mermaids out of that God. thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and that scene of him, like, leaving the village, how did they not see him. Yeah. Oh, it's when full Assassin's like, Creed. It's, it's yeah, a terrible in the long show, grass. Girl. It's a terrible, yeah. terrible show. Yeah, he laid in the long grass. Moment, and like, they can't when, see him. Visible. He's, he's walking through, and then it's like, oh, an orc, and he hides in grass, and then an, another orc comes in from the other side who was looking in the exact direction <laughs> where the kid was before he ducked. It's like, come off this. <laughs> Oh, the, the orcs are one of the best parts of the show too. Like they're mm. for me when they're on screen, oh, it's actually Jeremy, interesting. Sorry, are you only saying that because they're white? Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> orcs. Everyone knows orcs are black. Shad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're doing white face then. They're albino. Yeah, yeah. And then it's mm. I can't. It's like um when you talked about earlier. It's like if you imagine watching a vampire movie where like there's this very well known premise that vampires can't go in the sunlight. And then they just like constantly walked in the sunlight and then didn't yeah. walk in the sunlight and never addressed it. Like, Sometimes they, they use one... cloaks. Sometimes yeah, they don't. Yeah, right. But you could address well, the it at least. Like, Maybe oh, these orcs, orcs sparkle. A... Right. Well, if they spark, <laughs> even Twilight, even Twilight <laughs> addresses it. <laughs> and, and Rings of Power can't. They're like, well, these ones can go. If they said, oh, maybe the ones with the mark on their face, they can go in the sunlight or they're like half breeds, but they don't do any. It's like it, I, we're five hours into the show. And nothing's happened. You've had and, and the things that did happen on screen, you didn't explain. All the cool stuff's happening off screen, and for some reason you're not showing it to us. Like what a cool rescue scene they robbed us of. Yeah. Yep. No, no, like, hey, Could there's four dwarves. Tension. Yes. And we'll, like they were running for it. And I'm like, oh, we're gonna get an action scene. Oh no, no, we're not. Never mind. No, <laughs> it's like she hulk gonna cut the You know, <laughs> there's no action yeah. and you know, it's just a it's just yeah. a drama. It's just a oh, it's like a oh, mine is a trapped. Okay, let's go shopping for suits. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, don't want to be cool to see that. Like, oh, I'd like to see them trying to save them. We could have a whole debacle on the but whole they, the, the area and why he would be disappointed. Tension. His father they, would be disappointed with them. Like, none of it. Need, it's all off screen. They There's no real to show Disa singing. <laughs> There's no real oh, scenes in we this. We saw Disa's thigh, though. That was, you know. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, yeah. God forbid. I almost, saw, I, I almost saw her kneecap existing somewhere in that blubbery mess. Um, <laughs> that was but, yeah. But, like, every <laughs> shot, it just... They're just in different rooms. It's, they're always just in some room somewhere or some, like, very isolated thing. There doesn't seem anything that shows a scale ever. The closest we got to that was when a Ron Deere was like actually running. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You whip that thing out. Do you want to do the right? Let's do the logical progression of when when he's back in. Why is she Linden walking like that? Area, and then when he comes here, because he's he's spoken she, she to Keller Brimbor again. And then Keller Brimbor said, hey, <laughs> crab walk. Just to to well, do you remember in that episode? Was it two, She's one or two when they dog. just walked? Remember, they just walked. Remember, it just showed a little mud butt. They showed the map and they just walked. No toilet paper in Kazadun. It's toilet parchment, Ryan. trying to be made right now. There's way too many points. We have two conversations. We are talking about the important one about why Keith is walking like her asshole is chafing. <laughs> Aaron gave her a good time last night. Right. Wait, 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 wait. So let's go through the natural progression. He's speaking to Keller Brimble. Keller Brimble says, "Go, go, teleport stop. back to the yeah, end." Oh, you she's can't. Can't. What is going on? You can't. You can't. <laughs> Why is she walking yeah, like that? Hold on, hold on. Legion of Memers, because someone put Golden Corral Buffet <laughs> on his head as she's walking towards it. Can we get that done? Can we... <laughs> Ooh, back, back it up and watch her walking in a magic Golden Corral Buffet on his head. And that would be the perfect <laughs> meme. Here goes Golden Corral Buffet. Yep. There there we go, go, baby. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> okay, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Uh, all you can eat? 
<laughs> oh, we're gonna have to fight that one later. <laughs> that was transformative. That was transformative. Yeah, was definitely transformative. That was definitely transformative. Trans something, all right. Good God, uh, Shad, you were trying to make a point earlier, and we were talking about chafing and toilet parchment. Sorry. Oh, well, I was just going to say she probably had a tempest inside her, which caused oh. Oh, Okay. <laughs> oh. Is that all? She had too many Numenorean tacos, like I said last night. So. <laughs> or or Casa Doom tacos. It's like Tex-Mex, except for Middle Earth. Uh, that, that would be the only Latino the, representation in the show. I don't know uh, right? there's more of it. Mm. So. Hey, Dee is still Latinx. my favorite character in the Latinx, show, Latinx, by the way. Please. Honestly, uh, yeah. I, 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 the I dwarf stuff more is the annoying only good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, the, she, yeah, she doesn't need to be in the show anymore. Dee is annoying as fuck after this time. It's she, too she, forced. It's way too it's, fucking yeah, forced. Yeah, yeah, her accent actor. was terrible. Again, when I say she's the best in this show, that uh, no way means she's good, okay? I'm just saying she's the best in this show, okay? Yeah, but that entire that entire scene didn't exist for any reason except to get her character in because they're like well she hasn't been in an episode so we're gonna have to put yeah. them back in mm -hmm. yeah like they've got too many yeah. people that don't have any reason uh there was there was no reason for the woman who just stared at gossip for a while all yes. through the episodes it was just literally to have her on screen it's yeah. like yeah. it is literally they whisper i think you know the reason. reason i think you know the reason oh yes everyone yes. knows yes. the reason yeah. Yeah. okay <laughs> i just said it got political so, somebody in the chat did say it. She did have a Vince McMahon style walk right there. She did. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Vince Mc... Hold on. No hold on. Hold on. Vince no McMahon is because he has massive balls. She's walking like that because she's Same. got a massive brain on it. Right? She may have That's massive balls like too, that. bro. Oh, no, no. Why, are you, why are you questioning? Are you biologist? I believe that she's a woman. I believe that she's a real woman. <laughs> All right. like, it seems like she was hitting on Elrond. She was specifically holding her dress in such a way yeah. to make sure that part of the dress was open. Yes, but well, Elrond isn't yeah, into women. She was distracting him because she was lying. <laughs> yeah, to him, that's, so that yeah, was like that's the big problem. Thorin's yeah. gonna be gone all night. Yeah. Is this what she had in mind? I have eyes to kill a brimbo. I'm sorry. When she did the interview and said that she was taking this role to like make Tolkien more accessible to the world, is this? Maybe what she was referring to. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow, we might have misunderstood. Yeah. Yeah. I want to make want to make fat black woman vaginas more accessible to. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, so, hey, for all the people that uh, got clipped to see this on Twitter, uh, we love diversity. We love so. diversity. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's our strength. Yeah. Hi, it's our Twitter. strength. God, that part's cut out. Don't Sorry, yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. Cheers. We have extra. There's, girl here we're not raising a little blur sexes. over her yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well no last time when it got clipped last week they were like oh. look at those women just sitting there laughing yes. while he's, yeah. he's oh. talking oh. women yeah yeah because it was uh it was christy melody mac and x-ray girl right they were all on the panel and that didn't offset it that, that no. didn't matter. Nice misogyny yeah, yeah exactly no. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Made me an incel, apparently. Well, Jane Theory's a white man now, anyway. So I don't yeah, know. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yours and her reviews, when you it's like you just like roasting and she's laughing at you. It's so funny to hear her <laughs> laugh at you. It's so good. It's so good. This is what it keeps me, keeps me just 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 below the level of yeah. just exploding, you know. I don't know how you got an hour out of that She-Hulk episode, dude. How uh, there was a point. There, yeah, there was clearly yeah. a point where I started watching uh he, as videos about She-Hulk. And then there was a point in time where they were actually longer than the actual episodes of She-Hulk. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I guess this just replaces, I'll just watch this instead of She-Hulk. I'll watch a man slowly die on camera. <laughs> yeah. It's more well, entertaining. Well, that's laughs at that, me for doing it, yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's how I've seen quite a few movies, just watching Mahler's reviews instead of watching the movie yeah. itself. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the way I didn't watch it. Rise of Skywalker, but I watched Mahler's video on Rise of Skywalker, <laughs> which is like four fucking hours long. <laughs> so, uh... And we'll get She-Hulk. Not much happened in it, but it was more than what happened in the Rings of Power. She bought a sure. suit and we didn't see it at the end. The end. Yeah. She, she got, got some too sick late, drip. She, she, she got, got a, a suit for court. Fit. I got it after court. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> mean, yes, mean green and poured into these jeans. <sighs> oh, oh god. And she uh, uh, that image. Who the fuck uh, wrote that? Sh- Dana she only wants Schwartz. To with a strong back and a real force bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. As is force king size bed. Yeah. Yes. As his girlfriend wrote that. Middle aged woman wrote that. Wrote that. J K J K J K. And how dare anyone? Cat call her and sexualize her. Yeah. Send a strong back and reinforced bed, but don't yeah. cat call me. Yeah. Especially yeah. when she was and upset. I... She was upset because as Jin, she didn't have any uh Tinder uh swipes or whatever. Yeah. And, and she was upset. But then like you were also complaining because men are cat calling you. And uh, it's just it's so what do you stupid, want? Man. What, what do you want? Don't cat call me, yeah, exactly. don't cat call me but I'll fuck you for a bag of chips. <laughs> yes. Yes. Half a bag yeah. of chips. Exactly. You asked me one off. question about myself, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Yeah. I'll fuck and you to split an order of fries admitted. with me. And yeah. I admitted that I mean, you can you know, rape. And Ryan's like, is that all you have to do? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, typically I'm not a big fan of sharing food, but hey, you, know, you gotta do what you gotta do. No. All and, right, but, Joey, calm down. Joey doesn't share food, exactly. Uh, I will say the the guy... Sorry, I had to the, show you. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. There's a bite taken out. Oh, is that Elrond? I'm looking this, at you. This is, yeah. this, is why, this is why Zack Snyder didn't want to be associated with us. Right here. <laughs> why? Uh, what, what's the? I, I think it. you guys remember you you saw Warner Brothers come out and disavow the the Snyder cut. I think that's yes, because yes. of you guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> must be. I, I don't get it. I'm, I'm kind of hoping about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> When it comes to She-Hulk and the 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 guy who works in the law firm who was like trying to get oh. whatever her name is to get sneakers with him, like they made that guy so fucking retarded. He he wasn't necessarily the smartest dude the entire time, but there's such a big difference between the way he's displayed when he's trying to help with the whole Megan the Stallion thing, still needing to come and ask for She-Hulk's help, but still like semi-competent. To compared to how he is now, just it's a like he had a stroke. He's just like <laughs> between this person talking. What happened? That to maybe him? that was you just do... us. I don't know. Well, that had the stroke. He's been, in, he's been a completely different character in every episode. Yeah, yeah. they don't that know what the because, because they don't know back. how to write. He would have been funniest. No, uh, Marvel doesn't have showrunners. That's the problem. So the way they structure their Disney Plus shows, and this goes with Star Wars too. So it's a Disney Plus thing. They don't have showrunners. They have main writers. Uh, come in, do one or do first episode, last episode, maybe a middle episode, and they're supposed to handle everything else. Look over all the uh, uh, cheaper writers that they get, like Dana Schwartz, oh, right? It totally so, shows, and it shows. Yeah, it, it's it's yeah, it's terrible. That makes sense. And Dana and, Schwartz but, still is a beautiful woman, though. She's oh, oh yeah. Woman. <laughs> don't don't check, don't hot. check out the pictures of her she posts without makeup. Yeah. She's Look, like she's like Taylor fantasy. Lorenz level of hotness, right? You know, like hot for an eight-year-old. Taylor is hot for an octogenarian. Yeah. For somebody <laughs> that age. Yeah. I mean, That's I know true. women have often told me that, you know, you look good, quote, for your age is actually not a compliment. But with Taylor, <clears throat> I mean it. Yeah. For her age, <laughs> Absolutely. She looks pretty good. heartfelt. <laughs> oh, well, done, well, remember Dana Schwartz has done like these pinup shoots to promote her books and everything yet she's part of writing this story about women who don't want to be sexualized while she's posted like lingerie pictures of her to try to sell a book that's a good point yeah that's a good point weird i do have those lingerie pictures too i have seen them (laughs) i've got them somewhere saved for my thumbnails i made about three years ago Pictures yeah. of, of Dana Schwartz and lingerie? That's an outrage. Where are they posted? <laughs> Hang on. Posing also in underwear? Like flipping people off with their tits hanging out. So yeah. Posing in underwear to sell a book? That's a, that's a strategy I hadn't considered. You should try it, I'm Chad. Trying to, I'm trying to sell a book right now. My graphic novel's out. You should do oh, it. I'll get you over 100K, Chad. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Make it a stretch goal. <laughs> you start, you start getting refunds. Somebody tells me you won't have to stretch. <laughs> just, uh, just saying. Speaking cool. oh. stretch marks, stretch goals. Oh Look, I gotta uh, before we do that. Or, <laughs> hang on, shill for Shad first, because this meme's gonna hurt everything we're trying to shill. Yeah. So uh, campaign's oh, up right now. Oh, chicken. Let me refresh. Hold on. Let me refresh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Almost at 100 grand. Let's do it. This. We got Let's this. go. Come on. There's 15,000 people here. Link that is nice. Let's go. 
You know what? Hell I'll back yeah. it right now. I'll back it. Yeah. I'll buy. I'll back it right now. Hell, Hell yes. yes. Ah. All right. So graphic novel what? adaptation of my book was some of the best artists I I, I could find, and uh, I invested a lot of money. So the graphic novel is actually completed. The art, the colors, lettering, it's basically ready to print. And uh, and so uh, absolutely, guys, if you if you want some good media uh, that's uh, you know got time effort put in to give you a quality product there we go shadow of the conqueror enemies of self the graphic novel is available hell yeah Indiegogo. Yes, oh yes. leather bound i like that yeah oh, dude it's a, leather oh, bound. It's a book oh it's a book so, so yeah it's both it's both it's the graphic novel adaptation of my novel part one of that Hardback. but it's also a second edition release of my novel on top of that and you can get collector edition covers or in leather bound if you're after that as well and like look at the art guys are oh, really mike s miller right yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He's great. I'm gonna mm -hmm. get the signed, it... numbered leather collectors bundle, and the, do, do I get a picture of you in the Naked. laundry with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does that come with you? Will now. Stretch them. Yeah. Okay. He'll stretch all right. He'll It'll stretch. stretch. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yoga posing. All right. Yeah, okay. I got it. Yoga Here we go. I'm getting it right now. Look at that. Oh, eight yeah, percent off. That's it. Dude, You'd be an yeah. idiot not to buy this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, like like I said, um, didn't hold back anything. So you know, all stops like that. Like we we had a colorist on board, and and he like did ten pages, and I looked at like this isn't good enough. And I had still had to pay him. It was like, no, we're starting again. We need to find the best colors we can to this to make it the like best quality we could manage. Cause I don't want to do any half measures. I want to get the best quality out. Looks there. beautiful. Oh, that they're trying to get a freaking tip out of me too. Yeah. Come on, yeah, Indiegogo. Yeah, what the, oh, they're what doing pin? that. Oh, oh, I need dude, that's that scummy. Ooh, yeah, it is. And the money only set... goes to Indiegogo as well. Yeah. I think, and, um, and just so you know, I mean, guy. like, just be aware when you're like, it's defaults to 15%. So it tried to get me for 82 bucks for nothing, by the way. Yeah, yeah. For nothing. Just to oh, keep cheating. me go, go, going. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I need well, to look at ask me for I a buck or two. Yeah, I thought that setting was off. I'll have to double check it because... I don't yeah, think that's... you can even turn it off. I think... Oh, I'm not really? I'm not dumping on you. I'm saying, like, yeah. that's a little scuzzy. Mm, it, yeah, and it's, and it's what Indiegogo does to try and yeah. take money out of the... They already... All right, refresh. Mm-hmm. Refresh. Oh, we got to be there. Yeah, it's a little refresh. Bit. Come on. Refresh Come again. On. Come on. Refresh Let's again. Go. Come on. Do it. Come Let's on. go. Do it. Come Come on. My payment just went through. It had to put it up. Come on. Come on. It properly periodically recaches. Did you say period? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> He's been watching too much She Hulk. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Hey, one episode is too much of She Hulk. Right. Well, we'll, we'll look. Come we'll check back. Up. That's going to be a. I guarantee it because so, I, I just. Also I just a got special the... collector edition merch. See this. This is the uh, Imperious Ooh. letter opener. Uh, it's it, its proportions are canonical to the one in the book because Imperious has always said has a very long blade in proportion to its handle. Mm. This was made off of the three D model I designed, <laughs> and there's a limited number of these that you can get as well. Special oh. collector edition. That's cool. Nice. nice. Is that six Wait, scale? Is that six do scale? I get the, do I get that with my? <laughs> it looks like it's six yeah. scale. Is it quite sharp? Mm. Look, at that, look at that. Look at that. Oh, will it open my lettuce? Boom. Yes, it will. It will. <laughs> will it kill a man? <laughs> will it clean my fingernails? You know, you know, I think you so. Are, it's, what, actually, it's like, you know. It's, it's, yes. it's, a, it's a serious piece, piece of hardware. <laughs> uh, what's this? Selling uh, a weapon. Awesome. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> those, the days, oh. hey, those are the days. Remember. <laughs> I remember those. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just pay for as. I'm sorry, as. I'm sorry, buddy. God. Stop. Yeah, I'm not sorry it's anymore. Please, that please, for please stop. For that, for please. that version. That was bad. Is it over 100? I feel like, I feel like Superman in that situation. Refreshing. I just dodged a bullet. We gotta be at 100. Oh, now. there we go. Share it. Yeah. We got it. We are at. Hell yes. What a one. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Woo. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Boom. We did nice. it. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, Bye, Joe. We did it. We did it. Bye, Joe. That's phenomenal. I'll take full credit. Yep. yep.
Take full credit. <laughs> <laughs> All $100,000. It was us. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's our Amazon. That's where we're marketing like Amazon. We got him a hundred grand in yep. just a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we got sample underneath it. Just sample. Like sample. sample. Just tiny <laughs> little text. Yeah. At the bottom. Tiny samples. Uh, congrats, Shad. Happy congrats, for you, brother. Happy yeah, for you, awesome, dude. Really appreciate it. But I mean, well, there's like 14,000 uh, people in chat that haven't bought yet that are mm -hmm. probably still checking out because yeah, 100,000 wasn't the yep. goal. There's That's only 43 days hey, left. Hey, yeah, and I'm here. like, Somebody's yeah, this is a stream for the death. This is a stream for the death. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to going. include them more in Friday Night Tight, mm. so we're is having that, a big one. All right, all right, are we good? I think sound is back. Okay, you. are we back? Right. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. I, okay, all right. yeah. Fix. I don't know go. how this is running, but we're here, <laughs> Gary. Uh, look. I don't want to. I don't want to alarm anyone. All I know is Jeff Bezos was at the door. Uh, I don't know what happened. It was a knock on the door from Jeff Bezos. That's the only information we have at this point in time. So I, I don't want to uh, speculate or anything like that. But it seems like Jeff Bezos was there. Well, but I, 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 is back. it just a coincidence that Gary's channel is under attack while the core rings here? <laughs> the core. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of people getting in on my grift, by the way. I saw, <laughs> yes. I saw Rikita, Rikita got me last night. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, I appreciate it. Yeah. 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 No, you, you've created that. That, and uh, honestly, I know you didn't start it, but you popularized Get Woke, Go Broke. You know what? Uh, you what, popularized what I, that. I know, but I know. I take full credit for that. <laughs> yeah. But you know yeah. what? Like nails on a chalkboard, every freaking time I see it written, Go woke, go broke. Go, oh, I want to pull my hair out. Oh, I want it too. It's so much worse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there he is. He's hey. back. He's back. He's alive. <laughs> Old man Gary. Still. I don't Old think man we can Gary, hear you yes. Oh. Take your time, Gary. Get it he's, figured out. But yeah, he's probably got to turn on his. Uh, I've now yeah. turned him into Mike an thing. Indian man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed when the stream went down, there was a nice influx of people uh, buying coffee. So uh, ah, I don't want to nice. say that. I don't want to say that I had anything to do with that. But was... Garrett, 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 Garrett. Yep, yep. yep. Okay. Is the stream still going? Yes, we're live. We're back. We're back. We're live. Good, good. We're back up. Yeah, yeah, don't say that. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna say it. Not too many it. times. Just not no, too many times. I'm gonna yeah. say it. <laughs> what happened is uh, all of my power is hooked up. Shut up. Uh, all my power is hooked up to one side of the room, and it fucking killed my pop this circuit. I gotta uh, rewire my whole fucking room. I'm so uh, what? I, yes. I am imagining that you have like these all these T connectors. You don't even have it, like clean. You just have all these cords like in um. Christmas vacation, like uh, all that yeah. 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 it's all it off heat. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I do think this is a this is a wonderful segue to point out that we, at the time of the stream going down, had fifteen thousand people watching. Woo. Gary has crossed five hundred thousand subscribers. Every video he makes hits five hundred thousand views, and yet G four with their multi million dollar studio can't get. 20,000 views. Fuck G4. Uh, G Gary, who has wires with like bread ties, you know, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and printed paper. And the battery that he's referring to is actually just a AAA. Paper. And the reason I'm glad you guys didn't see that because, like, that would have been the greatest, like, campy out fuck thing. Which is <laughs> <laughs> the last thing we hear. <laughs> Uh, I feel so bad. I feel I feel so bad for Robert when he got that super chat about geeks and gamers. Oh, and no. He was like, no, 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 no. Ah. When you want to collab with geeks and gamers? That's a stupid no, question. No, 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 it, it would be the perfect time to do so because uh, I mean he's obviously really upset at Disney right now. We can finally <laughs> join know, forces. Yeah. 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 We we are. It's not his screener though. 
Ryan, you see, it's little, okay. Volume is a tad low. I low? don't know. Okay. If I, I boosted it. Tad low. I boosted it. Um, yeah, but we're working on it, chat. Thank you for the yeah. feedback. And we still have 12,000 of you here. Uh, Y'all are tell beautiful. everybody we're back. Tell everybody we're back. We're back. Y'all are right same link. Same link. Y'all are beautiful black back. dwarves. Tell That's what y'all are. I mean, honestly, black dwarves. I just texted Gary and told him to you know bow out for a minute so we can make a his channel's under attack video. Uh, oh, yeah. that's all. We already have the thumbnails <laughs> ready. It's a proven concept. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm just happy concept. as didn't like put Dr. Balls all over his face. Still <laughs> 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 well, well, time, later. Gary. That's you later. never know when he's gonna go off again. Let's <laughs> right, you Dr. said Dr. Balls you... is always here. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, people were saying, Gary, don't say the n-word when you came in. But the, the fact is, there were a lot of N words dropped with the hard R. Because uh, everyone was saying true. Numenor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the hardest of all the R's when it's ruled. <laughs> it does get tiring in the Rings of Power dialogue. I, I am getting a little tired of the. Oh, it's yeah, in the, it's in the proper names. Yeah, yeah, it's just getting a little. I don't know if it was like if it was. It's just I'm being picky, but like, man, it's really wearing me out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they pick and choose. All their other L's are just fine. It's just when they're saying a name, when they're using yeah. a Tolkienian word. Correct. Yeah, it's, yeah, it, it's pro proper names for cities or or people or whatever. That's when it's done. It, so it, it is kind of like if you're going to do that, I feel like you kind of should do it all the time. But <clears> yeah, I mean, Mariel tried it on Runic and just failed. Well, <laughs> that was my I can't roll it either, and neither can she. So I don't know why she tried. Runic. What? There's a, there was Galadriel. a really weird part where she said um, Galadriel of Finarfin and gave like a full title, and then the next sentence she stopped calling her an elf again as an insult. It's like they can't even decide like whether they want to <laughs> insult the characters involved or just uh, give them the respect they uh, well don't deserve in this case. It's just, it's well, just like the ending think... where you know it's like all of a sudden, oh, now we're gonna do what she wants out of nowhere because yeah, there was a breeze. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, the <laughs> entire <laughs> island just goes along with it. Well, one thing we didn't yes. really talk it's about I, or that i don't remember was uh adar the character that we all got introduced to right at the end of episode three who just randomly decides to let uh freaking arandir go but who do you have any idea like who that character is supposed to be at all gary i do Which one adar, <laughs> the evil the, elf uh, the, the, evil... the guy's the father of the orcs guy uh it's well it's just an elf yeah, it's to me, it's, uh, he's impression? meant to be the point zero of the orcs. Are they going to so make it Elrond's his brother or something that's been creating the orcs? He's like baby. They daddy. showed that picture of Elrond so, and his brother there. So he's supposed to like not Mor Morgoth made made the orcs. So they're saying Adar yeah. made the orcs. Yeah, what? he's got he's got some. I can I'll look through my notes. Or was he the proxy by which? Yeah, he... is he restarting the orcs? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. yeah. So I saw so I saw some theories out there that he was uh, Maglin Maglin, uh, if that name rings a bell. Who has some connection to? He tried to kill Elrond's father um, before, so that people were claiming that like the stuff that he was saying about where Arondir was from and like asking him those questions about the river and everything. That that's where they're getting like those connecting pieces. Mm. So. Let me look through my episode seven notes. Wow. Well, they, 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 they said didn't that show. All, they said that all of their made-up characters are based on some part of the lore. Like Disa is Dees, but that's that's it. It's very superficial. It's oh, we'll take a name, we'll take an aspect, but it's just an original character that has nothing to do with it. To be honest with you, and it's supposed to be kind of a a, a misdirect on Sauron, who is totally fucking hot. That, that's they have exactly, like fifteen that's different misdirects on Sauron. Like, Ada is just generic Sauron misdirect bad guy, and yeah. like I got nothing out of him or didn't feel interesting. No, it's I mean like, it's interesting that like his like tears welled up when he was like a mercy killing an orc, and then they just um. It was his son. It was of his blood. It was his boy. It was my, my son, I'm killing my son. My oh. baby boy. Basically, Nazi. I don't give yeah. a fuck. I hate well, this show so much. We should have we should have really gotten the do. Harry Potter moment well, of going, my boy. <laughs> well, <laughs> so what the, that's my what son. The, my son this was my boy. What the show's trying to tell you and through his dialogue is that Arondir has a lot of misconceptions about the orcs and a lot of misconceptions about everything that's going on right now.
that that's the dialogue that they put in the very next thing to like try to explain why he might be kinder to these people why they look upon him like that so yeah and they're probably alluding to the fact that sauron truly believed he was making a better world he mm -hmm. did he was making the world a better place kind of like well let's give him a minute yeah we don't we've seen i mean the world i've seen now is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's not, a point. not great yeah. I, I, i'm kind of rooting for Sir, saron i gotta admit like yeah, you know, yeah. gonna... let's hear what they end up doing the half they end up doing. are vile evil people that will just kill it, them, fall behind the best it's like... The best, the best part of this episode. episode is we'd have to deal with the Harfoots. I must say, yeah, that's uh, yeah. 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 they are so bad and <laughs> it's so cringy because there's no. supposed to be some kind of likable aspect that's supposed to connect us, and they're just terrible. Yeah. Well, aren't they just, they just like member homeless berries people. for their yes. member berries yeah. for for um, hobbits? Literally, yeah. their first yeah. scene was member berries. It was yeah, a member berry scene. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us, pick berries for hobbits. In this, yeah. it, in this it showed you yeah. that the orcs actually care about their dead because they were doing like prayers and carrying them away. Sort of oh, yeah. Harfoots don't give a damn. They don't they'll give a shit. They'll, they'll, sort of they'll write your name in a book. The orcs are legitimately better than the hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Holy oh, yeah. shit. It's completely true. <laughs> God. Oh no! I would have thought the orcs would have a greater moral principle. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! They they love your death so much they write it down so they can remember it later and sort of ruin the experience. <laughs> live it. Yeah. Further, remember the guy he froze in the mountain. Okay. I mean, what right, an idiot! I found the Adar, I found the Adar stuff. Okay, let's hear it. So, uh, so in episode six, so two episodes time, how uh, Sauron captures Adar. And he wants to kill Adar, but Galadriel stops him. What? <gasps> she interrogates Adar, who calls himself Uruk. Mm. Uh, first orc or creator of orcs. Something along those lines. That's what it means. And he tells her that he killed Sauron. She doesn't believe him and then vows to kill every orc he's created. Adar implies he's not the only elf touched by darkness. Basically saying Galadriel whoa, whoa. is bad. Galadriel <laughs> gets angry and now wants to kill him. And then Halbrand stops her from killing him, even though Hal Halbrand wanted to kill him initially. <laughs> Adar then remains their prisoner. I'm not the only elf touched by darkness. Everyone like awkwardly looks at Arondir. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it. I appreciate it. Ryan, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would have if it was at least like but the thing is like it would be the most epic W if they if they threw a little, you know, like if they actually did do something like that. It would be at least acknowledging that, like, okay. I suppose that would be immersion breaking, but it would be funny, I think. Well, if they mention that uh, Don Lemonless maybe is part elf, half elven, like, yeah. you know, and his blood. Blood. he's a human. Yeah, that, that would explain that, it. That, that could did, play into his whole relationship with another human saying, no, it actually has worked. Now, that would break a ton of lore, but at least it'd be an explanation. Well, uh, in the I mean, second Elrond's, episode, Elrond's when he's talking half to the elven. It, when he's yes, talking yes. Uh, in the second episode, elven. they said there's only ever been two times that a human and an elf have given birth, and he's and it always results in sort of horror or something. He said. Death. And he just yeah. kind of looked at him and said, "You don't need to tell me," which I thought implied that he was the product of one of those two. Mm -hmm. I think so. His too. brother died, which is, I'm assuming that's what he was. Maybe. Oh, that might be. Or maybe he knows that he knows Elrond's brother. That's what I meant. He knows Elrond's brother because he would be one of those instances, right? Well, he would know. The tale of Baron and Luthien, and he he would know all this. This would be elf war, and uh, I don't know if he's seen boobies or not, not yet. But would mm. the showrunners know this? Problem? Doubtful. My boobs are under attack. <laughs> would the showrunners know this? Well, yeah. <laughs> There's what the showrunners know and what they're allowed to put in, yeah. uh, by you know, by Lindsay Weber, uh, the producer who's like producing this shit. So I, I have no idea. I, I it, it's it's structured just like any bad reboot thing. Somebody pointed out in my uh, super chat square up that the bullying scene with Galad Galadriel is the same as the Spock bullying scene in Star Trek 2009. Same mm. people worked mm. on it, by the way. Same people. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. Yeah. So they just they they yeah they yeah, they redo their own shit. Um, well, they redid the as we just said earlier. They redid it, the same thing the next episode. So. Yeah. 
Well, they're repeating it. Like the second episode of this of this season is basically thematically a repeat of the first episode. They just go a little farther. That's all. Like, where are we? We're halfway through the series, and we just met a bad guy who says Middle Earth is full of lies and the tower's being built and Galadriel's getting on a ship. Like, what the fuck else has happened? We're, we're, <laughs> 10, percent, we're, we're 10% of the way through. And I know that I, I was like, some people are like, yeah, only 10%. But me, I'm like, bro, 10%. We're like, we're in the thick of it. And still, you could say like the fellowship started kind of slow. You know, like it, it had a little build. But then once things got cracking, like it was on for the entire like two towers film and like this i keep waiting for something to happen and it just doesn't it's, it's like are they are they trying to do you think they're trying to purposely extend it mm -hmm. like the, and yeah. they're just trying to stretch it but they have so much material i just i don't understand yeah it's, it's think, baffling there is i think so they have so little that they can Wee. write so they have to stretch these made-up characters they have I also the think that they, I think that they're relying on the, the Lord of the Rings name to carry them through too. They yeah. think that, yeah. that they can. They th it's just like the Star Wars element. They thought they could get away with just <clears throat> hey shitting name. out something with name Star Wars show. on it because it's Star Wars and uh, because they clearly they don't know what to do with the series up to this point. And, they're and really even with the yeah. like even with the Fellowship, like and that's probably my favorite one. But like I especially like first time I saw Fellowship, I, I didn't know a lot about you know Lord of the Rings. It, it didn't grab me at first, but there was personality to it. There were characters in there. <laughs> so like, okay, there's 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 some character here. Like okay, Gandalf, he's he's fascinating. Like what's the story here? Even though there wasn't a lot of ton of action, there was personality and chemistry there from a normie standpoint that made you and run interested. your fools. Was it? Yeah. Like when you got to that scene, like yes. uh, I was like, oh, I I'd never read the books either. When that scene happened, I'm like, oh, I'm in. Like yes. I'm, I'm and there's in. nothing and it just yeah. hasn't been the I wonder if they um if they would if if they would try to dial it back, dial back the scope, but I, I just I don't know. It's such a mess. To. I don't know where they go from. They're just spitballing. Yep. And they're gonna have to dial it back because they're, they're gonna they're not gonna get a billion dollars, another billion dollars to put it into this. They're, no, it's just no. not happen. And it's not in New Zealand anymore. So it's gonna look like a completely different show uh once they eventually get it made. Uh they were supposed to be in production already for season two and they're not. So, but how much so of it's we're, actually we're practical and how much of it is CG is my question. Like how much of it is actually a lot of on this location? was practical. A lot. Wow. Of okay. Yeah. And you know what is in season two production though? Halo. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh Halo. Nice. First promotional image didn't have his helmet on. Like <laughs> you mean to go on. He spent more time with thing. it off than didn't he know. had it on. Wait, is in the he, first yeah. Zombie it, it was Master literally Chief like this point. alien cars. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a zombie, I thought. But yeah, because it's like Cortana well, controlling them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised Paramount it had armor on at all. They have to do it. That's the only thing Paramount has, right? Is Halo. That in Star Trek. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Paramount so, have. They have Top Gun. <laughs> when, you know, Top Gun in the movie front, but when they did That's the UK true. launch, they advertised it based off Halo. Like, yeah, it was literally. All they this have. is the first time you could watch Halo. It's like yeah. nobody wants to. Yeah, I can't wait for them to force the Top Gun cinematic universe to have anything else. <laughs> well, right. is, is that I would watch. Is yeah. Maverick streaming yet? Yes. Uh, but, yes. Yes. Yeah. It, I don't know if also, in the UK. They also have Yellowstone and those shows from. Oh, yep. That's and true. that's a huge miss. Yellowstone's yeah. huge. And yeah, they have a prequel. Yeah, yep. that's my bad. Yep, that's true. And it that's didn't win any Emmys because they don't well, like it. Like the uh, Emmys Yellowstone's matter. awesome. Too I many, too many white people. Diversity. Too many white people. Hey, there's a lot of there's a lot of Native Americans in that show. That cost yep. Costner's a huge lefty though too, which I thought he was is. Weird. A, he is. Yep, he is. So I'm surprised they snubbed him. He was promoting Liz Cheney right yeah. before sure he was. got heated. <laughs> sure was. Yeah, Yellowstone is a great show. I wonder if it's going to stay consistent, but it has up to this point. I love it all, all the way up to where it's at now. We'll see what they do. Oh, next Yellowstone's season. on Peacock? No, no, that's on Paramount. It's on Paramount. I'm pretty yeah. sure yeah yeah I, I tried it it's it's super normy it's, it's fucking good. good as hell <laughs> is yellowstone yeah super normy how is that normy gary how dare <laughs> you sir <laughs> what does that even mean like what does that mean it, it means there's no swords lights like nature or magic yeah. or... it's like a typical tv show <laughs> for sci-fi are you just trying to say it's basic to you 
So basic. Yeah. Gary, need, G- Gary, <laughs> Gary, basic. Gary has yeah. to have. Yeah, Gary has to have the fantasy element. To I it. have yeah. to have fantasy sci-fi. I, I, I've or, been telling. Yeah. Combat. I've been, watch, for I've, been, I've been telling him to watch for normies. I've been telling him to watch Sons of Anarchy for years, and he keeps saying, "Yeah, I'll get around to it." If I, if they add a fucking wizard and a sword, he'll be there in a second. But <laughs> riding a motorcycle <laughs> that sounds <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> hey, Sons of Back Back Anarchy, out. I'll watch. That that was uh, that will be something because that's a drug deal gone bad. That's in my that's in my parameters. So well, then you should watch Back Banshee. Up, Jeremy, I- I've watched a good Dude, chunk of Banshee. Yellowstone. Banshee's uh, the shit, Jeremy. Banshee's yes, great. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, just to back up Jeremy, seen a good uh, chunk of Yellowstone. It's really good. Yeah, mm-hmm. like it's very engaging, kept me hooked. So yep. it's really fucking good. Mm-hmm. So I, I will say the the most recent season is my least favorite. Like season what four or whatever. My least favorite so far up to this point. It kind of got a lot of com- it was a little convoluted and a little everywhere, but uh it's still a very good series, and I'm looking forward to the next season. I want to watch Day, Day Shift on Netflix. Justified was good. I'm going to watch it this weekend, as I, oh, I know yeah. it's going to be terrible, but I'm telling you, it's going to be, I think I'll I'll get some laughs out of it. Yeah, it's like, going to be gonna, fun. It looks like, yeah. I'm going to enjoy it. I know I will. And well, I won't post an official review because it's like when I said I like Paul Blart. and was like, oh, you're a piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not a cinematic masterpiece, but I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> you piece I'm of the, shit. I, I'm making, a, I'm, making, I'm making a video with my face palm about the quartering of his palm. <laughs> yeah. tape, so. Oh, it's so good. Also, just to clarify, well, no, hey, so I, I, I like Adam Sandler movies, so I feel you on that. So, yeah. so you know I mean, bad movies are good at times. Yes, yeah. they are. So, so uh, Yellowstone is playing on Peacock. That's how to get seasons one to four. However, it was produced by Paramount. So there must yeah. have been some weird rights deal. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. There you go. I, and I did uh, I, I did watch the first episode of Cyberpunk uh, Edge Runners. <laughs> oh, dude, dude, what did you think? So it, fucking good. I love, I love the first episode. I'm liking it's all the screenshots fantastic. from it, it so better, as it goes yeah. on. Yeah. And and it is like it is canon to the game that was a disaster. Um, but it does make you more interested in the game in that world. Mm. And I want to well, kind of go back to the game now. You're getting well, a better representation of, of Mike Pondsmith's world, dude. I'm on episode five, and it's just it just gets I, fucking better and better. I hate yeah. you all because I have to watch Rings of Power again for the review. I <laughs> dude, I have to watch it in slow mo mode. You. At least it's better than uh, she Gary. Hulk. Gary, oh you gosh. can cry over your three hundred fucking thousand views in twenty four hours. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you poor baby. Right. Oh, yeah. look at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. Go forty k in a day, please. Go forty k in a day. I have, I have to fake call Cobra Kai woke to get eighty grand in a day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. There's been brief Your opening to that. Week. I know my brief. Hey, they, they our girl is back, and and thank when, God. When you see when you see number one out of ten, you're like, she ain't lost it, baby. She yeah, she still got it, it all. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh hell yeah, she's going in my Marvel video. Damn right. Yeah. I've only made I've only made eight Brie Larson videos. I should have kept those Brie Larson life. feet up. Those numbers numbers up. God, I made more than yeah. you. I mean, I'm yeah. nowhere near these two uh, champions right here. Okay, I've, done I've gotten more mileage out of that dress she wore on Kimmel than probably anyone ever. Yeah, like that that dress has provided thumbnail gold for three yeah. years now. Oh yeah, but dude, her facial expressions in that last video—that's uh, got to give you. That's another year at least. There's no that's, doubt. Yeah. There's no doubt you've made the most money. Have you made more brief videos than me? Because my haters say I've made 200. So I don't know. Oh, then I probably didn't. Okay. I dialed it back a little bit because it was I like, did too uh, for a while. I did yeah, too for a while. It, I mean, you got to kind of be aware. I do, uh, you know, like, there's some YouTubers now that are really hitting a particular female topic really hard too, and I'm worried about. Oh you yes, know, yes. I, like I, I try to kind of say privately, like, it may be like, you know, because if if you're everything they say you are, then it makes it really easy for YouTube to be like, oh, this yeah. is a channel dedicated so, to hate. Absolutely, you know? restraint is uh, one of the best things you can do with YouTube. Yeah, uh, just you know, it's well, good, but uh, maybe don't pound. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> as, yeah. as the quartering saying that, we <laughs> F and T gonna be okay. F and T gonna okay. F and T. Okay. So. Yeah. 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 You bring up her name, I bring planet. up her feet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, that, that's stop. the thing, though, Jeremy. You do one Brie Larson video a day, and you have five other videos to spread out all the hate to other people. So that's <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's <laughs> true. It's true. I do. Flip too hard, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor Thor. Yeah. What a, they've really done. Him oh bad. man, they really messed up. Just I'm, cash and checks. I'm, I'm, 
I'm thinking about moving some of my gaming streams over to the main channel and just leaving them public, you know, to offset it, to show, hey, you know, we have gaming on Geeks and Gamers instead of the gaming channel. It uh, might not be a bad idea. It's, it's positive. Yeah. Hey, just we, yelling, but. We got lucky with uh, House of the Dragon. Like, I was going to shit on that, like, hard. Me too. Uh, and, uh. It's, it I'm glad good. that it's doing well, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's I just don't you know, care about the show. I don't, I don't care. They've been, the most recent one was too much for me. Oh, was it not? Well, too many yeah, boobs. Yeah. How, how, too how many crazy boobs. was it that a story about Targaryens who fuck Incest. each other and uh, <laughs> wanting to fuck each other? Yeah. It was more the fact that the characters have been portrayed as being like young teenagers, and then you're oh. seeing like well, that. It's was been the, years. The she's an adult at this point. She's 18 years old. She's. Uh, they never say 18. that. Well, yeah, it, yeah it, crazily enough, House of the Dragon relies on people to be able to figure that out for their fucking selves. So when she was 17 in the last one, and they specifically said she's 17 now, and they showed Allison Hightower pretty pregnant, pregnant, and then yeah. all of a sudden they show a fucking, like, one-year-old fucking baby. Yeah. Boy, Ryan, that's how, that's he's on his second year. For your, he's two years for young, of age. Ryan really likes his barely legal stuff. He's really... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I like man. Man. Rings of Power where the, the showrunners just literally stopped the show and then walked <laughs> on the screen and went, the Southlands are going to become Mordor. And then they turn around and walked off. It's the Mark. Like, oh, thank flash. you. Thank it's you. the Mark Flash. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Uh, Sandy Q was gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. <laughs> Love you, Sandy. Sandy Q. Must be nice to have those gifted memberships. Congrats, Gary. Congrats. Don't you have them? You don't have oh, them. Oh, yeah, we got 142 at this point. I have, oh, have 10 membership, I, Jeremy. I have 10, I have 10 fucking YouTube channels, and the one channel that hey, has the most hey, subscribers hey. can't have gifted you memberships. It's your YouTube That's partner so manager. Did you I say yes to that like I told you to say? No. Okay, you're no. fine. Uh, I don't mm. want one. Look, I don't, I don't, don't want, I, want I feel it. like I'm going to get a blue-haired weirdo to look at my channel, and then it's over. Okay. Here's what your YouTube partner... Oh, go ahead. Go on, here. go on, Jeremy. Here's go what on. your YouTube partnership manager is going to say. Um, here, we think there's a really good... Here's how your channel can grow. Because we'll all say the same thing. Like, oh, it's weird. Like, uh, I don't get any search traffic for my videos. It's hmm. almost like they're being suppressed. And then and then uh, they'll say, well, here's what you need to do. You need to do three to five shorts, six days a week. You need to do live streams every single day. And you need Premieres. to do, you need to push memberships. Mm -hmm. All those things, by the way, make YouTube more money. Not you. I mean, yeah. like, they do incrementally. Right, it's like right. I was I was on this call with this lady. I'm like, this chick, like, we push memberships. All oh, the things you take 30% of, all oh, the live streams that you take 30% of super chats on. No, 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 no. I asked you how I could find more viewers, not make more money or mm -hmm. like make YouTube more money. And no matter what I said, I was like, is it something with my titles? Is it something I have too many links in the description? She's like, well, those are all very good thoughts, but you know, have you tried live streaming five days a week? I'm like, no, I'm trying to ask you. And yeah, yeah, I guess it depends which one you get. I got a cool one. I got a really cool one. Well, that's what I worry about. Like, I, I, yeah. well, you got to find out. You're going to live in fear. You're going to find out if it sucks. Uh, I'm on YouTube where I live in fear every day. Jeremy, mine went through mine went through my channel. No problem. Mine has turned most of the age restrictions. Uh, almost all of the demon. Yeah, but you get that tier of YouTube moderators that's for the elderly. We have to get regular people, <laughs> <laughs> regular <laughs> content creators. It's different. It's a different group of people. I didn't yeah. know where Jerry was going with that. <laughs> yeah. but, Jeremy, you brought up shorts because I, I, I've, I've tried shorts and I think I've been pretty darn successful with making good shorts. I have three over a million views. This is the thing, though, yeah. right? My More revenue money. went down. Yep. Yeah, yeah mine did too. Wow. They, they, like, too. They, yeah. like, all they did, they got crazy views, but they sucked away views from the content that actually makes me money. Mm -hmm. And YouTube just prioritizes that. I got like thousands of new subscribers that don't watch my regular content. The shorts yeah. seems to like, what? what is. It's just like it's a scam because you, you have make, to think it's a scam, dude. It's, it's like an isolated island. Those. It's a separate platform. Yeah, altogether. they're different. They're a different viewer. It's, it's yeah. really allegedly dumb. Now, <clears throat> allegedly now, they're recommending your long form content to short viewers. Allegedly, um, I did get a shorts bonus last month for tw for twenty two million views. So how many shorts views I had last month? Take a guess what my big fat bonus was. Twenty two dollars, uh, five bucks, a, a, a thousand uh, bucks, hundred bucks. No, no, a two hundred and sixty dollars. 
yeah, Ryan's right. It was about a thousand bucks mm. for yeah. twenty two mil. You know how Millions. much twenty two million long form views would be? Like, oh, be oh like, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. And, and then, so you know, they, they value those views yeah. much it's, less than. Well, it is so, so the way no it works. With like, the yeah, exactly. There's no ads on it. So the way it works is you might go through 15, 20 YouTube shorts and then you'll get an ad, mm, right? Which is right. why you're not just getting money for the views you get. They take all the fucking shorts and all the ads around the shorts that people do throughout an entire fucking month and they put it all in one pot and then they divide it between every single person that's made any shorts. I know, like everybody oh. thinks this, and it might be the future. I could be totally wrong, but it just feels like something like Vine. You would get totally fucking burnt on seven like seven second video or whatever 14 second whatever oh, yeah it's totally yeah. temporary yeah. it's yeah. totally i mean it's not what people want to use youtube for they watch them though because people you know they poop a lot and then they have like dead you know <laughs> downtime and they get sucked in and then if you open the youtube app it's literally all they're they're like you can't even if you try to like open the youtube app and like oh i want to go to canal's channel i want to go rkl post good luck like you have to type it in, otherwise yeah. it's like, are you sure you don't want to watch shorts? Mm, but have you tried shorts? Yeah. Like, Quartering, J J uh, Jeremy, just check the comment chat. Yeah, Wait, it says something. the N word in there. No. Do you think it, do you think it's long enough, or do I, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. um, and, and I, oh, I oh yes, I should do that. Uh, so, um, oh, that's a that, good. That's what that's what's going to happen to him very soon. Yes. Right, and well, if they do good, that, then. I do think it's useful, and that's mm, how yeah. kind of because what I, what I do is I'll take these things and put them on TikTok and Instagram Reels and stuff like that to try to direct people to yeah. the main video. You know, of course, one out of every hundred people might actually go watch the whole thing because yeah. after they've seen a summary, what are they going to do that? You know how I don't get well, short. You know how I don't get short my timeline. I don't watch them. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you know, again, but they still, I don't watch again, them. They're still <laughs> everywhere though. I, I get them. I, yeah, I don't they're. Watch I, I, okay, so I, I when I the few times I do go on TikTok, it is very it is very specific as to like how they week. keep you. You know out. what I mean? Well, <laughs> I'm saying as a viewer, I'm just saying as a viewer, like on TikTok, oh, yeah. they they can pull you in, and where YouTube, I don't like watching YouTube Shorts, but I don't watch YouTube Shorts unless they put like a girl shaking her ass, which I'm gonna click on because I'm a man. That's but called TikTok. Yeah, I know it. Uh, Making a but, sandwich uh, at the same time. I don't watch a Shorts <laughs> at all, really. But they're everywhere. It seems like they're always throwing them at me. Well, 20 my... million people watched my Shorts last month, and it's like, holy crap! Like, imagine if one tenth of them would watch my long form mm -hmm. videos. So if they, and and um and to Ryan's point too. Like YouTube has to connect these to long form videos because they're not making any money off mm -hmm. it right now. Mm -hmm. So like I use mine, I put like a little banner, I try to I go, oh coffee brand coffee.com, use promo code short. And I like in my three second clip and people buy coffee. But like it's rare. And so it's it's um they just gotta remove them from people's feeds. I think that's really pissing people off. Like I go to my subscription feed and there's like nine hundred shorts, and then I have to like pick the peanut out of the turd to find like the long form video that I want from somebody. Mm -hmm. so if they yeah. could filter those out, I think they'd be less. Sorry. I'm just really skeptical about the conversion of getting short viewers to long form because it, most of my shorts I specifically made to complement and promo the primary video. And it wasn't like repeating content from the primary. It was like a little Easter egg thing additional to the content. And then I was like, but hey, there's like a whole video you can check out to see more. And I've barely gotten zero conversion. Like there was well, no I'll tell you this. I'm happy. I'm happy to have all of you not compete against me in the short space, but I will say this. <laughs> like I did a couple of videos where I asked like specifically, did you find my channel through shorts? And there were a lot of comments from people that are like, yes, I did. Or there's like <laughs> people who say in my live streams, like I'll, you know how it is. Like even with all the people here, I recognize most of the names, like most yeah, of yeah. you using it. Mm -hmm. So like you kind of know like, oh, this is a new person, especially if they like they super chat and you're like, well, that's a new username or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of people are finding me through short shorts, but it's like one percent. It's that low. You know, what I mean, like mm -hmm. 20 million views gives me 2000, you know, average new viewers on a, on a video. And yeah. it's not sustainable for most people. No. Like I have a content machine where I can just I have two editors. I can say farm me cringe TikTok videos and I can shoot. You know what I mean? It's easier for me. Than, than most people so if youtube has to youtube has to change something there and, uh, yeah. help, and I, help creators and I, and I think i see 
for me, I see a lot of kind of up and coming creators that are seeing that boost and seeing, holy shit, I'm getting like all these views that I've never had before. And so they're kind of like going in on shorts, but I don't, I don't feel like that's necessarily a great recipe to grow the channel. Like, like, yes, you're right. There's a channel specifically that I've been keeping an eye on who just pumps out shorts as a main content, but he has regular content that he tries to do as well. Right. He's grown to 500,000 subscribers. Right. But on his regular videos, he can barely crack 20,000 views and he's short Mm -hmm. get like 500,000 to a million. He will like for a 500,000 subscribe channel. He'll be making cake. Do you ever look at yeah. her channel? Everybody's seen her shorts. She averages like millions of views per short, and her long form videos get like thirty thousand views. Yeah, and, and she and has like ten million subs. How does that like that? At what what used to be the most important thing was minutes watched. That was I know. the it's most weird. important thing. How does it affect that then? Well, I, adversely, still they and haven't. There's, that. there's it questions. doesn't count towards monetization, so it does it not. Isn't in the same algorithm. Yeah. Like that's I think right. you can get hints of what they count based on and what they show you. Like if, that. if that's interesting, if the channel stops growing, and I, like I'll just stop, but rather than go for shorts, I, I, I'm well. Fine. Let's be happy. You know, you could be happy with what you have too. Yeah, you yeah. know, like I yeah. think that's, you know. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's it's such a like, Jeremy. What's your experience been on uh, uploading late videos on your? On I notice you upload so late. Oh, dude. They do so good. They do so good yeah, for I, me. I always do an overnight video. Yeah, yeah. they do yeah. so good. I, I even asked Sydney about that because she uploads at like eight o'clock at night. And I'm like, bitch, you're crazy. Like, why are you <laughs> uploading so late? And then I see you upload at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Uh-huh. I think it's just whatever you train your viewers to expect. Yep. That's yeah. all that it really, you know, like for me, I'm like, I, people listen to my videos while they're driving to work, they're on their lunch break or, on the, or they're on the can while they're at work on the first shift. Like if I upload at seven o'clock at night, dead, no one will yep. watch it. Um, but it's not because the viewers aren't there. It's just because I've been consistent. So people get used. So like, I think it's just, you know, now if you upload at 2 a.m., you know, maybe that's different. But, yeah, you yeah. know, I, I, I personally just think because that's the way a lot of people do it. So I think there's a little bit of an absence for the American audience. Like, well, not just for American audience. Right? for Because we have a lot of other people in other Central, countries that it's like time zones, normal yeah. time of day for them. Yeah. You know, so I think that's how there's just kind of an absence of normal content. So people get drawn to that typically tracks. Better I've done it. I'm, just yeah, trying, I've, I'm just trying I've, to get that She-Hulk audience is what I'm trying to get. That I've, done it accidentally. <laughs> I've done it accidentally a couple times. To my apology, Actually, my remember, apology. Jeremy, the first one I did, I asked you, I'm like, should I release this thing at 10? Yes. Yes. Again? Yes. Yes. It's, you know, it's sitting at 500,000 views. So, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, and it's good you, you didn't ask me because I would have been like, no way, man. That's crazy. <laughs> like, and you, you were live streaming last night. You had 5,000 at like yeah. one in the morning, my time. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, mm. so there is something to like, uh, maybe there's less, the pool's not as deep, but it's not as competitive. But so, and then maybe you get better key. click through rate. Well- well, Gary, uh, and I've said this to Gary from the moment I met him, but Gary's like, he's he's made for the live streaming. He's made for it with his presence, his knowledge, and just his, the way he does. It's like sports, it's like sports talk radio or, or new, you know, yeah, back in like the day when you with look, your grandfather. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, even back when I, when I first, when I first ran across Gary's channel, he had like, what did you have, like 40,000 subs, Gary? And, and he was pulling like between 800 and 1,000 viewers yeah. consistently then. And I'm like, Holy shit. Like, cause that was a time where I think I had like 200,000 subscribers and I could barely pull a thousand. I'm like, this guy, I did like a rando. Thing. I might not break 2000 viewers. I might mm-hmm. not break a 1500, but, you know, but like Gary, outside of the fact that he's good at what he does, he's so consistent with it. And that's what he told me. Like with Tuesday night's main event, we started streaming that and it would get like, you know, 1200 people at first. And now we're pushing three to 4,000 because we're staying consistent with it. And that's what he told me to do with it. So the live streaming is about consistency and being good at what you do. If you're good and you do it consistently, you can you can get those numbers and the algorithm is going to push you out, but it's going to reward consistency. So that's what I've seen from that. YouTube that- pushes live streams too because, you know, again, they the thing about if you look at it from a business perspective, YouTube gets to make money on a live stream without selling any ads. Yeah. Like yep. that's yep. huge for them. Like they have more inventory than they have – uh slots for ads so like if the, if they can get you to live stream so they're incentivized to push your stream i've had people find me through a live stream which i thought was insanity but like, yeah I was, I'm I like, how, sure. you found my life while i was live streaming the that's one that doesn't happen the one vidcon i will ever go to was 2016 and somebody from youtube was pushing live streams like crazy it's the future it's the future so i was like all right that's what i did and uh yeah i it's it's it stopped harming my channel 
because it used to harm it. But uh, yeah, I think you know, like View and Sydney continue doing that that live stream consistently. I well, think that that'll grow. That's, that's uh, cool. the like one thing see. that could probably hurt your channel is if we continue this conversation. Chat, we see you. Chat, we see you. Rings of power is so fucking oh, bad. Rings, Rings of power, power big big video. Video. Hulk and fuck G four. Okay. I love it. for fifty dollars. Logan, my son, he'll make it up. Hey, Dad. I keep giving Lord of the Rings five-star reviews and talking about how great the story is and how believable the action scenes are. I'm not a fan. I just want Amazon to keep wasting money. I keep <laughs> I keep posting long reviews. game. It's good reason. I keep, I keep posting reviews under Kevin Smith's name. Hail Friday Night Lights. <laughs> hey, uh, that was great. I'm so proud yeah. of you, boy. Clerks Three came out today. Did anybody know? No, no. no. I had no I had no man. Man, I love Clerks 1 and 2, and I have no desire Clerks to watch Clerks 3. Is it a wide Clerks. release or a limited release this weekend? I thought I think a limited. Yeah, the... it's limited, and then next weekend I think it gets the wide release. They, they didn't yeah, want to go have... up against the Woman King, obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do y'all think that film's, gonna make, that film's projected to make $18 million this weekend. Do y'all think it's going to hit that? No way. No. The Woman no. King? 18. No There's way. nothing 18. in the theaters, 18. bro. There's Just nothing domestic. in the theaters. Oh, hold, on. Oh, hold on. That's hold a story. people think... Once people think think they're gonna see, you know, there's gonna get a bunch of SJWs there thinking they're gonna see some anti-colonialist gonna... story, that, and then they're gonna see their protagonist selling slaves. Going, wait a minute! If yeah. they show, black community is gonna seen, come out for that. They, they don't show it. Scary. They selling them it. real fucking cheap. They address well. it. Uh, according to Chris Gore, they address it, and it's mainly the uh, two tribes fighting each other. And oh, the... I bet they gloss over it very, oh, I'm very sure. quickly. Oh, no, yeah. Try to make it like it's very pragmatic and matter of fact. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Uh, it came out that. in 3,271 theaters. Holy shit, that's a lot. That's a lot. And it did uh, 1.7 yeah. million on, on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. yeah. So I, did, it might, I think it it'll might hit, hit 20. It yeah, might I, hit 20. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, there's no competition, and it, it's yeah. been promoted very heavily. Uh, critics Do you have any idea how many people need to prove that they're not racist, too? Oh like, yeah, that's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she said if you if you don't go to see this, you're you're like buying into the narrative that a black woman can't lead the box office. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. uh, which Good is why Lord. they released it on the weekend with zero competition. Mm. Which is, yeah. <laughs> that's, I, I'm I just mean, shocked, I'm shocked they're releasing it in September, not February. To be honest with you, <laughs> okay. uh, it would have made more or, sense. In, yeah. Clerks 3 has made 1.5 million so far. Uh, who cares? Uh, Cole Hauser has gifted 10 in neurotic memberships for $50. Thank you. I can fuck Kevin Smith. He's in three, in three days. That's in three days. It's that's made 1.5. That's fucking sad, but he's sad too, so fuck him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's already crying. Yeah, he's already crying. <laughs> for all the wrong <laughs> reasons. <laughs> he's just going to... How you look at Wait, did boycott did Woman we... King is trending on Twitter right now for yeah, me. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> boycott what? Night. What? I'm, with with like with like two thousand tweets. Is yeah. Black Twitter not happy about this? Or are they happy oh, this about this? It's hard to tell now. It yeah, th this Jeremy. is like by the huh? way, oh. this is all fake crap. Like yeah. I I'm it's on Twitter convinced that like well that's true, but like <laughs> that PR agencies with movies like this is a part of their their mm -hmm. marketing yes. run up. Yep. The same thing with review bombing and all this stuff. It's all part of their marketing. It's not, you know, it's bots, but it's it's like Marvel probably really, you know how much money Marvel could get if I'm running a marketing agency and I'm like, hey, I could just put out a couple of sexist comments about one of your creators and generate $10 million in free advertising. Would you like to mm -hmm. do that? Like, of course they do it. Like, and I, it's I mean, easy. For like billion so dollar easy. companies, it's so easy to go out there and just buy a bot farm. Yep. But what am I going to do? Go on, go on to Twitter and put... I love the the woman king. My favorite bit is when she sold the slaves. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite scene right there. Yeah. I help Ryan. Will. How's that gonna fucking also, work? I, I think one of the most irritating things about the the woman king is the marketing from the trailer. It makes it look like they're going up against colonizers, right? Yep. That's like yeah. the main villain, Europe, Europeans. Yeah. Yeah. But in reality, the movie is about them fighting another tribe. And of course they go and they fucking enslave that tribe and then sell that, that tribe to the Europeans, right? Um, but the, the marketing is to make it look like, oh, white man, bad. We'll see how like true the movie actually is to that. But at the same time, I would much rather than make a movie like this 
than try to like race swap fucking 100%. characters and do whatever. Like, yeah, this is an actual fucking story from Africa. Do it. Is it? Yeah. it do, <laughs> does anyone expect oh. it? Hold on. Does anyone expect it to be a hundred percent historically accurate? No. no. Oh, I, I don't. But... I don't. I don't. I don't anticipate that every time we make a movie about the Revolutionary War, we take time to address that George Washington owned slaves and talk about those atrocities, mm. right? But, but if I, they do change the entire narrative to be, you know, all these people, these women warriors who enslaved people and sold them, actually, they're just completely, totally fucking great, and the white men were the only bad people there. That's a problem. Well, think about the trailer. The trailer was all about saying we have to protect Africa from these people. So yeah. that is clearly, it seems, at least from the trailer, that that's how they're going to present oh, absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, so on Twitter, it looks like, it, it does look like black Twitter did catch the actual history of what's going on. Yeah. And yeah. they're, yeah. they're not happy. They're not, <laughs> they're not, not happy, happy about, about it. it. <laughs> My brothers and sisters out there are finally looking at the history books, understanding what like, happened in fucking Africa, man. It's about time. Wake up, uh, see, does John Boyega think criticism of a revisionist history of the film Slave Traders <laughs> domestic box office removal as crabs in a bucket? Man, like John Boyega is like, man, I, he's I'm become a big fan of him. Oh, I'm, I'm just, shit. I don't know, he flip flops like a fucking yeah, he's, he's, he's a, a bitch. Lot. Fuck him, he, he fuck does. John Boyega. Yeah, he's a bitch too. Yeah. So, so here, here's one they guy glorifies on one of the biggest slave trades ever. It's an insult to the descendants to every slavery or every slave everywhere that's black yeah, twitter like, he, like here's another you're understanding what's up another black? black twitter sees boycott woman king trending sees why it's trending me no way does research 20 minutes later <laughs> well can't see this movie 12 years a slave was one thing but 12 years a slave trader nope <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, they're turning oh, it right oh. it's because the black community aren't wow. stupid they, yeah, that's, right, that's the thing yeah. is like these hollywood fucks think that black people are stupid and that they will just buy into anything that we put a black person in it's not true yep. but this is this this is the this is, I mean Ryan said Lisa telling a real story true but this is the only fucking story that there's two stories Hollywood has for black people slavery yep. and fucking gangster and that is yeah. it that's yep. all they fucking have and it's just yeah. like, you know if you really want to do something you know shit black on Panther. Jordan Peele all you want you know for, for his strike but at least <laughs> well, I mean... he's trying to do something. Well, I mean, I, I, you know, I'll keep talking about the greatness of Cobra Kai and it introduced a black character in the beginning of season four. And guess what? He's not like a prototypical, like he's a black kid and he's got a, you know, he's got a dad and he's in the military mm -hmm. and he's getting picked and on and, oh, yeah. and they yeah. never yeah. make it about race. Yeah. They never, never make it about race is why he's getting picked on. He's just a normal kid. And now he's gone through development and stuff and it's fine. Like, Hey, that's great. Yeah. And that's, that's not that's typically that's what Hollywood will do. And we're having these conversations because of the access media in Hollywood. Like yep. we didn't have these conversations before. No, yep. no, never fucking no. happened. No. Um, the quartering, uh, has donated fifty dollars for for some reason. Thank you, Jeremy. We should get him off some time. We should get him on. We should yeah. Coffee brand coffee for the win. Uh, by, the way, <laughs> by the way, before I read this, I have had some coffee brand coffee. It's very good. It's very nice. good. I also nice. think Nerdrata coffee is very good. Oh. People should have both on hand. Yes. Really? Oh. Why don't you just fuck each other? Yes. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> fucking, uh, I'm pretty well. <laughs> we, we need a we need a jousting tournament to determine who the king is. Um, yeah. so that is elves took our gerbs or gerb. Gerbs. Gerbs or fucking gerbs. Oh, Odin, I'm a very excited about this news. I know a lot of people didn't. I, maybe I just like bad movies, but I really liked it. I, I'm glad that there's a sequel. I wish it wasn't 30 years later, though. Well, the problem, like, I was like, oh, yay, Constantine. And then they announced the people involved, and it's, oh, Akiva Goldsmith. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Along with Bad Robots, J.J. Abrams, and Hannah Mingala. Why? <laughs> oh, it's going to suck. Oh, yeah. no. I was like, don't, initial don't excitement. Oh, wait, never wait, mind. Wait. This is J.J. Abrams, Constantine. It's not a sequel. It's to not movie. Keanu it's Reeves, right? It's not so Keanu Reeves. Yes, it is. Develop another installment of the 2005 Supernatural Thriller, what? Constantine. Yeah, and the yeah. studio will reteam Keanu Reeves and director Francis uh, Lawrence. Wow. Wow. Great. Because that was originally yeah. supposed to be a, uh, a man of color playing Constantine. So they yes. they changed it. There was supposed to be a black guy playing Constantine. They had cast wow. him in everything. Holy shit. Oh, they yeah. backed out. They backed oh. out. Uh -oh. Are we sure it's the same project? Uh -oh. 
Yeah, well, is this the same? It might be two different. Well, Maybe no, JJ no, no. isn't connected to this. No, no. This, this one. No, that, no he is. is. In the Hollywood Reporter, that uh, that that was still that was in turnaround. So it's yeah, it's done. So they're bringing Keanu back, and and like I like that movie. He's not fucking Constantine. It's no, he's not. Not even fucking fair. close. Yeah, it's still. You movie. I love movie that movie though. Something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah you could, you know, it didn't have to be constant. Like Matt Ryan, was awesome. Yeah. In his Matt. NBC one season of of yeah. NBC was yep. really good. That was yes, really. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. I heard great things. Way more that was, that was a good Keanu. season. See, it that is that is one of those situations where a good season of TV gets cancelled as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So all the all these fucking actors going, ah, we, you know, Batwoman, fucking wah wah wah. You know, good good TV gets cancelled as well for whatever reason. What about that you know? show? Um, the the crime show on Netflix that like everybody's mad that they cancelled. Uh, where they're like leading up the the killers, they're leading up to like BTK's the guy. Um, oh, it was like wildly My popular. Mind uh, mind mind hunters. Mind yeah. hunters. No, mind mind hunters. hunters. Okay. I didn't really. I, know, like, I never canceled. got into mind it, but I don't Yeah, right. a lot of no, people loved it. A, a lot of people. Yeah, are man, damn it, as we're trying to have a respectful conversation <laughs> for once. <laughs> yeah. White male leads. White male leads. I didn't ask. Well, too, Archive uh, eighty one had a, a black male lead. And yeah. they left season one on a huge cliffhanger, and they mm -hmm. still canceled it. Netflix is like, running, Netflix the, is it? fun running out of money though. Like yeah. Sandman, what about almost not, human. That was great. Sandman, Sandman, Sandman has oh. not been picked up for a uh, second season, and it really? was on, like number one. Uh, it was like number one Dude, on that's the thing. BS yeah. though, and you know that. Like yeah. when they're always like, because they did that with the what's the lesbian vampire thing. They're like, everybody Ooh. was watching. This was number one on your thing. And they canceled it anyway, and everyone had a meltdown. They've done it recently with, was it Morbius? It was like, oh, it's it's going number two. And people are like, you're going to get them to make a second, a sequel. Stop watching it now. <laughs> <laughs> and well, you and want you know, I bet you want if, the Witcher, if The Witcher doesn't turn around, uh, I think third season's their last. I, I think this is it. I'm out I on think, Witcher. Yeah, it's yeah, me. Not another monster the Witcher. killing. There was no about announcement it. about Witcher, like uh, that they're gonna film like the fourth and fifth seasons back to back or some shit. They just made and Henry Cavill's out. He's gonna go back to movies. Like he's, I'll have to talk to Lauren, my buddy Lauren Hisrich. You know, talk to Lauren. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah. he's turning. He's turning up. Henry Cavill's turning up at my house. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Marvel Scooper said he'll show up to any mom's birthday uh, any minute now. So just oh. con hey, congrats on the sex ass. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> right, right, <so. laughs> For Henry Cavill, I'll contemplate it. All right? I don't think anyone would judge you. Too Very much, handsome man. Yeah. <laughs> and he also likes Warhammer, so that's a bonus. <laughs> I am not gay. I have relationships with women, sex with men. And I got news for you. Perfectly, perfect timing, perfect timing, perfect timing on that one. <laughs> I am obsessed with the boycott Woman King hashtag. Right, now. right, right. Me too. I'm like reading all through this. Dude, it, it's, Ryan's it is gonna make like twelve. Videos. I have to go, have to go for a completely for... unrelated reason. Oh, uh, bring your custodies <laughs> army with you. I'll definitely make a video about it, but it just—it's it, so funny. And you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna get blamed on racists yeah, that don't want to see it. When in yes. reality, go look through that hashtag, and mm -hmm. you'll see—you'll see black people that are being like, "I had no idea that this is what the story is about." At Viola Davis, how are you promoting this movie about the people who sold your family? Damn. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then, this is black people saying this. It's, it's not reasonable. For the Russian propaganda, Ryan. I oh am my God. God. They, they finally went too, too woke. They well, did. You know what? Actually, this is they a really good they thing. Could just slide this in. This is a really good thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of black people don't know that. So it's kind yeah, of good yeah, that they the were thing. like looking in, looking into it now and going, oh wait. There's tribes well, that are doing that. Oh yeah, shit! There's people that are like, "This is like, this is it's like mind blowing." Uh, Jewish people making a movie about like, you know, Nazis careful, that are cool. Careful, you know what I mean? <laughs> like that's, that's, well, that's what I'm saying. That's what like a lot of the comparisons are being made right now, yeah. and like trying to pass um, that off. And so, 
Yeah, I ain't gonna touch this fucking film. I ain't written by three white women, by the way. Yeah, I already made a video about it. Uh, like, Z-Man 92 on the Streamlab side. This is two parts for forty dollars and sixty nine cents. Sixty nine. Wasted six and wasted sixty minutes of my life fast forwarding through three episodes of Amazon's abominable excuse of a TV show. I thought, could it really be that bad? My eyes are tainted. No more. Found and brought, uh, brought a hardcover copy of the oh bought a hardcover copy of the silmarillion uh, instead that's really good actually uh only ever listened to the audio reading the book feels like taking a long warm shower after being stuck in the cold putrid mud that is the rings of power amazon can go <laughs> monkey pox themselves hail to jrr tolkien and hail to the fellowship oh, i love it oh damn vast Fuck Dan Vask. He's a little, he's a little, <laughs> little butt hurt because he got beat by a penis bone. Yeah, damn right, oh, Dan. Wow. You started this shit and I finished it. That's what you get for that. Tag him on Twitter and tell him. Talk shit to him. Tag him. Everybody watch it. Tag Dan Vask. He because can't he can't. Because he can't. No, he'll <laughs> he get some he notifications. He gets some notifications. <laughs> Those books are beautiful. But who just left? Oh, oh, Jeremy, 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 Jeremy had to bounce. Yeah, yeah, because, oh. you know, he needs to make a Woman King yeah. video, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go for no particular reason. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I was, uh, he, he was saying that he needed to leave, but I think we started talking. I was actually typing in the private chat if he needed to leave. I was going to give him an out, but uh, you thank just, you to Jeremy. Thank just, you, Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> you got to interrupt on this show, Quartering. Like, you just got to. how it is. Yeah. You just yeah. got to interrupt. Dan so. just leave. <laughs> muscle in there. You got to muscle Dan in there. Yeah. Dan Vask has a plea for help. I need your help. Someone, please make Drunk 3PO stop sending me daily videos of disgusting, morbidly obese man farting. I block him, and he makes new accounts. I call the police, and they think it's a prank. Please, I'm slowly losing my will to live. That's $100 <laughs> you pay for that. Where did Dan get all those videos of ass? That was me. Oh. In those videos. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. You see how Drunk, <laughs> drunk so I, inserts himself on everything. Even your farting videos privately sent to Dan Bask. <laughs> <laughs> I see Odin there showing off his uh, Silmarillion copy. And let's, see I, let's see I, it. I, uh, let's see it, Odin. I want to compare. Look at your Silmarillions. And, ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. There there we we look go. at that. Ooh, there, there we go. go. Oh, look. Nice. All right, all right. What about? What about? You can see the oh. Southlands <laughs> there. Oh, you cut Shad right out. <laughs> Sorry, go go put go it up. Go. Chad, go up, go up, go up. Go. All right, all right. Silmarillion, leather bound, mm, wow. classic, yes. vintage. Ooh, Very nice. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what's, the, what's the publishing date on that? Now smell it. Now fucking smell it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, leather belt. Fuck yeah, that's oh god. Wow. Oh, that was good. That Talk was about good. getting high off your own supply. <laughs> oh, oh man. Uh, so shout out to Jay Schwabach for uh, for gifting me the, the walrus penis bone uh, wow, in Jay. Vegas at our meetup. <laughs> That's what he came to Vegas for is to give that to me. And in the message, it says, hey, uh, he says, uh, hey, Jeremy, fuck Dan Vass. <laughs> 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 Damn foreigner! Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's still in his own land. Taking our germs. Hey, we still, have, we still have to talk about the end of the Rings of Power. <laughs> okay, right. Do we? What is that publishing date? We have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 1981. Ooh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. Very cool. That's beautiful. Mm. Forty years old. Bashy, wash. Yeah, like. Uh, the one thing this show, I mean, this show doesn't have well-written dialogue, just average telenovela dialogue. It doesn't have that. So it doesn't, it's definitely not Tolkienian in any way, which the beauty is in his language. Uh, it's, it's uh, a total disaster. It's, it's not going to get better. We're halfway through and uh, yeah, I, I, don't be surprised about a month or so after the series ends heads roll. And you start see, quietly hearing like new writers are coming in. Look at this person we've had. We're awesome. Jeff well, Beasley. I mean, oh. that's the thing is, is nothing's happened. That's that's yeah. the best thing we can say about it. Wait, Wait till something does happen. It's going to get bad. All right, it's going to get really bad. That's oh, that's where it's going to take it to the next level. Like like I, like 
if the showrunners get axed, I'll be just like, oh, this is like, that would be not going to save it, but sweet justice, just desserts. That is, you made the bed line. It they probably won't get axed. They'll, they'll probably the get show. that's what they promoted. Need to do. They'll get promoted yeah, I, if anything. I don't think, they're gonna, I don't think it's going to change. Uh, th- like they would have to. They, they have to change the caterer. They have to change everybody. Anybody no. with their name, with bad re- reboot on their resume needs to go. Everybody, Lindsay Weber, well, they- absolutely all of them. They've got so, the perfect excuse as well, though, because they're changing country. So anyone can just be like, "Well, they didn't want to move to the UK. Mm-hmm. Didn't want to commit for the next few years." So it's a built-in excuse. So no one can like. Maybe in G4, for example, start claiming that it's discrimination in any way. No, you just, you know, we're, we're yeah. moving country and we've got yeah. to restart. Where are they, where they moving it to? A UK. Uh, UK? It's London okay. Studios. Yeah, UK. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they just go, we're moving to the UK. You got to pay your own way now. Uh, Bashy Washy has gifted 20 Nerdrotic memberships for $100. <laughs> Bashy Washy, you're crazy. Not another dime is gifted 20 for $100. A lot of people get memberships. Wow, 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 wow. We're gonna have to do a Rings of Power watch party maybe next time. I don't oh. know. On Twitch. The pain. Oh. The pain. <laughs> what about the final oh, what about the final episode? Oh dude, that'll probably be the final episode. Uh, the last time I did one, uh I almost broke a monitor. Uh, <laughs> do you actually want to know when anything happens in this show by the way the last episode <laughs> right. well, i mean <laughs> near enough <laughs> oh. there's the battle in in episode six there's the battle between the the orcs Ad- you know adar's orcs and uh muriel uh, and, Numenor, uh, yeah Numenor and led then, by galadriel yeah yeah but oh, uh, and then there's a great moment where Gladriel and Muriel were basically like oh my god you were fucking like amazing and then like, oh, no, <laughs> no you were amazing, like, oh, you amazing. <laughs> there is literally I, I was a moment for them to start claiming oh, in god. this episode and then at the end of episode six is when the volcano explodes uh mm. and, and so there's literally two episodes where anything of real import that- happens they How many, so again, are we the four show episodes having in action now? in every single episode. So no. that means this episode, that fight scene as she breaks out of the jail, that was the action. That was the was action. Oh. <laughs> no, the slow motion that's running in the woods. The that was the action. Oh. The, the, the preview they showed of her, you know, fighting, that's going to be the one scene. Of her she's training, training Numenorians. No, that's, she's right. training oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and, Gal- the Galadriel is, is braiding Numenorians. <laughs> there's the potential Galadriel matrix. Wait, that's so stupid. Is that a Mandalorian <laughs> episode? About the book. <laughs> it's the most boring fucking thing ever. They are unequaled in battle. They can beat elves. They can beat fucking elves, and she's fucking training them. And my favorite line from the f- favorite dumb line from the fucking show was when uh, Halbrand goes, "Well, you know." When she's like, you're not going to, you know, start lecturing me about the art of oh. war. Well, mm. No, your battlefield is obviously not the queen in her court. It's like, that's exactly yes, what her it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me it wasn't her line. She's comparing <laughs> me to a horse. <laughs> that was funny. I don't think she's ever shown any joy with. Wow. <laughs> That'd be the You've got the fucking cock dangling between your legs down. Eh? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm comparing her to a horse. For sure. Uh, Eric Hunt, $50. Awesome. There's human rights crisis in Armenia, but no one cares about the racist trolls of Azerbaijan. Why report on them when the quartering doesn't like a princess movie? Hail Armenia and hail Friday Night Tights. That's right. <laughs> Armenia uh, genocide is real. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. No one wants to talk about it. Nope. Uh, Cenk Huger said it wasn't, and he also wants to legalize fucking horses. So <laughs> yeah, Speaking of horses, well, is... Is he the name his organization after the Armenian genocide? So yeah, is, is the implication yeah. with the kind of chat oh. is the implication that like we should be talking about that and not talking about movies? Yeah. I think that's what that was. So, it, it, yeah, so like I'm, I'm just making it clear. No, like, I don't think so. But okay, all right. I just yeah, didn't yeah. understand. I think they were no. I think they were just pointing out that like more people are attacking the quartering for not liking a mermaid. Yeah. And it, I mean, it might have meant that, but like that's yeah. We're not going to talk about that here. Uh, no, but I'll say it it's sucks. like, uh, I don't Armenian, like it. yeah, Armenian uh, genocide was definitely real. Yep. We, we do not support genocides on this. We do not. No, no. We do not. Very anti-genocide here. Except yes. for the, the Galadriel genocide. That one. Uh, 
I will support that's, that one. Wait, we see, we, we condemn it all. We condemn it all. Yeah, we yeah, support that. For, except, except for genocide. genocide. They're gonna except kill for the real genocide. It's not real, I'm okay with so that one. We, we that's getting that. clipped. <laughs> um, cool. Function right down there at the bottom of the video. Go right the fuck. <laughs> hey, we brought up that fight scene with Gladio. I think we need to talk a little bit more about that. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Garrett, pull up the picture, please. I can't because of how amazing. we're set up. When your choreography uh, is so bad, you have to cut away from the fight. I can't because it's a down, it's a I, video. I think I see those fake martial arts clips where there's a supposed master doing like he's bare, he's not even trying, and the and the and the people fighting him are just falling over for him everywhere. That fight scene had that energy where she's just like, Ugh, and the guys, the, the soldiers just like Ugh, and jump into the cage. Someone takes it. a swing and their arm isn't physically long enough to reach her position when they're swinging. Like that's that like, I don't I, even understand. I'm I'm being generous here. What is she like 110 pounds? How is she? Flinging 110 pound, or her being 110 pound, um, then they're double her size. She's not even 110. Cage. She's an elf. She's lighter. She's an elf. Okay, she's not. Okay, 75 she's pounds. 75 pounds. 250 pound men into a cage. She's that's, an elf. that's ridiculous. She's a female. We can't show it, but I mean, tell, type in the private chat what's going on. Maybe I can pull it up. But um, so she's about to get shackled by five Numenorian guards who are about a foot and a half taller than her. All of them. Yep. Mm -hmm. and she is waiting to get shackled. Once she gets shackled, she pulls her arms away, slaps one guy, slaps something out of his hand, I think a spear or something, and then grabs the other two, remember there's five, and throws them in the in the cage that she was in. Uh, the other three just walk in. They kind of stumble. They kind of stumble, stumble a little in. bit. Like she, so well, basically what I think they're trying to go for is that the person that she like pushes back initially like runs into those guys and they happen to stumble all into the cage at the same time idiot. and then I she reverses it down. another guy there's That's one guy i slowed it down right there's one guy who's actually standing to the side of the guy that got pushed and he doesn't get hit by him but he pretends he does and goes in with him even though no one touched him <laughs> so, it's like hey, it's that? like the last jedi the it is start yeah, of that fight is. starts with her moving the guy in front of her sort of to her left and Here, the guy who's it. behind her falls over with him, and he hasn't even been touched. He's not even in the screen. But in the next yep. shot, he's on the wall just leaning on it. <laughs> and, like, like it happens I, quickly. she's not yeah. even strong at all. She's just Look at them. Look at them. They're going in. Laughing. They're just yeah. going into them. <laughs> oh, my God. You're They're right. literally I just walking in there. there. This I is think the fight way. was much longer, and they cut away because it was that long. <laughs> they were too embarrassed to be in the scene, so they just walked off. That's so <laughs> bad. I, I, I still think like it was a reshoot or something with them just talking about the sword, just because they're like, "Well, we can't reshoot a fight." It's such a weird scene. And then she this, smirks this is at the, the end. Oh, oh, yeah, the smirk. Oh, this is the, the second. So we've had what, like, really two scenes with galadriel where she actually does any fighting and both of them like look terrible and have been edited to fucking hell like that's what we're looking at between funny. this and the troll yeah well uh, Mar morford clark had to go to therapy uh for people jumping at her <laughs> oh. oh oh for putting yeah. them in cages is and that meanwhile tom cruise <laughs> meanwhile, oh. yeah yeah exactly so she did not there was no fight training or anything that like you could tell there was just zero fight training. Uh, yes. Gary, Gary, there's no way to dis involved too because well, she can't act. There's no way to demonstrate a strong woman by telling the fucking rest of the world that you're a weak fucking twat. Uh, so yeah, you know, yeah, that's please. the irony. I'm wrong. Oh, bints everywhere. This scene was yeah. What I, I just uh, I, this is the point where I'm like. <clears throat> All right, well, I knew this was going to be bad. I know what's going to happen in it, but now that I've seen it, I'm halfway through. There's absolutely zero hope that this will end up being a good show. That people will be kind of liking it. This will only get worse. Uh, what people are left by the—I mean, we've seen this pattern before. All right, with Star Trek Discovery, the first season, a lot of people were interested. It got eight million people watching it live on CBS when they aired the premiere. That's a lot of fucking people, and everybody was out by the fourth episode. Sure, they made five more seasons, and they had the same amount. They had fewer core viewers watching probably like a little under cw ratings two hundred thousand people watching an episode Oof. uh and that's terrible doctor who same thing people who gave it a chance rosa parks episode ooh, that was pretty bad but then when they did the trump <laughs> episode uh arachnids in the uk episode oh, that was, four, that was so everybody bad. dipped 
everybody dipped. Uh, Disney Plus series, fourth episode, second episode, everybody dips. Nobody, nobody's around for the last episode, and occasionally you'll hear a reviewer like totally revise the review. They would, I loved Hawkeye going, oh, Hawkeye wasn't that great. Uh, <laughs> it's it's happening over and over and over again. So we're at the fourth episode. This is your dipping point. That this The, the viewership is going to be so fucking low after this. Mm-hmm. I, it, I think it's already low. Is- so you got to pause it. That's, that's the whole that's fight it. scene. That's it. That's, that's it. it. Well, like, yeah. Uh, like, Garrett, fuck it. Play it all the way through the entire fight scene. I doubt we'll even get like okay. hit for it because uh, it's so fucking short. So here it is. It's really she walks God, up. This is so bad. She uh, waits oh. for her. Uh, oh, trying. go into focus there. Sauron. Yeah, there oh, we go. Man. Sauron. I'm totally going to do something. The cock of Sauron. Oh, and then, and they walk just, in and oh, she goes oh, in. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, then and they that's just it. Cut away to this. That, that's the fight. There's your that's fight. Just, that's oh the my fight. God. They, they closed the, the door. Moves. They closed the door when they took her out. <laughs> she was just. She, the, the guys behind her, like, it's so quickly, but I pause on the frame and you see them. They don't get. One guy just walks in with them. And, <laughs> and then they stand there. You do nothing. She throws in the last guy and the guys that are in the cage are just there. Like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll wait. Watch. watch she Surely just grabs him and pushes him in. Get in there. Come on. And he just stands here impotently like, I don't know what to do. At, oh, this I got a sword. Time, at this point in time, Numenor is pretty, pretty, pretty fucking badass at the art of war. Okay. They they defeat Sauron at some point and his armies to the well, point where he just, he, get, he just gives up when they fucking show up. Now he's, he's kind of a ruse, but he still knew he was going to get routed by the Numenorians. So instead, he allows himself to get captured by our Pharazon here. And then he eventually becomes his counselor. They start, you know, uh, human sacrifices, dogs and cats living together. And then they decide to go to the Blessed Lands and, and invade there so they can forcibly take back immortality. Or that's what their thoughts. The minute they set foot there, that's when Numenor is just laid to rest. It's uh, sent to the bottom of the sea. That's what happens. Well, uh, I think they're incompetent until Galadriel gets there and teaches them how to really fight. So, I, 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 so I when it turns into California. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, like, I was expecting this show to be bad. And, hey, if it was good, that would have been great. I love having a good show. It would have absolutely acknowledged if it was good. But it's worse. I did not expect it would be this consistently bad this it's dense it, it's there's like you can't go too many lines without finding another holy crap who's writing this it, it is incredibly bad this show i'm amazed that like if i tried to make a bad show i don't think i could make one this bad because <laughs> like one of the reasons why it's so bad is because you can tell they actually think it's good this is their yeah. best oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i think it's <laughs> fucking amazing <laughs> And like all of the money that went into the show, like for sure, there's there's a lot of money in the show. It does look good in certain places, but not all that glitters is gold. Yeah, it's ooh. not actually good call, worth mm. what it you think it is. You see it, you go, oh, look at these big establishing shots. Sword, look yes. at these CGI shots. It looks amazing. It's a great show. There's people talking on screen. I love it. No, what? like everything that they say is is empty and dumb. Yeah, I saw from uh, Men of the West from Yostin. He's he's a cool guy, but he's like playing. He's trying to play it without getting in the culture war. And uh, what and I think he he posted it on um, on the community section. But he said basically, "Hey, they mentioned some lore. That's what they." <laughs> oh all my the god! This whole thing it. is lore. <laughs> it should all be lore. Yes. Well, even it, if it wasn't though, I don't understand how you can spend this much money and have this little happen in it. Right. You wouldn't it's amazing. People, and they were just like, well, everyone likes action. We'll just put fights all over the place. And it would have been extremely low on law, but you wouldn't have been bored. There would have been at least something happening on the screen for you. Whereas this is that they want it. To, well, it's a soap opera. That's, that's the thing. I don't know, man. Even their fight off. scenes are fucking boring. Well, that's why they have little, there's, there's little. So little of them. <laughs> like, yeah. she she should be a trained fighter if her character is a trained fighter. Uh, like, I find that, yeah. I find that, like, astounding. You put so much time and effort into saying, oh, Scourge she's a great warrior. Orcs. 
but she can't even fight on screen. Yeah, no, uh, like what we saw here, her opponents rolled over for her and mm-hmm. just did everything that yeah. she wanted. She barely even had to try. Like that's just signs of horrible choreography, horrible writing, and it's a Mary Sue trait where you have to lower the ability of everyone around her just to make her look so great. When Ray, 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 Ray. As Gary would say, very accommodating <laughs> stuntman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did you think of her climbing the um, the stone penis? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, 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 she just Assassin's does it. Assassin's like, Creed all the way up there with the bucket. Uh, so hard to climb. And not only does she <laughs> climb it magically, she's there. She breaks through a freaking metal graded window. Smashes yeah. it And then in. she's oh, like, God. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a good million dollars. You know what she you needs to got... do? She needs to fucking smile more. Ooh, Ooh. that's sexist. <laughs> no, she needs to smile I, way less. I disagree. Less. The one time we saw her <laughs> smile, Lord, please, no, no more smiling. No, <laughs> no more smiling, please. No. Yeah. Ban from smiling. Uh, Bob Dorsey for fifty dollars on the streamline side says FNT side question. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean movie, the Black Pearl. Uh, but the cast is all midgets, and it's two hours of them trying to leave the harbor. Would you watch? <laughs> It's over there, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely over this. Yes. This is where she climbs. Uh, trying to find the shot where she climbs uh, the fucking tower. There it is. There she is. Yeah. She climbed the oh tower. Oh my god, totally yeah. missed that. I didn't even see their that was where? Yeah, we, where where are their handholds? Just... <laughs> what did she do? It, she's Spider Man. She climbed it like she did the water. We don't uh, need to see that. Water. <laughs> yeah, she just has small. one dagger all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> that size, that, I mean, that size seems disproportionate for Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It's like a giant fucking yeah. <laughs> thing. How does she know that that's where the king was? Um, she, just I don't know. Know. Map. she got a map that said, here's the king. <laughs> there he's right there. <laughs> he is. Are you questioning you the greatness of Gladriel? She knows everything, man. He looked at it sideways and is like, oh, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> I need to insert myself here. So our Ferris well, okay. like, I'm going to catch her. I have my sword out. And then Sauron is like, oh, well, you don't have to go catch her if you know where she's going. And then they never catch her. They, they like, well, she just gets there. She walks in there. How, how did you know I was coming here? It's like, well, you literally got thrown in prison because you were demanding <laughs> to come here. So when you break out, I'm you call for the manager the yet again. Plan. Yet again, she's like, I want to speak to your manager. To the manager. Yeah, well, the funny thing about it is like, it, well, when she first showed up, she wanted a boat to leave. And now that she's there and they're offering her a boat to leave, she's like, no, I want to stay. Yeah, it makes yeah, no damn yeah. sense. It makes no sense. Well, well, she did. Like, I will say she obviously came to a realization that there's like fucking already preparation and shit like that going on. You know what I mean? So now she is asking for help. Well, in so. that original scene when she, they first like go, go into that great hall and Muriel's talking and whatnot. The, the motivations between the characters don't make any sense. It's like, okay, well, no, she wants to leave, but then she wants, like, Muriel also wants her to leave, but then also you have to stay here for three days. And then Farazon's like, yeah, you have to stay here for three days. And then we'll figure mm-hmm. out if you want to leave. If we'll, what? Like, just send them away. <laughs> they want to leave. You want them to leave. Just have them get on a boat and leave. Well, Hallbrand was able to convince them right so hallbrand was able to like hey why don't we all just kind of calm down he's like no but let's stay take a couple yeah You're like he's yeah. manipulating everybody right so almost Sauron's like he's Sauron. manipulating the stupid women okay. yeah almost <laughs> like <laughs> how are they going to spin that though I just, with him just manipulating don't... all the dumb women I mean, how are they going to manipulate that they're going to men, men to are trash that. men are so, bad yeah yeah, yeah. yeah they're well, just too trusting well. yeah men are okay. trash and when when, when oh, that, that was a good one time a, when that one time a woman trusts a man he always betrays her yep. <laughs> yeah yeah and, uh, just because you know He's totally white. not sarah <laughs> there was su- a line that was so on the nose it's like all right there's all pretenses gone if you do not figure out that this guy is sauron i'm not sure there's any hope because his lines are galadriel where he says identify what your opponents fear then give them a means of mastering it so you can master them it's like what well, give them a means give them something uh, that gives you the mean of it it's a mastery and so then you can master them. It's like oh all right thanks not sauron <laughs> yep <laughs> yeah. and, and so that's why for anyone that as a as a way to defend the show and say look they have hallbrand telling galadriel and saying oh you're doing this too much you're doing that too much like showing her oh she's headstrong whatever 
none of that's going to matter by the end when it's revealed that he's Sauron, mm -hmm. because then that's all going to be revealed as so that's actually bad shit. He's been manipulating people. He's not to be trusted. So, so when they're oh. going to reveal that he's Sauron, is that like going to be the end of the five? Uh, to me, with, those with, that, with that line, <laughs> with that line, they've revealed it this episode. It's so <laughs> late. He's like his it, second it, line it's, ever it's was done. like, I mean, looks, "Looks maybe deceiving." Uh, we find out yeah. in, in the final episode. In the final, yeah. final episode, and they're dude, like, they're gonna reveal it like you had no idea. They're gonna be like, "It is Sauron. Look at I this. Know. What, what uh, a twist! Uh, you never uh, saw uh, this coming. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> well, she, but, but no, you have to realize that Galadriel, the fucking brainlet, uh, just assumed that he was the leader of the Southern Lands, Southlands. And so he, he told no, her. He, no, he even told her. He was like, "I stole it off of a I dead man." I found it on a dead man. I am not the hero. That and she's you're like, "No, for. you're a king." Yeah, yeah just, you can't right. fool and, me. And then when she realizes <laughs> in the final episode he actually isn't, then he then he suddenly goes, "I've been known by many names." Ooh. Yeah, is he and then he flashes with fire, and you're like, you. "Oh, that's Sarah." <laughs> <laughs> the show told me. I'm Sauron, you <laughs> stupid cow! <laughs> yeah. I still don't get it. Known by many names? What do you mean? I don't care. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I know. What, what it, what's that? The writers just lean back in their chair. Ah, we did it. Look at us. We're so good. <laughs> You know there's going to be it's tweets going. This was shocking. I never saw I, this oh, coming. You know. It was amazing. Yes. <laughs> I almost fell off my chair. Yeah. I'll get his actual. I'll get his actual line. What he says. Uh... This is the episode eight. Oh yeah. So Gladriel confronts him, asks him to tell her his name. He says, I have been awake since before the breaking of the first silence. In that time, I have had many names. Bum, bum, bum. I was shocked. I fell out of my chair. And Gladriel responds, <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? What? What? Ten out of ten. I loved every second of it. Do you know the writers actually think they're being subtle and clever? Yeah, it's just so blatantly obvious. It's like you guys, you're not being clever. They're like, but you, there's the evil elf guy. You thought he was Sauron? Oh wait, no, yeah. there was. You thought not for a moment did I think that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't believe you. <laughs> Well, maybe the guy that looked like the the gauntlets on Sauron. though that looked like Sauron's gauntlet so yeah, maybe. right right yeah uh Gandalf, hey. Gandalf's sweaty balrag uh <laughs> <laughs> for fifty dollars <laughs> great name uh guys he's totally not a bad guy Halron Sauron <laughs> <laughs> wants to smith because reasons he's totally not trying to bend these midget elves and moob moobinorians to his will <laughs> the moobinorians uh and then he, uh, uh galadriator says he's a king so he must be the <laughs> she is always right yes. the she is always right she is always right, right. She always right. right. That was beautiful well done uh, Bradley Burnett. I, love, I is, love that. Whoever said that first, by the way. Uh, that's probably is it. That sounds like a toxic man flu thing, sir. But it, I could be wrong. He likes to mess <laughs> around with names. Gandalf's yeah. sweaty Balrog. Uh, Bradley Burnett for fifty has gifted fifty nerdrotic memberships. Wow! 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 wow, wow. Firefly, is such a good show. Mm. Yes. Yes. Season, Can't wait for the second season. So beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's out already, I thought. Yeah, it's, it's called, yeah, it's called the movie. Yeah. I, I, I remember back when <laughs> listen, I remember back in old FNT days where we could have said extra go, you, you gotta watch the second season. And she wouldn't yeah. have any idea what we're talking about. Look at her actually watching all this shit, she gets the jokes. I don't know if it's better or not. I, I'm, I'm proud like, of you. I'm gonna go girl. back to being uh blonde. What? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, we miss Thanks. Bimbo X Ray Girl. I don't. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be bimboing this weekend. I get it every fucking week, mate. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you're looking for Bimbo X Ray Girl, it's Sundays. Yep. <laughs>
Sunday, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, bimbo, X-ray girl. Uh, Guys, okay. you'll hear everything you want to hear and more. I'm telling you. Just somebody said uh, Kella Bimbo last night on uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well he is a bit blonde, let's just he is. what was I guess like back to that, the exchange <sighs> between Kella Bimbo and Elrond to make Elrond go and ask Durin what's going on. I met, maybe I looked away for a couple seconds because I was obviously bored as fuck. So <laughs> what, like, <laughs> what was Kella Brimbor? <laughs> talking about that like made him suspect Durin of something oh he's your all friend all he said was he seems like he's avoiding me and it's very suspicious and that was it like it was yeah, just oh, right. Right. Yeah. which doesn't that sounds like meta knowledge he was in Kaiser Doom, which means he wasn't yeah, near the other guys that home. sounds like so, he's playing D &D and he, he heard suspicious being at home he heard a conversation in a different room and he's like, like this yeah, is yeah, suspicious yeah. This scene felt like it was filmed after this episode, and then they just forced it in because it wrecks continuity with the progress of the tower. Durin yes. looks like yep. he has not been with, to the elves at all. In fact, at the end of the episode, he goes, you should go now go to the elves. So it's like he hasn't been there once. Mm -hmm. And it's like they forced it in for two things, which were completely pointless. This was a pointless scene. You could have cut it. And what's interesting far from being pointless it would improve the episode and help it make more sense if you cut it because it just makes the it, it makes a mess of things yeah. but it's to set up the um suspicion of duron which guess what gets set up in the very next episode by elrond when he's talking with deza so that's not needed but then it sets up the conversation about elrond's father and mm -hmm. he just remembered it out of the blue suddenly for that just to justify Elrond <laughs> talking about his dad when he's speaking with Durin later yep. on in the you episode. You forgot about yeah. all the sexual tension it was setting up. The very <laughs> important <laughs> scene. I remember those days where I touched your dad's chest. <laughs> <laughs> he spoke of you into Ray. my ear. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great point he about said, the tower. One day because... I shall have a son and you shall have him. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Because I was so confused too when I saw the tower and then they went back and I'm like, but wait a minute, how much time has passed? But wait, what? Yeah. 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 It doesn't make any we, sense. We talked yeah. about that before the stream started that yeah. it, it, like you're, you're making it look like six months or a year has mm. passed, like building that tower and doing all this shit. But that doesn't line up with what we've seen at Numenor. Yeah. Unless the argument is that somehow like six months pass in between there, but no, the village that comet, that fucking comet, or the com comet, yeah, the fucking comet links everybody's it does, timelines yeah. together. Yeah, so it, it makes <clears throat> no sense what they're doing, and it's really hard to explain that away. Yeah, I think they the comet behind behind it another scene. The tower. They mentioned another scene uh, about the comet too. Yeah, who mm -hmm. was that? Who was that? Was that Miriam um, that was saying? Or no, 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 no. It's no, uh, the evil it, elf guy. He was talking about the coming it, of. It was it, it was it was the uh, the old man whose sword or the sword hilt oh, right. that the little boy Have shoved up his ass to hide Have it from the orcs. Yeah. yeah, that guy was like, you know, the red comet in the sky. It means yeah. he's here. He's almost here. That guy. Yeah. Uh, you should be in the show. You that, that voice very that well, right? I say the yeah, actor. Right. Right. Call me. Yeah. Yeah. It's Sauron. You know. Have you heard hey, him? Hey, be quiet. Come on. Have you heard of Sauron? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do the half foots? That's what I want to know. That's it's the one. Like, no, it's like, it's some guys just saying, yeah, I used to have the sword hilt and I used to stab myself with it and get a <laughs> fucking okay. heroin junkies. He'd be fucking like giving me a fucking my sword back to you. I to get high every day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually surprised they didn't do like an Ian Holm throwback and have his face go. Bah! <laughs> you have the sword. Ah! Yeah. Where did the sword go? Now by the way, evil. I'm an evil uh, man. As soon as as soon as the orcs were chasing him, it went somewhere. Oh. Who knows? Prison wallet. Yeah. And then it just never came back. It disappeared. <laughs> it's just gone. Somewhere. He but he somewhere. hid it in a sack of grain. There's actually a shot of him picking up the grain and then pulling it out of the sack of grain when he finally is free. How did he right? get but in, the but grain? In, the, in the shot where he jump runs out of the building, right? There is no time for him to have zero. Is like it's it's straight into the well, and he doesn't have it when he's in the well. And his buddy and so goes back to the it. back to the castle. Yeah, yeah. Just, mm -hmm. He yeah. teleported it into the sack of grain magically. It's part of the magic of, of the sword. In this show. So he last Jedi did okay. Yep. Or I guess, yeah. no, 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 this would have been the Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. way? Any Sideways. which way you want is Sideways. That sounded, like a, that sounded like a Chrissy question right there. Simcast. <laughs> 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 I loved when yeah. he actually turned it into a sword, and the first thing the orc does is give that here with his hand on the shot, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that doesn't have to be stupid, but come on. 
<laughs> uh, Firefly donates one hundred dollars on the stream Bye website wow. and just says hi, wow. hi again. Hello. Hello. Hi, hi, thank you. Hello. Hey, how Firefly. you doing? Can't stop the signal. Can't stop. Yay. The uh, God, Meta that was so good. I love that was that. a good show. No, watch yeah. Great show. Meta PCs for forty nine ninety nine. Uh, yeah, what's up, Zach? What's up, dude? Oh, oh. I met him. You want to? Oh, yeah. You want to plug there, Ryan? Do you want to yeah. ship to England? Uh, uh, absolutely. Like <laughs> Ryan, yeah, Meta PC is awesome. I'm on my Meta PC right now. Best thing I've ever owned. If you want one, whether you want to custom build your own, whether you want a pre built one, whatever, go to metapcs.com. Use the code RK Outpost for a discount. I heard they can make a big booty AOC uh, PC for. uh, Yeah. Oh, my God. So right now it's funny. So I'm looking at a a tweet that Zach just sent. They're actually making one for a Phoenix Suns player. I don't know who, but I know they're making a custom one for a Phoenix Suns player, which is really cool. But, yeah, they did. Alex Stein was there a couple (laughs) weeks ago, and he got his custom AOC PC. Is pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> but, uh, nice. Nice. but no, those, those guys are really fucking cool. Obviously, they've been a big supporter of the quartering for a long time as well. So, yeah, we really love Zach. And Zach, the guys. Zach was a, in Vegas. He was in Vegas at the meetup. Yeah. So uh, mm-hmm. it was really cool to meet him. Appreciate him coming out. And uh, hopefully, we're gonna see him. Is he gonna be in Orlando? As he said, I don't know. I can talk yeah, to him about so, it. Yeah. And we do have the Orlando meetup coming up. So make sure uh, you go RSVP on geeksandgamers.com. I'm sure the mods will drop links on that. And those shirts are on 221B. They're only available for another week. The meetup shirt, Nerdrotic Geeks and Gamers meetup shirt. So, um, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully Zach uh, will be there. We'll see. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Mongoose clone on the Streamlab side for <laughs> two parts for forty dollars. Thank you very much. Because I've been saving my first super chat for a special occasion. Ooh, nice. <laughs> so be gentle. Thank you for the repeated playing of the "I'm Not Gay" clip. After seeing it many times, I finally did some light research and it on it and then discovered Berserk. That's part one. Oh, <laughs> not yet. Yeah. <laughs> I am not gay. I have relationships with women. Sex with men. And I got news for you. I mean, you gay. That's, that's for you. That's for you. dancing. I love it. Part two. I don't know how this fantastic story has evaded my censors for so long. Thank you for all you do, your words of inspiration to create and have uh, have reignited the spark of creativity in me and got me working on my project again. I am genuinely grateful. Well, thank you. We're genuinely grateful for you. Oh, yes. Good luck. Have, have fun. That's the most important part. Have fun. That's right. Did, uh, Gary, I've shared a legit screenshot from episode six. <laughs> <laughs> they were going for the subtle approach on this one. Yeah. Yeah, Honestly, so. if they did this, I'm giving that shit. I'm giving that episode a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> the the funny thing second. is, like, everyone's trying to like pretend like it's not it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they they realize how bad it looks that this is sauron you know what i mean mm-hmm. so everyone's doing every like the the people who are pretending to enjoy the show are actually enjoying the show are are pushing this away to act like oh no it's too obvious the red herring that can't be him and then when it turns out to be him what are they gonna do <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> fucking obvious yep. it's him do you think well do you think even though he says what he says to galadriel at the end of episode eight and fucks off amazon are gonna say well we didn't say he was sauron no <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he basically said he was Sauron, but, you know, it, we, he didn't say the name, and they'll, they'll try and fluff it, or they'll go, fuck it. Whatever. Fun, you know, I, they they already, I think they're going over. hard in on it. They've already had somebody say he goes by many names in the, in the episode, so they yeah. completely set it up. The mm. thing is, though, they're so mm. incompetent and season so disingenuous. Two. I, I wouldn't put it past them to try and save face. Like, this this season, they definitely like, yeah, this is Sauron. But because it's so obvious, it'll make him look so bad. I wouldn't put it past them if they retcon it in season two and make him like Gandalf or something like that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, a young I'm Gandalf. Subverting <laughs> expectations. <laughs> <laughs> 
I believe that. <laughs> that would be I believe that could happen. Funny. It, would, it would ruin the whole message there to, their, to make him Aragorn. We're trying to like, oh, this is going to be uh, Amazon's Aragorn. Oh, he's oh. wrong because he's white. Now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotcha. Sheep Sidian, Sheep Sidian. Uh, well known uh, uh, alt writer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, he, he, uh, th- it's amazing how many people are getting shit right now. Like it, the, constantly, people that watch us, people that are in our circle, like other YouTubers, whatever. It's because oh, I can't believe you would take a picture with Ryan because of this, 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 and this. Mm-hmm. And Sheep City is one of those guys constantly gets dragged into shit because these people are fucking I love sheep. Losers. They sheep really City's are, awesome. dude. They're mentally unhinged. They really are. Like the Ripaverse hate right now is next level. Oh, like it's, it's unbelievable. Insane. It's it's insane how much they hate Rippa. And the reason they hate Rippa is because he just de- his existence and his accomplishments is a destruction of everything they claim they stand for. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. God, it's funny. A uh, perfect symbol of uh of capitalism, uh of the good part of capitalism. Yes. Uh you oh, can hit sound yeah. on this. I don't care. Uh our good friend Zan Zoltan, who's joined me in member streams before, made this. Uh, if you hit the sound on Oh, it. I have to reset it. Oh. Oh. Let me read, let me read it. And of course, there you go. I'm a Brit. You'll Denzel never time. fucking get me out with Benny Hill, baby. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I'm a New Zealander. Sorry. Speaking of Brit, <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, I I wanted to see before we started talking about all the shit. I wanted to see something good. Uh, so I watched the entire. It's not super long. The entire Queen performance because I brought it up in a live stream. Uh, a live eight. Yeah. Mm. Fuck, that is so good. It is it is masterful. It is the greatest live performance ever by anybody ever who ever lived. It is so fucking good. It's like twenty one minutes, concert. and it's just flawless. Oh my god! And like um, Wembley's just packed. There's freaking people. It, it's it's an amazing scene. I'll never see anything like that again. Freddie Mercury is fucking awesome, man. Oh, yeah. amazing talent, man. Yep, amazing, man. Talent. Freddie. It's on YouTube, you can watch it right after this live stream. It's really good. It'll make you feel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Sheep City and says my uh here's my fifty dollar shill. Uh follow my Twitter and Instagram for some cool art and updates on my upcoming series, Fandemonium. Shilling is done. I'll see y'all in Orlando. P.S. Frost's existence in any capacity is like deadlights. <laughs> Lights. Deadlights. <laughs> Uh, I'll, wait, I have a clip for Frost. Hang on. Now that you, I'm glad you brought her yeah. up because I just wanted to say. All I know is that I can play. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that on my tweet yesterday. It was so damn good, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. That's that I can play. Hi, Twitter. Uh, How you doing? You okay? Yeah. 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 Hi. Skinny. Who's retarded now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he said I Twitter, retarded. Oh. Yeah. Hi, Twitter. We're, we we appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, <laughs> Wasn't I it? hunted, Rob? I hunted for Toby Maguire's dick. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, if we're gonna, let's see. Hang on. Brilliant. That was brilliant. hunted. I hunted. Hunted, Rob. Hunted. Hunted. <laughs> hunted. I got news for you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, Jerry? What do you got here? Oh. Hang on, I'm looking for it. Can't fucking. I have, se- I have relationships with women and sex with Toby Maguire's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Just that. No other part of it. I got news for you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Took, took, took me a Is second. Is it the echoing? No, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, boy. Hope they can do better. All right, what's next? Uh, hang on. Here we go. Uh, oh, Atomic says, would you ever collab with geeks and gamers? I was just... <laughs> 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 
What? That's it. What is oh, Sean's response? He said, he said, let's just move on from it. He won't oh, answer what it. A Everybody bitch. laughed instead of us. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Atomic says, would you ever collab with geeks and gamers? Oh, let's just move on past that. That's maybe a question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, let's just, just move on. That's so much salt. Wow. <laughs> he knows you guys well. He's so <laughs> like, like I, I, I literally went to this man's stream when him and Harloff reconnected, sent a congratulations super chat to them and said, I like how you guys, after like, you know, Collider fell apart. I'm glad you guys are connecting. Congrats. You know, all differences aside. Christian was super nice about it. John would not even mention the word Geeks and Gamers or Jeremy. He, would, he wouldn't even say my name. It's so funny. Say my name. So. Say my name. Say my name. <laughs> say my name. <laughs> and and uh, I, I hate that, that R&B is in the middle of it because Robert's a great guy. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, R&B is great. He's the <laughs> fucking best. Man. Look how excited he's he gets too. He's like, oh, this is exciting. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to move on Rob, from that. Rob's, Rob could be a cheeky oh. chap. <laughs> 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 yeah, he can. Uh, it, it, I'm saying it would be, per it would be the perfect time. He's uh, John's on his anti-Disney arc right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Oh, Perfect. Only because it suits him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. What is he mad at? Oh, uh, that <laughs> this D23, D23 situation. Yeah. He uh, apparently he couldn't live stream everything. I, I'm not sure the details of it, but he was really mad. He made a big rant video. He made was a, he not a invited? Live stream. No, he, he was invited, but then once he got there, apparently they told him he couldn't live stream <laughs> the event uh, or something like that. He but he's really been working mad. so hard to be a fan. So. Yeah, yeah. No, no. So, busting his ass, but, you know. Didn't he but, do something about um, Andor? Andor uh, yeah, so uh, he he got an early copy of Andor, but he got it got his hands on it in a way that like you're not supposed to, I guess, which made which for him made him feel like he wasn't bound by the restrictions of the kind of NDA. Mm. So and then yeah, so people Ooh. people are having a, a go at him over that as well. So oh and, shucks, and that's too Disney bad. Arc, I'm telling you. He, yeah, he said he saw someone else's uh, streamer, so uh, which would get them he's fucked. He's not bound by yeah, so he's not bound by their rules. Yeah, you know what? Uh, if somebody sent me Andor early, I wouldn't watch it. I wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> no way. I would watch it in a fucking heartbeat. <laughs> Send it to me. Yeah, no, take no, it. No I'm, way. I'm, I'm I'm gonna be all on Andor just because the clicks were so good for Kenobi. Uh, <laughs> so, um, well, it's like, and, you, and you know, all the fucking Trump references are gonna be fucking dated. It's, it's got oh. it. apparently it's like really standalone. It doesn't, uh, according to Grace Randolph, there's no Easter eggs, so it's not even worth reviewing because there's no Easter eggs in it. I, that, so I Did actually think that? I've been saying this for a long time <laughs> that I think Andor has the potential to be the best thing that Disney's fucking produced Star uh, oh, Wars wise. Wow. A character that fucking dies. In a prequel to a prequel, yes. it's the most exciting yeah. thing from Star Wars. It's fucking yeah. dead. Yeah, yeah. I, it's I, a think that, I think that prequel this... to what Easter eggs do you fucking want? <laughs> yeah, but that's the problem. So I actually think it might be the best thing they end up doing, and no one's gonna fucking watch it yeah. because it's gonna be too serious. It it's gonna have, be yeah. too dark. It's it, not it gonna be have like, the appeal hey, of a Kenobi. Here's Baby Yoda. We're fucking carrying around Baby Yoda. Hey, look at this <laughs> yeah. random character that you love from Dave Filoni, like shit like that. It, so it, people aren't gonna yeah. be in on it. Brian it one hundred percent doesn't the have the of Star Wars. Dave Filoni is a savior. Stop. Hey, he's the best. He's the best thing hey, they got. If Dave you're talking about Yoda Dave Filoni, you got to call him the savior. All right. Wait, when did they complete <laughs> the show? When did the they complete savior. Andor? Was it like two years ago? Uh, uh, three years ago. Four years ago. They finished it. They didn't yeah. complete it. They didn't complete. There's it no way. What? It was, it was definitely being filmed in 2020. Correct. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do like this show's not going to have the 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 appeal that Kenobi had. Uh, uh, Kenobi had everything going. The, whatever's left of Star Wars, Kenobi had all of it. You had Hayden mm. Christensen coming back from a marketing standpoint. You had Obi Wan Kenobi. Or you had Ewan McGregor coming back. Uh, <coughs> you had your race card. Like you mm -hmm. had it all. You, you had everything you needed to promote that, and they did that. And I don't. I still don't know what the real numbers were, but it. You know, yeah. this this show does not have the potential that Kenobi had. Yeah, like th this is no. It's so the numbers aren't going to be there if for so video. You know how uh, Winter Soldier felt a little bit different, a little more uh, fucking dark kind of Marvel spy, show thriller type of feel for the MCU. I think this is going to be that on steroids because I I do think it's going to be a spy thriller. It's going to be people who sit there and maybe have to witness horrific shit to try to keep their cover in this war. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, this is the, the dumbest take, which might mean it's a, a actually good series. Also, the first <laughs> Disney Plus Star Wars or Marvel show 
to have pretty much zero Easter eggs. I mean, someone's like, hey, there's something going on in Scarif. But that's like it in the first four episodes. And I think that will really hurt its reach in fan circles and on social media because there isn't anything to really talk about or get excited about when it comes to big picture. You know, the franchise as a whole. It's so crazy to me that Disney in both the Marvel and now clearly the Star Wars divisions doesn't understand the importance of Easter eggs. I mean, help me do my, help me help you, help me do my job. Help me, so help me do help my job. Me I need to tell you, you how many references this show <laughs> has. Let me do my job. Did you hear what she oh said? God. She said, this is my sandbox, and the Easter eggs are little chunks. Like she's actually in a kitty litter box, and little chunks are fucking pieces of cat shit. That just, <laughs> she says, this is my sandbox. She's that, actively like, calling for more member berries. Like she thinks that is yeah. what's positive about gauge, shows now. Buy. It seems like yeah, her gauge of quality is just the, But social like, media, we've all... We've, We've all seen social media does nothing, nothing, mm-hmm. nothing no. at all. Yeah, but, I don't even tweet, I don't what, tweet my videos out. Yeah, but this no, is the no. audience that they've cultivated, right? It is voice this yeah, is Marvel. This is the Star Wars audience, which is why if you do have something like this, and again, we've heard a lot from these fucking people that this is going to be overtly political. And we heard a lot of shit, in, you know, before House of the Dragon as well. It turned out that that's not necessarily hasn't come through, you know, a ton. But <laughs> if it does happen to be good not gonna matter like i don't think people are gonna come out and watch this because people are gonna be like where's my lightsaber at there's no lightsabers in this well, people are gonna no be like oh, who is and or well to your yeah, to your yeah. point to your point ryan maybe yoda a dead guy they, they've they've ran off anybody that they could have appealed the show to that's yeah. the problem mm-hmm. they, they have pandered to an audience that just wants the bright lights and the familiar characters and anybody that cares about an actual story within this time frame They've mm. told them point blank that we don't fucking care about you. Yep. They pulled yep. you to your face. Mm-hmm. They g forward their entire audience. They straight up said, <clears throat> we're not here for you. And now they may make something that could potentially appeal to that group of people, but they're long fucking gone. Yep. And they're the problem with that is yeah. because you're, you're, in, you're well into apathy with Star Wars. You're going to have your hardcore fans that are going to be around forever, <laughs> but that doesn't, that doesn't move your product or your IP. It's the normies. And once that apathy, it's worse than death. Hate is still a form of emotion. During yeah. Last Jedi, mm-hmm. they had chances to ch- change things for the better and bring some people back. But once they're like, fuck it, I don't care. I don't care. J- to make everybody gay. I- I- talk about Trump. I don't give a shit. I just don't. That's apathy. That's the death of your franchise. Yep. It's long. It's slow. But it's dead. Yep. It's dead. Absolutely. Well, they're out here like a prospector just prospecting out the worst fan base possible. They're like weeding out anybody that cares about the lore of, of- Luke Skywalker, Han Solo. Now, then they went to Obi-Wan, Vader. Everybody that cared about that shit has been long gone, and it's just the shills, the Raylos, the weird-ass people that do care about all these little member berries and little Easter eggs and all this garbage shit. Nobody cares about this anymore. So a number of years ago, Tom Brevoort said that a uh, enraged fan is an engaged fan, and the thing is that they don't understand is eventually... People get burnout and it leads to apathy, like Gary said, yep. and that's what yep. kills your property. So, Orion, is Darth Vader going to be an Andor? I don't, I don't know. So. I haven't heard anything I don't, about I don't, that. I don't think so. Um, so, right now, I think it's like 13 episodes, and they're like uh, 35, 40, 45 minutes, like that kind of run time we're looking for. Um, and I believe they're releasing the first three episodes yeah, first maybe right three. away. And it's almost like one entire story. That's mm-hmm. kind of like the way that that, that first three episode <clears throat> arc is from what I've heard from the reviews. Because uh, it's a five, I, it's a five year story over 13 episodes. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it could, I, I definitely could see references to Vader because, uh, you know, just saying him, um, is something they can use from a marketing standpoint, you know? But I can't see it being as obscure as Grace is saying it is, at least in the long run. I, I can't see that because that's not what Disney and Star Wars have done. Like they, They've reliant upon member berries. And again, I don't think that that's inherently a bad thing, but when that's the only thing you have, that's a bad thing. And they still that's have all baloney have. member berries. There's still characters from the Filoni verse that, but, that but are in that show. Is that, but she's saying that they don't, that they're not using a lot of that. Is that is that that's what, what it sounded like what she, she was said? saying? No, no, yeah. that's what that's what others. Uh, Chris Gore was uh, reviewing it today uh, with Alan, and they said the same thing. Yeah, it's what? standalone, you know that it's 
that it's a story that's it's just kind of its own thing now i think they only saw the first four episodes right yep um yeah. i think that's what the reviews were i don't think anyone's seen the <clears> entire <throat> season yet uh but yeah they sounded like they really enjoyed it like even from a visual perspective it doesn't feel like one of these things that's filmed in the volume mm-hmm. we saw the sets they made for it yeah like mm-hmm. they actually made but a lot of actual they, that's real what shit Rogue One should have been that. Uh, instead, we got Rogue One, which I know a lot of people liked Rogue One. Don't, I don't that's like trash. But I Rogue hate One, I hate Rogue that One movie. to me, yeah. from the moment I saw it, was a, uh, the casting was simply, we don't need a, a, a white male on the yep. rebellion side. That's what the casting was. We need a powerful girl. Um, powerful yes. woman. And I did like a uh, bland white woman. I, bland I, white I, woman. I, I, I still think uh, Ben Mendelsohn was the best part of Rogue One uh, yeah. as director. Yeah, yeah, he was. You know, he disappeared after that awesome. movie. Well, yeah, I know. How he's many more such movies? An awesome actor. He's a, uh, he's he's, a great he's actor. In something. He's in something coming up. He was in that, uh, and the then Ready he's Player One, Invasion. and then he's disappeared. He's in Secret Invasion. Secret. Mm, yes. That's yes. Right. That's right. Yes, he's in that. So I uh, mean, he's a Ben Mendelsohn does a lot of like low key stuff. I think he's one of the most underrated, underappreciated actors right. out there. Yeah, yeah. So, ben Mendelsohn uh, is amazing. By the way. Yes, yeah. he is so fucking K2 good. K2 that was the best part of that movie. Oh, for, hands down. Alan Tudyk is great. Alan Tudyk. Yeah. Tudyk and. Mendelssohn were good. Everybody else. Wash. Was, I can't yeah. remember. No fucking personality. When your lead has no fucking personality, fine. you have a forgettable movie. Considering I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. It's bad. That's bad. But that wasn't in the movie. Correct. <laughs> yeah, it was in the trailer. <laughs> the movie was was fine compared to everything else we've gotten. So, but I... I, I it, it was a mediocre, boring, forgettable movie that some had people, a great last 20 minutes. Yes. Exactly. So yeah, some agreed. people... Uh, where everybody dies. Um, I, st- so- I still don't think the twenty minutes, twenty minutes, to still felt fucking weird because it did. Just shortly after, Vader's going to go back to being the slow old fight, and it's like in Correct. continuity, it does not work. Yeah. Like in right. isolation, yeah, it was cool. Him like that. So, but like, yeah, what I would say though, it's like the right. Dwarven episode, uh, like the Dwarven scenes in Rings of Power. It's the best that Disney has ever put out. It's not good. Yeah, yeah, but that like that Vader scene for the general audience played really fucking well. It did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like it, it is Absolutely. just well, that's it is why just it was put bait. in there. Like that's it's all thing. it was. It's just bait. It, but it seemed. I think I don't even know if that was a part of the original plan or not because it it came across at least it came across as oh we don't have any real memorable scenes in here oh let's add Darth Vader people I talk about yeah. that no, no, sure no. it was like the plans being passed off was was part of it. I feel like that yeah. had to be a huge part of it. I think it was everything before that that they changed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah well, well, once she fired the did. director the towards thing, the end, didn't let him into the editing room. Is that literally everybody wanted to fucking see Darth Vader fight? We've never actually, besides you know Star Wars where he fights Obi Wan, we want to see you know Vader in his prime kicking ass, and that was like the only opportunity we actually <laughs> ever got. Uh, Yellow Flash Two is in uh, is in uh, is in the chat. What's, What's up, up, Yellow Flash? Flash? Flash. Hail. Uh, Hail, Yellow Flash and Flashcast. Uh, dropping even, a super chat too. Dropping a super oh. chat. He might even be live after the show. <laughs> I've been watching that while I decompress. Uh, for 19.99, I love this tweet. My favorite part of Andor was when Star Jam- the Star Jammers showed up and saved Scott Summers. Nice. That's a nerd. Nerd. I love you. Uh, horror Amarada. You know what? I might have had a few mini strokes in my time. I did <laughs> flatline a couple of <laughs> couple of times on drugs, so I, you know, I'm not all there. I can't speak for fifty dollars. <laughs> I can at least joke about it. <laughs> can't wait for dementia. Uh, doing. <laughs> Model. So money is light, but I wanted to give everyone some love and say Aww. thank you for all you do. Gary, thank you for the Lord of the Rings coverage. Oh, you're welcome. It's cathartic, believe me. Uh, seeing that you're doing just uh, seeing what you're doing just makes me mad. Seeing what they're doing just makes me mad. See you all in Orlando. Oh, we'll see you there. Yeah, yeah. Orlando, so excited. See you there. It's going to be awesome. Oh, that's coming up too. It's month and a half. Thankfully, yeah. they premiered God. two episodes at once, so I have a two-week break between Rings of Power. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. Thank God. We're going to need it. <laughs> We're going to need it. Uh, House of the Dragon will still be going, but that's fun. That's, that's a good fun. show. And, listen, some people are just out. I am out on Star Wars. I'm fucking out. If I watch it, it'll just be as a, a casual observer who does not give a fuck anymore. Uh, and, and some people feel the same way about House of the Dragon. I You know, they're two totally different things. With House of the Dragon, you have 
different showrunners, different people in charge of Warner Brothers. It's a whole, whole different thing. And it looks like it is kind of an effort to wing fans back, you know, but you're going to have to look at it as a series in isolation. You get, but yeah, the, you the have biggest, to, they keep fucking reminding you of a song of ice and fire and game of Thrones season eight. They need to just end that shit right now. They need to stop yeah. it. It's it was interesting. Worst. One of the, uh, the clips, like they were interviewing some of the actors on the set. And the first thing Matt Smith said was, I hope everybody goes into this show with a clean slate. <laughs> I'm like, you have to. If you go into the show thinking about that last season in any way, it completely kills it because you still go, okay, all yeah. this leads to season eight, Game of Thrones, Daenerys <laughs> blowing down the entire King's Landing, Jon Snow stabbing her in the stomach. It all leads to every single one of your favorite characters having the dumbest ending. <laughs> not, not the worst ending. Yeah. The dumbest ending. I, I can't. I just can't. I just cannot invest that's myself why, into it, it at all. That's why I don't like to say that I like it because it's a good show. I like. It's a little boring. It's a little like some. At sometimes it's a little slow. But I'm liking it. I like the characters. I like where it's going. I like going. the court politics. I found that but interesting. But it fucking yeah. leads. Again, it leads. It's I, like it leads to Jake Skywalker. It leads to that it shit. Does. It does. Yeah. In yep. the I end. Think yep. for, I, I think for the like normal audience, I do think it's a mistake to continue trying to connect them. Yeah. To continue to be like, oh, Aegon's vision. Oh, look at this dagger. When you put it in fucking fire, it oh my shows God. the prince was promised. <laughs> Fuck it. You know, all that shit. I think that's a mistake. However, like for me, I'm really excited to see actually what they're going to do in the show. I'm excited because there's so much cool well, shit that is about to fucking yeah, happen. Yeah. Okay. They are the, the, the slow parts that are, Ooh. I mean, pacing issues in the first two episodes aside, they pick up in the previous two and they set up shit that like, mm -hmm. if, and it's not trying to be shocked. If you think the wed, red wedding was a thing, there's like five <laughs> but <red bed. laughs> there's five they they go fucking nuts so i think i really do think it's also supposed to be like three seasons maybe four <clears throat> like they have an ending that, mm. and and that's that i'm sure that's what george absolutely wanted is like we are going to map out the ending for this so we that doesn't happen again hopefully it's already written right you, you're already you're taking a fully yeah. completed story yeah. and one of the cool things about the story is that when you get to the dance of dragons segment in fire and blood <laughs> the entire thing is written from three different perspectives. Yeah, dude. It's and frustrating. It, so it, it it's almost like it's almost like uh like the Bible in a way, like when you look at the gospels, like slightly different, you know, from a different angle. Like talking about the same, same thing, but slightly different, maybe interpretations or how this happened or whatever, the order of events, things maybe not captured by one person that did get captured by somebody else. Um, and they're very clear that it's like, hey, all the people that wrote these three do have their own agendas at play. You know, so it might not be super accurate. So now we're getting to see you go in like to an episode knowing it could play out one of these ways and they show you the way that it <clears throat> did play out. Which I, I show think me cool. the way. Yeah. Oh, um, I, I am sharing the uh, shirt real quick. Oh, if you guys, I don't want to interrupt that conversation though. Sorry. I was, I thought you were too done, late. So, well, it's too late. There's a shirt. There's the meetup shirt. If you have a week to go get it. You can go rock get it, it, and Gary will give you a hand job if you're wearing it. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. my God. Yeah, I'm wear my spiked gloves. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Cenobite. Probably would have said more if I would have said X-ray girl, but oh, well, Disclaimer, whatever. Gary, so. give you a job. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, I don't so stand anyway, with these uh, gamers. <laughs> I'm questioning your capitalism right now, Jerry. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is your channel. You're a pretty popular guy, so I think my capitalism was pretty good. So. <laughs> I'm not as popular as that great girl. <laughs> At least in that department. I just sure. I need to remind everyone that like she does all the collating of the super chats and she reads everyone guys I yeah i try i try so when it's like hey dude x-ray girl's fucking hot <laughs> she's the first to read it yep mm -hmm. read it. Is that, oh that is true yeah. oh, is that one Wait, I should... gary are you trying I to should... tell oh people God, not to send I'm those so messages <laughs> yeah, yeah. it seems like you're trying to get them to do it it wasn't uh what? the one from that ryan's talking the about it nerd. wasn't a super chat but it was yeah. a message what was yeah. it? <laughs> People say a lot of interesting things about uh, X-ray girl and her potential medical status, things like that. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. I'm like, okay. Oh yeah. Is that, <laughs> yeah. Is that a compliment? I think I'm gonna take it as a compliment. <laughs> I'm so confused. Had a few. It's just your Asian glow. <laughs> Mark in the um, chat saying X-ray girl is hot. <laughs> I, <read that. laughs> I think what Gary's trying to say is he would rather the super chat say Gary's hot, so X-ray girl can ah. read it. To make yeah, it all yeah, weird, okay. So. <laughs> 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 How is he doing that? Uh, well, can we? What was that? I was about to say, can we go back to like? Sending super chat so I can slap Ryan. If you want to do that in Orlando, you can give Those me. Were, uh, yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. A couple hundred. Oh. I'll slap oh. you. Oh. Who do we? Oh. Yep. I think we lost. He got Chad. scared. Yeah. Chad. Yeah. Chad said I am oh, not no. affiliated with oh, this discussion. Uh, <laughs> I do not approve. We're gonna talk about rings of power again. Don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I'd be yeah. fine. X ray girl slaps like a bitch, so I don't care. <laughs> she needs to learn to slap a little harder next time. Yeah, yeah. I gotta do it a few more times. So you guys gotta yeah. get me practice. You gotta build up practice. to it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, help Red, me. Uh, <laughs> Nobody uh, clipped that line. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Uh, Rev68 on the Streamlab side for 6868. I'm gonna come. <laughs> uh, Gary kills the FNT live stream by hitting his refresh button too many times oh. to update Shad's Indiegogo total sales, said yeah. in Thor's voice. You refresh too hard, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> We're at 118, by the way. Flip too hard, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 118,000. 118, what? Yeah, That's yeah, awesome. yeah, nice. Wow, 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 Man, you guys are awesome. You guys he just are awesome. disappeared. Did his internet die? Is he okay? I haven't heard he of that. He just saw that and he's gone for a fucking Tommy Tang. <laughs> <laughs> a what? You guys, you fucking... <laughs> what is that <laughs> British thing? <laughs> <saying? laughs> you freaking New Zealanders, man. A yeah. Tommy Tank. Wank. Yeah, I kind of feel <laughs> like oh, Is that somehow that connected memes. to Thomas the I never the heard engine? that one before. Chad is I, a happily probably. married man. He doesn't need to go for I'm a wank. disturbed. I, I don't know what that means. His I've wife never, can play yeah. along if he wants, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. He's got like 18 kids like me, so he knows what's up. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a break. Just some you time. Uh, Patrick, Patrick L's for $100. Oh. 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 You friggin' boomers. Oh. Not oh. But now Gary's channel is under attack. Here, take my pesos to rewire your house, Gary. I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for my signed leather bound copy of Shadow of the Conqueror. Yes, oh. I did get the tier with the leather bound copy. Shad, are you okay, buddy? I'm a little worried check about him now. Let me check on. Check on Shad. It's probably in a cheese sandwich right now. Oh, a cheese sandwich? Mmm. Cheese and cheese and Branston pickle. Oh, the man. fuck is what? Don't you what put it? I can take the cheese without the pickle. You New Zealanders yeah. are weird. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I the fuck cheese? What about, what about cheese sandwich? Is pretty good. Wait, so just cheese, pickles. Pickles. cheese and pickles. Just cheese and pickles. No, no, class it up with like Branson a fried bologna pickle. sandwich. That's with class. Oh my okay. God. Some spam. When they think... Get some spam over here. Oh, guys, he man, lives on the think island. Pickle, they'll think like gherkins. He can't get food. That's why. And when he does get food, it's sick. Okay? <laughs> I've been there. Okay. Some lovely guy called Robert, Robert Wiles. Robert, Robert uh, Wiles. Thank you so much. He sent me some, some G Fuel. One of the, There was this beautiful box. I opened up this lovely box. It was Venom. And it was like uh, black, like liquid ooze G fuel, and it had a shaker cup with it. And I was like, "Wow, this is this is uh, amazing, yeah, legit." And then there was another one. I was like, "Ooh, wonder what one this one." Is. And I opened up the G fuel, and it was it it it, 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 it was it was miso miso soup. Ooh. Did you drink it? No. He he sent me chili <laughs> dog flavor, and he sent you the good ones. What is this? What? No, I got well, chili I got, dog G fuel. That's what well, there's Robert Wiles. Yeah, there's a chili dog thing in it, but gross. I thought it was like it's a miso. It was like a. I was. I. I was like Robert. Thank you. Miso's also a little so weird. Much. I don't know of it. 
I say, yeah, for, for, for a pick me up. Ooh. For a drink? No. It's a drink. No. Is it, like do you drink it warm? Salty. You drink it warm? I'm stick, I think I'll go for the black goo first. You like it what? Oh, there he is. I like the, like my drink hey, sweet, not salty. Oh, I thought you said you like it salty. He's back. He's back. Oh, like well, it salty. I mean, depends on what I'm wow. drinking. Oh. <laughs> hey, you hear that, Mark? No more pineapple. That's what you get on Sundays. <laughs> You can catch that on every one of our every, channels on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, every two minutes, that's what you get on a Sunday. <laughs> Shad's back. What's Hi, up, Shad? Oh, my have you, have you seen, have you seen your Indiegogo? Indiegogo? Dude, let's have a refresh. Let's Ooh. refresh. It, it let's looks check like it you out. refresh too. I'm going to refresh. Dude, yeah, yeah. Awesome. 118. Gosh, holy that crap, is crazy. Guys. That is amazing. Guys, a legendary. That's phenomenal. Uh, you're a legendary. Yeah. However, you said <laughs> Leg legendary. legendary. I don't know, if I was trying to do okay, you'd be legendary, mate. That's what <laughs> legendary, mate. Hey, uh, Gary, Julio's. you'd be happy. Did you hear what DeSantis said about Newsom? No, what did he, he say? Said, uh, he said, no. I think his hair gel is interfering with his brain function. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Uh, Dude, I love so DeSantis. Um, yeah. Well, didn't, so uh, didn't Newsom come out and say it? Well, was somebody just surprised? He, he, for what he wrote doing? a letter. He wrote a letter to the DOJ about <clears throat> about what about what uh, Abbott and uh, about oh, but yeah about what they did with the immigrants and things like that. So DeSantis isn't gonna man. DeSantis isn't gonna put up nobody's bullshit. I love it. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I wish Abbott was more like him. He's fine. He does some things that are. You fine. mean like you? You wish he could stand? So. He, could stand up, <laughs> he could stand up for something that'd be great. Abbott <laughs> also great. sent like a busload of immigrants there, but than like I he did it McCain. after. I patched McCain. <laughs> never, never. Oh. Busload right to Kamala Harris's house. The Abbott yeah. did that. So. Yeah, that, that's fucking hilarious. He can, he's okay every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while he's okay. And he's I'm, better I'm, than I'm the nice alternative. Actually, that's for sure. He didn't stand yeah. up against the mask mandate though. So. Oh my God. I just, you know, one of the cool things about being in Texas is uh, uh, I'm near Robert E. Howard, the Robert E. Howard Museum. Yeah, I just I discovered that yesterday. I'm like, oh my God, I could drive there in like three hours. So I'm doing that. I'm Where is it? Doing it's um, West Texas. It's uh, right? near you. It's near you. It's, it's probably like an hour away. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. So it's yeah. like three hours away from me. But um, it's just this house. Robert. But I'm going. I'm like, fuck, hell yeah. Creator Conan, come on. Uh, stew balls for 50 Canadian pesos. Wait, I gotta make sure I hit the right one. Oh, Cross Plains, Texas. Cross Plains, Cross yeah. Plains, Texas. That's where, he, that's where he died. Killed, him, yeah. killed himself after his mom uh, went into a coma at 30. That's, at age of 30. that's sad. One of those well, writers wrote, that are legendary that actually went through some shit in their life. Oh, yeah. Yep. He was freaking nuts, too. But uh, legendary, legendary. Uh, but yeah, both him and HB Lovecraft uh, died very early. Uh, anyone else see Rakeda fangirling over Shadversity on the Jack show last night? I did not. Pretty sure he <laughs> on relations with his wife and fun with Shad. Also, this, <laughs> no need for supplies, just murder ferrets, super chat censors sex. <laughs> Man, yeah. I want to see that. Someone send me the link. <laughs> That's awesome. Shad is a legend. And, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm glad your book is doing very well. Mm, by the oh, way. yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. it, yes. I I 24 excited. hours, right? That's all it's been. Um, a little over, <laughs> yeah. I went into the second day. Um, second oh, yeah. to third day. Still 43 uh, days it's... left. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, man, uh, I, it'll be really interesting to see where it goes because uh, um, – I want to. I want to push more. I actually want to make more graphic novels, not just adaptations of my book, but I want to make dedicated graphic novels. I've got heaps of stories. One is like a. Um, uh, it's capturing all the things that I love about Star Wars, but making something new because Star Wars is dead now. And uh, let's let's make something new with Star Wars. I'd love to make that. I'd love to make my own superhero universe. I've got a whole host of characters already made, <clears throat> stories ready to go. And so if this if this one is successful, hopefully that will give me the uh, the means to be able to go produce even more and, and really kick it into gear. Excellent. I love that. I think I think you'll have the means. I just that'd it, be awesome. I have an idea. Uh, that you'll have to meet. Uh, Ryan, I wanted to ask you about Rebel Moon. It just made me think about Rebel Moon. What do you think of that? 
I have no idea what's going on with it. Can't say I've really kept up with it. I I love the idea of uh it, instead of going to Disney and doing something Star Wars related, you just like fuck it, let's just do my own thing. Um, I can't say I'm super invested in it. No, but I mean, I mean fuck Zack Snyder, but yeah, yeah it's kind of kind of where I'm at. Yeah, just curious. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I do know that this was. Because there was like meetings between Zack Snyder and Lucasfilm a while ago about him doing movies, and this was like the pitch, and Star Wars didn't want it, so he's turning it into like his own universe on Netflix. That's really all I know. I haven't kept up. Gotcha. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> Stardust Viking gifted twenty nerdrotic memberships for one hundred dollars. Wow! 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 wow. 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 <laughs> Charles W. Jansen the second for 50 US pesos. <laughs> story for black people. <clears throat> the story of I'm the, listening. The yes. Go on. Field artillery battalion and African American mm-hmm. artillery unit. One of the best in the ETO. They made epic stand on December 16th and 17th, 1944 to delay the Germans in Battle of the Bulge would make a mm. great movie compelling. I agree. Yeah. And you know what they, they didn't have? They didn't have slaves. Yeah. Like they the did. woman king did. Does. Yeah. Mm. Did. Yeah. Did. Yeah. And then they were uh, ostracized. They were ostracized. Well, the movie's out now, so she does now. When the mm-hmm. colonization, I believe, happened, and then they were ostracized in society. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a knock my man for one hundred dollars. Yeah. I was just one up. Got you. Uh, loved Fortnite last night. First, I declared revenge on Jeremy and <clears throat> Lola with a brilliant speech before getting them that round. Uh-huh. Then I teamed up with both of them, and I even saved Jeremy's life before he led me into an ambush, should have let your worthless <laughs> butt perish. Drama over rings of power. Uh, yeah, that was fun. We we had a fun stream last night. So shout out to all the premium members and geeks and gamers. That's who we play with every Thursday, and it's fun. And Enoch Maman's actually really good. So mm-hmm. really well, good. Obviously, should have left you to die or he would have been better no he, he would have been in bad trouble either way because man there was some sweaties in that lobby last night and they were all targeting me and it's not fair because i'm not good enough to be targeted but they're just all <laughs> focusing on me cappy's there trolling he's so damn good what's a sweaty so, oh there's just oh, really th- yeah really they try hard yes, try hard try hards, the okay. try hards so gotcha. yeah like really good really try hard uh and it was uh it was a sweaty lobby so. Did you watch, uh, just out of interest, did you watch uh, any uh, of the Warzone 2? I, I did watch the trailer. Um, I'm, I'm, did I'm you looking watch forward them to playing it. So, did you watch people playing it, though, at yes, the event? Yes, I did. I did watch a little bit of that. I know uh, Lethal Lightning covered it for, uh, for Geeks and Gamers Play, but I'm looking forward to Modern Warfare 2 um, and, and also Warzone 2. I never really got really heavily into Warzone. Um, I'm much Just because it's, a, it's kind of a camp fest at times. Um, but, uh, now that I've gotten more involved with battle Royales, I, I probably will play, uh, more wars on two now, but I'm looking forward to modern warfare two a lot. Yeah, I like modern warfare 2019. Though. Yeah. Warzone was what I was looking at. Warzone two. <clears throat> They've made some weird changes. Map. Yeah. Like the, the, the bots in the buildings and the gulag with like the really tanky enemy. I, I, this I is the part watching... of the show where Gary starts, like, you see him like, he's <laughs> What's going on? He's, he's just like, like the chat when we're talking about uploading videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that chat, like, together that much. So when we get with somebody like Jeremy, and like, it's we can't help it. So forgive us. Uh, <laughs> talking shop, we never get to do it. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I oh, we're always happy to have the quartering. He's uh, he's taught yeah. us all all very well how to how to grift our way to the top. So especially with our yeah, working on that, my channel is under attack face. That's that's yeah yeah real, yeah. yeah. The, the funny thing is, is they still use that Gary face as thinking that Gary was truly upset when Gary was like <laughs> working hard to troll you like I trolled you. You know what I mean? And that they think that oh my god, these 
I, it's not it we are not being sarcastic when we say the people that hate us are fucking retarded like these people are fucking retarded like they are mentally no, Jeremy, retarded the man who complains about you making too many brie larson videos has literally made more videos about you than you've made about brie larson. <laughs> and probably made a lot more on anita sarkeesian i have a clip for that who's retarded now yeah <laughs> <laughs> I encourage people to continue making videos about me. It, it it truly, truly means a lot to me. So I hope you continue doing that. <laughs> it's a different mentality of thinking, you know, as a man. <laughs> I am not gay. I have relationships with women. Sex with men. And I got news for you. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to see the anime that that's from and go, wait a minute, this ain't right. <laughs> Where are the K people? Uh, <laughs> uh, a Mongo. Mongo. Only Mongo pump. born oh, in Game of Life. <laughs> I got to say, guys, I got to say, this is one of the most shocking headlines I've ever seen. We don't have to. We don't have to repeat any of the words in the headline. Okay, we're just gonna. I just want to. So it's very shocking. I never. I never imagined this would happen. Never imagined that 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 would happen. I'm just very, very shocked. So. Man, look at that. That's just, I would have never imagined. I would have Ooh. never imagined. Oh, would have never, never imagined that one. Never. Would have never imagined. So shocking. Mm. So shocking. Yeah. Mm. No, so. Shock. <clears throat> hmm. Shocking and disgusting. Groomer, 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 groomer. Yeah. Groomer, groomer, groomer. Don't say groomer. It's not fair when you call them out. Uh, Sorry, guys. Mongo. That was my that was my wood chipper. I was just turning it on. Yep. Just cleaning really? some garden stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they, I'm yeah. sure they own a lot of he is not yeah, my yeah. president I was, shirt. I was cleaning the garden next to the wall. Next to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah there's, there's a lot of leaves and shit. There's a lot of no, leaves and dead wood. Yeah. yeah. And, and holes yeah. that you have to fill in. Dead wood you know, around. I gotta get it all chopped up. Yeah. That's a dead peck of wood. Uh, and my dad is dead on the wall. Oh my god. Uh, but you know what that word means? You know what that means? All in all, another groomer up against the wall. Uh, <laughs> Mongo5817 for $50. Telegram. Te Candygram for Mongo. Candygram for Mongo. Oh. <laughs> Candygram for Mongo, yeah. Uh, well, hey, MNT. I thought I'd see this. I, I thought I'd use this donation to shout out Ari TV. And that's Ari, like A H. R E E on YouTube. She's a new channel that doesn't talk about pop culture, but she has a very strong feelings about oh oh P Doze. Oh. P Doze and groomers. <laughs> wow, it's amazing how we just came across this. Uh check her out. And there's a there's a link. I think um I don't know if we should put the link in. We get it depends on what she says. Uh if it's, she's calling him out, I'm fine with it. So we could yeah. share the link. That's cool. I mean, I'm Mongo. Mongo. Only pawn. Mongo only pawn. <laughs> <laughs> Blacklist Universe for $50. Mike. I got Mike. 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 Thank you for the awesome promotion of Shadow of the Conqueror, Gary. We're up to 160000 so far. What's up, Mike? What's up, Mike? Uh, that's the artist, by the way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mike S. Miller. Mike S. Miller. Amazing. Sorry. He did um did okay. the hedge knights and yes. uh for oh, so hedge knights is beautiful. Oh my goodness, Gorgeous. the quality of your camera, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. I think it's the internet. The internet. I'm liking that 240p. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what I do see from those three Australia. pixels, it looks great. You know, we only, only discovered electricity a year ago. Give us a break, guys. Come on. <laughs> 1995 is <laughs> really just <laughs> right now. Just you can hear the, the dialogue. I said I have to fight just to get my mail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly like 1995. It's a guy and he's got his clothes on as. <laughs> <laughs> oh chat roulette jesus yeah. Christ. Uh, toxic man flew for 100 dollars. what's up baby what's up? 
How's Mrs. Man Flu? Mrs. Flu. That's Mrs. Mrs. Flu. Yeah. She's doing okay. Yeah. Madam Flu. Uh, Lady Flu. Madam Flu. No, that's what that's you know when she's online, it's Mrs. Flu. So Mrs. Yeah. Flu. There yeah. you go. It reminds me how much uh, my wife loves Mrs. Nerdrotic. She just it's her favorite thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. It really is. Uh, help me. I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> help me, Gary. Comics yeah. me to watch She-Hulk again this week. <laughs> Comics, you're cruel. You're cruel to your people. But you know what? Uh, hold my coffee. I can't say hold my beer because I'm going to be so cruel to Quarter Black Garrett today. Like right after the show, he has to edit. Yep. Brings a pal. Mm-hmm. I got to wash <laughs> it in slow mo, getting it's, clips. Uh, it, it's Emotion. like you said, it's God. your job, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> I tell him that every week. It's your job, bitch. He walks right up to Toxic Man Flu and says, It's your job, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think I have lost my soul at this point. You never had one. Come on. Uh, I caught myself whistling uh, uh, Living on a Prayer this morning. Bon Jovi, Gary. Bon Jovi. Oh, no. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Love that. Just stop. Save yourself. <laughs> Turn back. Yeah, don't let that little midget push you around. <laughs> it's my life. Oh, God. And it's my life. Stop. I don't want to fuck God. As bad as Nickelback, I think. As bad. No. Yeah. Oh, same no, level. No, same no, level. No, 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 no. Same no, shit. No, you even sing it in the same voice. No. No. You know, you know like you Build it in photograph. It's my life. It's the same shit. You mute his ass. This remix. <laughs> 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 I want to break him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather listen to Creed. I don't want to listen to him when he's saying it. He's so mad. He's so committed. He's so committed to it. <laughs> Your neighbors are digging that though. That was for you, neighbors. That was for you. <laughs> oh shit! Love you, fam. <laughs> Cat in the shit in your room again. Just no, she's not. Because I've solved the mystery of it. I solved the mystery of it's your neighbor Bell breaking what is it? What is it? Desk. She didn't like the kitty litter because I had changed to a different brand of kitty litter. Fucking cats, Fucking man. Cats, dude. <laughs> yeah. Cats are so assholes. I the OG cat they litter. Are. So I, I changed it today. She went straight in the fucking thing and shot like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they should use that for marketing. Are you really? Didn't even, and then didn't even <laughs> fucking she cover it. Promo. She didn't cover even promo. cover it. She was just like, yep, we're back in town, baby. <laughs> fucking feed me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Key Lime Kayla for $50 right after that. Sorry. I need Nickelback as well. Uh, <laughs> Hail Friday Night Tights are all awesome. I stopped watching Rings of Power as of last week. Can't get past the Elven fade on Don Lemon. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fresh. I mean, it, it's not even growing in. He's been there for three days, and it's looked like it's been touched up by the orcs. Maybe there's some. Uh, there's an orc oh, they got a shop, man. Doing, so. doing it with the little daggers. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's. The end of that show, the end of the show where she's going off. Remember when Galadriel like finally gets what she fucking wants, and but, but before she leaves, she uh, like Elendil's nice to her again. He's all go in peace, go in peace with reverence, and she just like fuck you, you piece of shit. Look on his on her fucking face. <laughs> she's getting on the fucking boat. I'm oh. like, I want her to die. I want her story arc to be an arc off a cliff, right? <laughs> <laughs> I spikes things. That's what yeah. I want it to be. 
It's not a story arc, though. That implies that the showrunners think she's behaving incorrectly. This is what they think mm -hmm. is the correct behavior yeah. and the way you should go through life in that kind of world. If every, <laughs> if all the women went through life in a sort of a male-dominated society acting like that, they'd, they'd be so much better off. So, so why, she -Hulk. why does she act complete and utterly differently from every other elf in the show? Because this is what happens when you think, oh, we have to masculinize our characters. To... You know why. She's not masculine. She's a cunt. Well, you yeah, know, that's what I'm saying. Though, this is in their scene. head, they're trying to play her off like in a more tough masculine way. But all they end up doing is making them annoying. Just have some common courtesy, you fucking man. Well, she, you, you, you notice the only person she's shown any real personality to was that the Back queen right in that moment yeah. you know like when, when she found right. out about the king that was the Back only time she's actually acted like a normal yeah. person and shown any respect to anybody Jeez. that was the only time we've seen it and it's only because it's another woman that they're trying to essentially put over i'm using a a wrestling term there where yeah. they want to put the other woman <laughs> over so they're 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 letting they're letting galadriel be like humanized by it like you sh you saw her drop that ar arrogance and gimmick there and that's the only time we've seen it the only time it's yeah. unbelievable but that face but turn didn't then, work it did not it's work, like what did turn. they bond over she was like well i'm just like you i know exactly what it's like when no one believes you and the only one that knows no, the 100 percent when you're absolutely. The one who's always right <laughs> oh yeah they, absolutely they bonded it's over being women that men never listen to right yeah, yeah that's remember it. That's it. It. <laughs> the beginning of the episode the men laughed laughed at the queen oh. they laughed at the queen yeah <sighs> and they deserve like taking orders from a woman <laughs> 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 God, I wish we had ass full screen for that. <laughs> I really, I really, one more time, ass. Come on, you can do it. No, because <laughs> no, you fucking muted me when I was singing Nickelback. <laughs> I never made it as a wise man. I couldn't cut it as a poor Stop. man. Stop. You're gonna do it for me. You're gonna do, do it. it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Do it for me. This is, this is how you remind me of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's camera shy now. Not like you to be sorry. <laughs> we'll see. I want to tell you a different story. <laughs> we don't want to hear this you sing. We want to hear you do that thing you back just sucks. did. Oh, I tell you what. Wait, did you take it off for the queen? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what we wanted to see. Even, even at half energy, it's still gold. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> but you fucking Dance thought we want to hear you sing that shit again? <laughs> <laughs> dance, dance, <laughs> dance, dance. Uh, I'm a, a monkey. Hero. Dance <laughs> I'm a dancing monkey. You yes, are you our dancing monkey. Our pretty. No, I love it. Shit. I love it. Oh, that was funny. Hey, uh, Elrond's rainbow disco stick for one hundred dollars. This sounds like a brim boy. <laughs> Uh, little known fact I got from the one ring.net Elrond's first name for the city of Imladris Im was Erectus. <laughs> <Well. laughs> Tongue means a bi curious elf who's, who stares off into the distance with a stupid look in his face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, WG has gifted five neurotic memberships. Hail WG! <laughs> hey, uh, Shad, you still there? Oh, Shad. I'm still here. I'm, I, I don't know what my internet is doing. If I still have okay. <laughs> not a lot of stone age. Yeah. You're still it's a like stop motion picture, but you know. Holiday Inn or something. I might need to reset the computer, but we'll see how I go. Um, super chats for our guest. Uh, send your sunt. Send your sunt for five New Zealand. That's that's as dollars right there. Uh, before Shad leaves, how hard does he want to get frostbitten? Frostbitten. Ooh. Frostbitten. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Well, the answer is, hmm. I think I'd rather be trans life. Is that the way to say it? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Does that mean dead? Dead, yeah. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All I know is that dad can play. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What are you guys worried about that clip? It's in a movie that's available for. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. This hey, is a if, great if movie. That's the rule. If that's I the rule, have... let's do the hangover. Oh my god, <laughs> paging doctor, <laughs> right? Exactly. It's in a movie, uh, right? We're good. Uh, you know what? Uh, one, of these, one of these days, Ryan, we'll do it. 
Fuck it. We'll do it. <laughs> our last we'll do it day live. on YouTube. We'll do it live. Do it live. I played, we'll do I played it, live. it a little bit in one of our videos, Gary. I don't know if you noticed. We did. Yes. You got almost the entire <laughs> <Almost>. world. <laughs> <laughs> Paging Dr. Baguette. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, as is wonky Ooh. eyebrow for 10 British pounds. Do you have a wonky eyebrow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You this, do? This, one is, this one's raised up more than that one. Okay. Stroke? Uh, well, after the show, maybe. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Gary, and all Friday Night Tights panelists. Guess a question for Shad. Shad, what Yo. is your favorite weapon you own, and can we see it, and why is it awesome? Also, hi, Az, and excellent. Again. Um. I'll help for FNT. Oh, I, I have a lot of favorite weapons, um, and uh, and at the moment it's my English tree hander. I can go grab it, but my internet <laughs> seems to be dying. <laughs> You'll be able to see it. You'll be a stop motion picture. <laughs> um, if you let me restart the computer, I'll duck out, come back in, go. I fixed it. So give go. me two seconds. Thank God that was your favorite weapon. I was thinking something else, and I'm like, don't whip it out, please. <laughs> <laughs> English two hander. I've got an American two hander. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> I'll, well, I'll be back. While Shad is uh, grabbing his uh, grabbing his weapon, I wanted to show you guys the NFL's newest uh, Hispanic Heritage Month virtue oh, signal. No. This is how low effort no, it's getting. They're not getting. trying to sell tamales. Up. <laughs> That's not true. Is that really? This it? is real. Oh what? my god! This is real. So they put a little tilde, made it an N Y F L. Oh, oh god! Oh. The league is proud to celebrate Latino Heritage Month. Blah blah blah. Um, the shield integrates an unmistakable Latin flavor oh, and is fundamental no. to our always on 365 day initiative. This electric brushstroke of the Enya is filled with an infectious personality that is carried out through the rest of the look and feel. Enya FL. Looks like an eyebrow. It, unmistakable, are, yet we have to I'm zoom in on it. Enya FL. They're getting destroyed. Like, this is from the office, right? <laughs> 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 Mexican lemonade. Uh, this is embarrassing. Uh, I too have panicked upon realizing that a deadline is upon me and thrown together some shit at the last minute. Yes! That's what DC oh just God. did. Oh oh better. God. Rene, where are you, man? I'm sure Holy you can do something shit. good. Yeah. Like, it, it, they're shit. getting fucking wrecked over that. That is N -A -F -L. so funny. Jeez. At least they didn't use Latinx. I mean, I guess that's a plus. Right? AOC did. Oh, of course, but she did. that's AOC. She doesn't yeah. count. She's a big booty Latinx. Big booty. <laughs> yes. Hey, that's sexual harassment, guy. Her ass. Sexual and harassment. Her assment. Uh, yeah, I, I saw people her going. A lot to Alex Stein. Stein. Is it yeah. sexually harassed her. Stein. It is Stein. You bigot. Stein. Alex Stein. 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 It, he did the. That chip challenge. On he did. I watched it. Night. I was there. Uh -huh. I was watching it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, his it, ass is on fire today. It is. It, I bet oh, you. That's no. what he said. I, I hope it'll clear out the monkey pox for him. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he took some of the remedy. Like Luke will have a remedy for you that will work. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like Luke is, uh, that guy's milk. like straight up prepper. Yeah. Well, milk. Milk usually helps. Yeah. Water yeah, does milk, not milk does. Milk does. Uh, you know how I learned that? Oh, God, do I want to tell this story? Okay, I needed to... Uh, let's go back to my drug days. Uh, <laughs> hey! There's 100% uh, no way no one's going to stop watching now when you start out like that. I wouldn't. If I was watching, I'd be like, I ain't going no fuck away. I had to go to the parole <laughs> officer, and I had to pass a drug test. And uh, I there was no fake pee back in the day, right? So I had to do something drastic. So I called uh, the, the, ex, the resident expert my dealer i'm like dude how do i pass a drug test and don't do this by the way don't do not ever fucking do this because you'll die okay but somehow i survived by putting a uh, a tablespoon of bleach in a full glass of water oh drink. yeah that mm, no not good and i almost fucking died i had to drink milk to, to open up my esophagus again oh my god uh, and then then i fucking failed the drug test <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I, I don't know why that would work. Yeah. Yeah. That would work. Uh, it would work. I was Moral fucking of the story. Drugs and I asked my fucking dealer for advice. Don't listen to your dealer. 
<laughs> like to be fair, he has like the best interest to make sure you do pass the test and like remain on drugs. So that probably is like the best person to call. I thought but... so too, but he was just retarded like me. So <laughs> <laughs> hi, Chad. You got I'm your back. Yeah, uh, yeah, totally. So this is the uh this is the English tree hander. Look at this big boy here. It's like, oh, do you Whoa. see this? Whoa. Wow, Whoa. it doesn't even fit in the nice. screen. Oh my yeah. god. Is that how tall as you are? I thought you were gonna pull out the nunchucks. <laughs> oh, how dare you, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> that is so what, what is the most retarded useless weapon? Then I like that. This one is Did becoming you see the one of my favorite. Did you see the flintlock nunchucks? It's just oh, yes, I, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I, I couldn't even think of a response. I was so speechless. I was just like, what, why are you doing that to me? Disagree. So this one was sent to me for a review, right? And I, I'm surprised how much I like it. It's a cutting beast. And it's actually based off of um, Boromir's sword from Lord of the Rings. But it's oh. a functional. This thing is a functional cutting blade. I, I sharpened it up. And uh, no. it's, surprise, it's becoming, I'm really enjoying this one. I didn't think I would because it's so heavy, but it's actually really functional. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> Fucking awesome. We all like functional blades. We do. Oh, we do. We do. And not like Wait, this piece of crap. Snipes this is, is one a of... piece of crap. This is an absolute piece of It's rings of power. That's what it is. Yeah, I know. Did, can you... I, can, I can even hear this. Oh, oh my God. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Wesley Snipes is functional. Don't as. Wesley Snipes is fine. Whoa, whoa. Like, yeah. You're you throwing shade on functional the blades, and Wesley Snipe, Snipes is a functional blade. Yeah, the taxation is theft, by the way. Yes. <laughs> uh, functional blade, very sharp, actually. Got this oh, off eBay for like 80 bucks. Oh, nice. Yeah, Viking X. Nice. Oh. Butter knife. I have a, <laughs> a, a, a bat knife. On your door. Wooden katana. I was with you when you bought that. I oh, have. Yeah, look at this. I have a Batman knife. Hold on. Fucking. There you go. Look at that shit. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> is, it, is, it, <laughs> is that the Batman and Robin <laughs> emblem? Are you kidding me, Ryan? Come on! <laughs> this, is the only, I have, this is the only thing I have right here. Oh my goodness! <laughs> never leave, never leave the cave really without shame. it. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> If somebody comes at you from here, you can go here. If someone comes up behind you, get him there. <laughs> Not very useful for defense, but it's an aggressive weapon so, in a pinch. You can use it. Somebody, that's my, oh, that's please do a video on that. There. Somebody <laughs> said Happy Meal Toy. <laughs> I got it for nineteen. I got it for nineteen dollars. It looks like, like, it's like, like in, in, in any other scenario, yeah. Ryan pulling that out would have been cool. When Shad's <laughs> dropping like these badass swords, though, it probably really wasn't. Yeah. That's the only thing I have on my table. Well, this I is can a pull out my guns. I bet you don't. I bet you fucking out. Those are harder to come right. by. Yes, yes. Hey, you hey, you would <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy, I think I can. I think I can actually impress you with this. This is a 2017 NASCAR Cup Series champion. Night. Okay, who's 2017? Because I stopped watching a long time. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, Ryan, in, in case you didn't know, what you have there is a uh, is a perfect example of a mall ninja weapon. See, this is a mall <laughs> yes, ninja weapon. Yeah, right mall here. ninja weapon. Hey, mall, mall ninjas ninja can be dangerous too. Okay. Well, I this would is never thing. buy it if it didn't look like, like a bat. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a I Martin was, Truex I, that, knife. That's not impressive. Fuck that. Sorry. I used to, I was a mole ninja. Mole ninja is just a phase you pass through before you become a true. You tried it. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're on a journey, Ryan. I, I, I yeah. faithful, Were you able yeah. to buy throwing stars when you were a kid in Australia? I, I, I made them myself. Oh, That's how oh, much oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, was, I was a weak. Awesome. We make them out of paper. We could, we could buy them in Tijuana. So we went down to Tijuana and got all the weapons. We weren't allowed to. I hear. Sure, yeah. I'm sure that's what you were doing in Tijuana. I'm sure that's what you were doing. It wasn't all I was doing. In <laughs> <laughs> There's in a the, lot of little Mexican the... beaklers out there. I need Gary's head on there with I miss my donkey from Clerks yeah. 2. So oh. I miss my donkey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, first thing we did when in our metalworking class was, of course, make ninja stars. Like all of us boys in the class, just making ninja stars, throwing at the wall of the classroom and stuff. That's awesome. That's yeah. normal kid stuff. Normal kid stuff. Well, it was. It was. Uh, I know, right? We went through a phase in middle school where we made weapons out of pens. Like you would use a pen, you'd take a rubber band, and oh, you yeah. could like launch the cartridge at people. Like we were trying to get it stuck wow. in people's skin. Yeah, we were shit. shooting. Uh, we were shooting thumbtacks. You know, you make like a pin thumbtack. Rubber band gun. 
Yeah, it's like a, it's like prison. Spud, <laughs> did, anyone, did anyone make spud guns out of like PVC pipes? Oh, yes. 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 I always yes. wanted to do that. Never never had the opportunity. Yeah, I broke a window with one of those. Ones. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think every kid did. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like the first thing you do. Yep. Uh, Heron of... Alexandria. Alexandria. Yeah. $20. Says it's my birthday. So do your worst. Love you all, especially Shad and Disbrew with their great accents. Oh, oh. Happy birthday, oh. Heron. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy, wow. Happy birthday. Listen, uh, I, I I don't I don't like talking about private messages, but Dan Vass specifically asked me for us to never sing again because we're embarrassing him because we're so much better than him. Oh, that's so it, because, yeah. so because, so because we are friends with Dan Vask and I want him to I want him to feel good about himself because he doesn't have anything else going on in life. Um, we're not wow. gonna, we're not going to overshadow him. Wow. We're not going to do that to him. So. So right. what he's saying it's is he for the wants best. us to sing more Nickelback. That's what I. <laughs> no more Nickelback. We no can sing more Nickelback. Like Nickelback. Look at this crap. <laughs> Dan in the chat says thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dan's everybody fucking, in the chat is saying Dan, thank you. Dan, Dan's the fucking best man. He's I awesome. love Dan. <laughs> That's my bro there. Uh, he's a good guy. <laughs> Fluffy pencil has donated ninety nine ninety nine and said nothing. <laughs> Just a fluffy oh, man. That sounds sexual. Probably is. So we're not going to sing "Happy Birthday." Okay, that's 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 good for the world. That's good. For the world. <laughs> All right, I was ready. <laughs> you ready? Let's do it. Who wants I, mean, to? I did it. No. Don't Wanna do it. it. No. Come on. No. Yes. No. A one and a two uh, and a three. Uh, Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. 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 I think the chat is booing us on stage. Right. <laughs> oh, you know they want an encore. I think Jared's mic is like crackling like fucking so, crazy. Yeah. No, that's like all of us together. That's what causes it's whatever everybody like crackles together. Yeah. Yeah. You now have to sing a solo since you decided to sit that one out. <laughs> what? Me? I'll go build, I'll go build <laughs> furniture. Oh. How about that? Oh, well, what, you're going to have to do it on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Saturday night, sons. nerd rotting. <laughs> <laughs> Look, people throwing Saturday. tomatoes at us. They love us. B because, uh, and listen, this is because we're all on the same page because we have such great chemistry on here. Yeah. We all we all held back a little bit because we knew Dan was in, in chat. So we yeah. held back. Yeah. yeah. So if you, the so harmony was a little off. <laughs> you know, we. I, I know a lot of you were probably impressed, but. You ain't seen nothing. I held back the vibrato Dan, just a yeah. little bit for Dan. Yeah, so. yeah. you don't want to. You don't want to blow the ears off. Don't bother emailing us. We're not going to pay you. Okay. If you guys <laughs> want to like see somebody that's but, uh, not as good as Dan, us, go to me, Dan Vass. Uh, yeah. Dan said we lost three thousand viewers. <laughs> <laughs> it's low that's all. Uh, we gotta try harder. <laughs> Jealousy. That's all it is. Encore. Is that what I just? Heard? <laughs> that's what. I mean. I, that just brings back memories. My, my family has a tradition of doing that exact thing: singing "Happy Birthday" the worst way possible, as loud as possible, especially if we're in a public location, mm. and we just scream it as obnoxiously as we can. Brought back memories. I appreciate that you guys have that tradition. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> The shad. Well, you finally now are just like, what you mean? This horrible as we can. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I didn't catch. Oh, I mean, I mean, excellent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, By horrible, Sith you mean best? Yes. Uh, yes. Sith cake for ten dollars. Hey, shad. Uh, you uh, just bought your graphic novel, and a novel, uh, and novel off of Indiegogo. The covers and art look amazing. Looking forward to reading your story. Oh, that's nice. I'm looking forward to it. You're going to love it, mate. I can't wait for you to get it. Um, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We got one more. Uh, Shake from Hunger Team uh, for $30 says, Hi, Shad. Uh, uh, that graphic novel, uh, it says, That your graphic novel and ordered, I ordered the hardcover leather bound copy of Shadow of the Conqueror and Hail FNT for introducing me to Mr. Brooks, Brooks's material. Oh, you're awesome. welcome. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Bruce. 
Mr. Brooks, I like Mr. that. Brooks. <laughs> Mr. Brooks. Mr. Brooks. That was the that was a okay. movie with Kevin Costner and uh, that bad comedian. I remember them, but uh, I don't remember who was in it. I remember that movie. It's a, the comedian who is Dane Cook. Dane Cook, <clears throat> I think. God, and, uh, Dane Cook. Dane yeah, Cook? Kevin Costner is a fucking serial killer. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember oh, that. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. I also accept uh, Sir Shad or Lord Shad. They're all they're all mm. appropriate. Uh, I do too, since I got my blue check mark. Your Majesty, Your Grace. Uh, <laughs> wow. 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 Your Grace. Well. Your no. Grace. Oh, on to his head is... My Queen. Uh, my Queen. Uh, uh, <laughs> Gary, are you on that laptop again? What was that? Yeah, I'm off the laptop because I I'm supposed to use two computers, but one of them doesn't work. Meta PCs. Meta PCs. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Woke your brother up. Hi. So yeah, I'm on the laptop again. I'm on my okay. laptop again. Sorry. I need to pull it a little closer to my face. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it is so. Should I show you how big? The, the... Yes. Should I show you how big? There, there oh, was one no. picture oh, of no. Gary I, I, and I. I got to maximize that. Hold on. Too big. <laughs> That's how big. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, how his phone look at those too. big girthy yeah. font sizes. Dude, my oh. phone, if a word gets longer than five, it splits up in my text. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the text is. That's how you know I know Gary very well because when I slid a message over to him in the middle of FNT in Vegas, I fucking like zoomed way in on my fucking shit <laughs> to like make it really big and just like slid it over to him so he wouldn't have to fucking figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> I dude, I have spy glasses all around my house. I need them. Like it's bad. Uh, Broadsword ninety seven for forty nine ninety nine. Mm. Says Netflix announced they're working on Assassin's Creed series. Why? Yeah. Uh, Why? Yep. <laughs> Why not? Just the, the next property to enough. murder. If it's okay. animated, it might be kind of cool. But uh. well, like, so I don't believe it's animated. It, I think it's live action. It, it's not. It's live action. The uh, the Assassin's Creed movie was fucking dog shit. It was awful. Yeah. yeah. But in in Assassin's a Assassin's Creed's world, a video game, Gary. Assassin's Creed's based on a video <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah, you can it's, it's a lot one, like Galadriel, Galadriel, where she climbed I that wall. That was my friends play it once. It's the guy <laughs> running on the roofs with the white fucking dress on. Just rest. It's a tunic, sir. In a yeah, perfect world a with the right people like making the show, it could be really fucking cool because you could have like one same set of ca like cast and characters mm -hmm. that are doing the animus, whether you're doing Desmond or like whatever mm -hmm. for like five seasons. But then every season you're doing like a different historical period. It could actually be cool. That, it yeah, could be cool be, as fuck. It would be pretty fucking cool. <laughs> but but it won't be probably. But they, but they won't use Desmond. They killed him off no, at this no, point. I, I, I look forward to the black lesbian that'll be playing the main character uh, yes yeah that's uh, basically uh, what I you'll get be excited because i love uh ac but we all know netflix track record mm. i should see them making uh trump a templar uh hail 100 <laughs> <laughs> percent. yes netflix is they did um cyberpunk edge runner and edge runner is fucking wonderful yeah but they so. did that animated show before kind of like all of the the animation economy kind of crashed recently so the, did you see in um the animation economy crashing is just David Zaslav firing yeah. or like just cutting <laughs> every cut animation all of thing. those sides over there you you yeah. have uh I think Amazon also canceled some of their properties that were animated as well so it's it's very expensive to do these so that one was done before these kind of industry standards well, have been coming around i don't think was it it wasn't made directly by netflix the edge runner one don't they like it that they're, they're just publishing it out there just, I, yeah they yeah. Buy it. I, yeah i don't think they made it i'm pretty sure I, somebody I, else did. arcane was a french company that yep. did that mm. yeah it, it, uh, ryan do you what? think do you think is any possible way we could get gary to play arkham asylum no that game's great oh yeah i think we, I, yeah. we can make that happen he would be Come on. They're it's, outdoors. It's not an easy. It's, it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's not. It's not. It's not a very easy. E like it's. It's not a simple game to play. It's not a very difficult game on a difficulty <laughs> level. Can you imagine how long it'll take him to figure out how to counter? Dude, it was like, so mark, good. Yeah, how to an game Gary, game. Gary, Arkham, Arkham Asylum, and Arkham City are two of the best Batman experiences you'll ever have. Like how yeah, the if you so haven't done that detective yet? mode, the so yeah, detective, detective mode, mode, the fighting is an amazing game. Yeah, it's so good. I wish I was where you are, Gary. I, I want to play the game for the first Arkham time. Knight, so he has to ride tanks around. Oh no, no, no. Ar fuck Arkham Knight. Yeah. Oh, fuck okay. that game. No, 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 no. Uh, Arkham yeah. City. Oh, Arkham, Arkham City. And City. 
so also if you good. do it on a stream you've got a chat to help you so if you do get stuck yeah. at a place they can tell you the buttons and everything like, uh, yes or no chat would you want to see gary, yes. gary yes. stream yes. with arkham knight and you help him through get it a, get come a poll on going. Gary, Let's i'm go. literally come making on. you money right now <laughs> essentially mouthing help me <laughs> All I ask Damn. is wear your Geese Gamer shirt. Come That's on. all I ask. So. <laughs> Look at all those yeses. Can I use a game controller or do I have to use like the fucking yeah, you can use a game controller? No, put a controller on now. It, Come on, let's do it. It'll be it. funny. You know what? You know what would be funny? Because you're like, wear the Geeks and Gamer shirt. This will be the most viewed gaming stream that Geeks and Gamers ever has. And it's yes. going to be of a man in his 50s <laughs> trying to figure out how to play <laughs> Arkham Asylum. A 10 year old game. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you told him that. Uh, I'm telling you, Gary, it'd be gold. It'd be that's gold. actually a game you would like actually enjoy, I think, you because would, of would. how the characters it's, are depicted and everything. It's yes, very, very and good. it makes it makes you feel like well, it's the first a... Batman ga video game we've ever gotten that, and it's like it legitimately makes mm -hmm. you feel like Batman. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, I have the, I have the Arkham uh, One Six scale. I have uh, Batgirl, and I got Batman. They're, they look mm -hmm. cool. The, the, I got the Joker the, and Batman from the game. Arkham you can play as him. The Scarecrow <laughs> moment in Arkham Asylum is still one of the greatest experiences I've ever had in a video mm -hmm. game. Because oh, I did yeah, not yeah, know yeah. it was coming. That's I did not really know fucking it. good. Yes. It's one of the greatest ever. Like it's so fucking phenomenal. Yeah. So okay. Last super chat. We're gonna bounce. We've got four and a half hours. Gun Come Max is Jeremy's new channel. Geeks and Gamers. Gary plays. Uh, <laughs> it's got one stream on it. I'll, I'll fucking make it right now. I'll fucking make it right now. Is it ge geriatric gamers. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, approaching mid fifties, man. I'm right. Yep. AARP cards already coming in the mail. <laughs> And it streams just once a month. So I love 12 videos a year. because you young bucks have to live in this fucked up world for a long time. <laughs> I love <laughs> you. You can just, just punch a ticket and get off. out. Uh, you're on your own. Uh, what's that line for Blazes? You're on your own. Uh, Polka Tontis Gaming for $99.99. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it's my birthday too. Oh, Thirty oh. years now. Hail FNT! Hail to the fellowship and hail Happy to all birthday. those September birthdays. The protest rings of prime. My wife and I are just rewatching the extended, extended ladies nice. versions of Wait. the Peter Jackson trilogy. Also, the fo frost rap intro is amazing. Some of Perry Chan's finest work. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the very best, a, yes. And it is. And we'll probably we could end with that, but. Uh, Oh, yeah, Perry. Well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy I'm birthday. not going to sing again. Uh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. We, we want to keep the last few viewers we have. But, <laughs> yeah, we'll say, we're saving our voices. We, we're, to, we're Tolkien Still fans. Still basically 10,000 people right yeah, at the end. Yeah. The birthday coming up on Thursday uh, for Tolkien fans. Well, it's, it's, it's Hobbit Day. What people need to understand, when we sing happy birthday and we lose viewers, all we're doing is we're doing a real-life impersonation of Rings of Power. You know, you had viewers and you pushed <laughs> them away. Time. In real time, you're pushing yeah. them away. So we're just we're just in, imitating them is all. It's for an example. Uh, it's demonstration we, yeah. purposes. Yeah, yeah, it's educational. Nice. We're only leaving the streets to find right. issues because they've been moved to tears. <laughs> yeah. Wait, isn't it because is it, uh, Bilbo and Frodo's birthday coming up? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's Hobbit Day. It's Bilbo yeah. and Frodo's it's birthday. It's Nori Brandyfoot's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. This episode was so good because they weren't <laughs> in it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my gosh. Geeks and Gamers no, Twitch uh, channel. I need some. I need some. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just I be like some, a teenage youth. I need somebody to take the PewDiePie bridge scene and put. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what I need to <laughs> And he'll email us the uncensored one so we can laugh. You are literally making fun of my disability. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. All Today right. He's probably already got it made. So, uh... <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez, that one is uh, him and Uber Geek. Ooh, uh, thanks, let's go around the horn. Uh, Odin, since you get, we'll start with you since you got a bounce. Yes, thank you. Uh, it's been great as always. Always a blast. Uh, 
shout out to the entire Geeks and Gamers crew. This has been uh, fun. <laughs> Geeks and Gamers, Friday Night Tights, everybody. Yep. It's good stuff, man. Good to have you yeah. here, buddy. Hey, good to be here. And uh, check me out. Stay, OOB Reviews will be live them, tomorrow. Stay away from them sex scenes in House of Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not good. <laughs> it's again, it's not, it's not, the, it's, uh, mm, there's so much more stuff going on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say last episode had some cuties vibes going on to it, and it was not cool. It was not cool. Uh, all the actresses were over 20. <clears throat> all the actresses were over 20. One of them the was probably 17 when yeah. they were filming it. So, yeah, I'm just going to say that. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Yeah, the girl that plays the queen is 19 now. And when they were filming that, she was probably 17 or 18. So. Just the person plays oh, oh, This isn't, this oh, isn't oh, remotely oh, awkward, oh, by oh, the way. Oh, 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 I was trying to bring a damn <laughs> bingeoning part 12 up. This is, this is, <laughs> I'm are just you trying to? Fact. Are you trying to? Are you trying to? Do, are you trying to overtake as in the person that can't leave the stream? <laughs> so no. I'm to... <laughs> what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done, Odin. Well done, uh, sir. That was, that was pretty played. good. That was yeah, good. That was good. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> well done. Oh my yeah, God. she is about uh, to be twenty. So I like. I guess she could have been. I guess 18. theoretically she could have been 17, but I think she probably I mean, I think, filmed it. I think the incest is pretty weird. That would be a weird it's part it's to say. Supposed to be, well, like, <laughs> that's the entire weird, point though. of this. That's the, the part that is weird. Point, the entire point of it is to, sh is to like, make you understand how fucked up this world is. Oh, yeah. yeah For one, gross. just real quick, that what's going to play into the show is the maester and uh, the, the sept, their conspiracy. They hate the Targaryens. They hate incest. Yes. They absolutely fucking hate it, and they are trying their very best to get rid of them. Okay, yeah. the Maester conspiracy. Yes. Mm. Mm. So it's part of the story. It's part of the story. Uh, who is that? X Comics Division. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Comics Division. You can catch me on the YouTube's and Twitter's at Comics Division. I actually put up my Rings of Power video this week, so go check it out. You had the opportunity. As always, Gary, thank you for having me on every single Friday. This is so much fucking fun hanging out with everybody. Shad and Disparu, it was a pleasure again hanging out with you guys. Um, and I'll uh, we'll catch you next Friday. Catch you next Friday. Awesome. Uh, Exude Girl um oh this was a fun one i got a lot of laughs um and uh i guess follow me x-ray girl i am gonna do a shelf building stream this saturday porn. demo stream <laughs> that's porn by the way guys yep that's what yeah stuff <laughs> <laughs> core though <laughs> um <laughs> What YouTube is what's YouTube cut off for that? So you know. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not going to OnlyFans yet. Okay, sorry. <laughs> just Twitch. Oh, sorry. Not just yet. Twitch. Just Twitch. When she when she sees she'll the only go as far she'll hop there. as a Twitch streamer would. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, as as Twitch soon as right Mark now. is like, Mark's gonna break hey. out. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as Mark is like, hey, honey, you know, there's some people that make like sixty grand a month doing this. I think it'd be in our best interest. So. And that's on the, that's um, on the low end. That's not uh, what's her name. It's the one who uh, Amaran. Amaran. Oh no, no, I'm talking about OnlyFans, not Twitch. Okay. <clears throat> he doesn't Belle have Defeen, Belle Belle Defeen. That's who Belle Defeen. Yes, yeah, Bell Defeen. Mm -hmm. Bathwater. Bathwater. Yeah. Bathwater. Oh, yeah. Bathwater. Fart jars. Yeah. Things like that. I maybe get into that meta. I don't know. Toenail clippings. <laughs> Oh, I could do that. I'm always producing nails. There you go. That's a whole new. It's a whole new bracket. Chat, don't even. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> bits of my hair, put in a jar. There you, you go. Want. There you go. That's, That's only one step away from hair selling your used underwear. To be honest. Yeah. So yeah. Like yeah. That's on brand though. Tell them, though. <laughs> I have no shame. But yeah. Um. Find me on many of the platforms I'm on. And uh, yeah, thank you, Gary, for allowing to me to have more words. Of course. Don't get used to it. Uh, <laughs> ha -ha. And we'll go with the quarter by Gary. Hey, uh, you can find me on my channel where I stream, play video games Sundays with As Sunday. and X Ray, Sunday Fun Day. It's always fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to go dive deeply into this Rings of Power episode. For all of you viewing pleasures. So, 
and have a lot of fun with that. Thank you. Yeah, eat, 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 eat some dinner. Say hi to your wife and kids, then say goodbye to them. <laughs> <laughs> Two days later. <laughs> I'm oh, slinking God. out of my room. The video's done. It is finished. Uh, then you got to sleep all day after you stream with freaking ass and yeah, I know. foul mouth x-ray girl. Um, <laughs> Ryan Kennel. Thanks for having me, Gary. It's always fun to talk to these guys. It's been great having Shad and Disparu on these to, to talk about how mm, fucking okay. horrific yeah. Rings of Power is. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, confirmed, though, that since filming was in started in late April 2021, she's absolutely of age. So that means Odin has no reason to have a problem with it then, based on his complaints. So there you go. That's all I got. I'm looking forward to Rings of Power on Sunday. I am too. You mean... Uh, or sorry, Dragon. House of Dragon. Oh, oh, I was like, what? <laughs> oh, my yeah, we got him. We <laughs> got him. Gradient slip. The mind loves Rings of Power. No, no. no. Over. no. We got him, boys. <laughs> I'm just pretending <laughs> to hate it. Accomplished. We actually won. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love The Last Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> I love The Last of Us. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll have to get you on one of our Sunday ones, Ryan. Yeah, let me know which episode, and I'll make sure I'm there. For yeah, you. yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get you on the Sunday one. So thanks, man. Uh, as <laughs> <laughs> oh, he totally won off. Oh, that's so good. I was not ready for that. Brilliant, brilliant. That was good. He, he, that had was good. he had to beat Odin. He had to. Yes, he had to. He had to beat. <laughs> that was so good. Uh, brilliant. <sighs> oh, uh, well, I awesome. asked. a lot shorter. <laughs> DJ Cobra, <laughs> Geeks and Gamers. We love as as is great. So, um, yes, uh, go check out Geeks and Gamers. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff you can find over there. All the channels. I have been putting more attention uh, to the channel thanks to Frost and Brie Larson and Rings of Power. So uh, we are now hitting views more than we've hit since. Uh, our views are higher <clears> than <throat> they've been since I uh, go all the way back to June of. 2020 that's where the channel's at now so it feels good to be making content again because as ryan said shut the fuck up jeremy and just make videos i've actually been doing that lately so um yeah it's amazing it's been awesome so it's amazing how that works so it, it does feel good but uh yeah october meetup orlando that's what i you know i want to plug so uh mods if you can drop links to that again i don't know where the numbers are quarter black but you'll have to give me an update on those numbers yeah, yeah. um as to where we're looking i know we're filling up pretty fast over there and then the meetup shirt you got one week so next week will be the last day on friday that you'll be able to order them so we can get them sent <laughs> out to you over on 221b so if you go to 221b because uh, they did tell me that there was a lot of search terms for nerdrotic and geeks and gamers after last week's uh, announcement. If you go to the front page, there's a 221B Elite, and there's a little drop down, and it says Geeks and Gamers Collection. That's where you can find the Geeks and Gamers store, or the, the mods will have the link right there. But yes, there was a lot of searches for nerdrotic on 221B. Uh, so that's, that's cool. a yeah, so that's a, it's the Geeks and Gamers Collection over there. I did have him add nerdrotic to the store as a search term that'll lead you there because he's like, they're, they're searching for nerd rotter, searching for geeks gamers. So I was like, yeah, add it to the search term. But uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Shad, congratulations on your campaign, brother. Uh, you are awesome. And it's always a pleasure to stream with you. And Black this brew, I'm not going to be nice to you because I see you all the fucking time. So. <laughs> 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 nah, oh, I, can't, always, I can't wait for the time until you can start insulting me, Casey, Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we're still in the honeymoon phase. We're still, we're still in the honeymoon <laughs> phase. We're still in. Ah, right, fuck you, Shad. Fuck you. Thank you. Thank you. We made it. We made it. I was already mad at Shad because he made fun of my knife. <laughs> As he should. Your knife was pathetic. Uh, no, it's it was Batman. Cool Come on. Yeah, it's, it's cool as shit. Not as a knife. It, it was, it it was, it was adorable. adorable. You, you, it yeah. was timing, Zero bro. Man, it was one timing. of the best knives out there. It was, it was bad timing. It was bad timing. That was all. Perfect cute, timing. Cute knife. <laughs> it's adorable. Yeah, it's, it's, cool. it's efficient. I feel like fucking it's, he's Batman. the knife. It looks like a fucking batarang, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> Be get adorable. A get a fucking battering then. <laughs> a, knife. a knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Yeah, that's a knife. Yeah. Get a Targaryen knife. That's not a Sheila. Prince with promise on it that you re caught. Oh, oh yeah. It. That like never got addressed in the show. No. 
And it's, it looks, I seriously think it's going to be in the book. I think that's from the book. I think George gave him that one. So yeah, we think that's a spoiler. Oh, we'll start with Disparu. Thanks for coming on again, man. Oh no, always a pleasure to be here. Uh, yeah, Disparu on YouTube, Rings of Power videos, She-Hulk videos. I, I really hope Quantum Leap sucks. Like that'll be gold. Everyone else is like, I, I want this show to be amazing. No, no. And or I, I don't really it. care. It could go either way. If it's if it's awful, then it's gonna be another Kenobi. Uh, but Quantum Leap, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, yeah, I I'm uh, a little bit different. I think the worst of the TV is the better the entertainment is. <laughs> So um, you're so chaotic I, I, evil. Roll on the review. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Loving the chaos. Just yeah. 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 Nothing wrong with that. Loving a little What's chaos. This Peru uh, is crushing it, man. It is so oh, good yeah. to see, man. You, you're just it's like, yeah, you're it, it, I would say it's lightning in the bottle, but it's not like this is going to take this is going to this is going to just take you to another place, man. So it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome yeah. to see. I, like the last few months, such as I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> it's just like, at some point, everything's gonna crash your bird. I'm like, oh, okay, wait. Like, that shit should be coming up. The one day at a time principle works for YouTubers too, not just for alcoholics. Just keep rolling. Don't worry about the future. You know, don't don't crash yourself. But like, just keep doing what you're doing. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, uh, well, I, you know, I like the reviews once they're finished, not while I'm doing them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. the I hear that. Right. Uh, and Quantum Leap's going to suck. I watched that, as made me watch that fucking god awful trailer. Yes. It's going to be a piece of shit. I promise you. It, so, it is looking hopeful. Be all the good <laughs> uh, Am I retarded? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are now. You are now. Uh, thanks, and see you next week. Uh, we've got, oh, We've got four more weeks to go of Rings of Power. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Man. Uh, Shad M. Brooks, author, swordsman, good guy, uh, and co-host on House of Dragon, uh, House of the Dragon with us, uh, which is, dude, we're getting so much good feedback. Uh, and uh, successful graphic novel campaigner. Dude, that is awesome, by the way. I mean, guys, the support, yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Um, we're up to 122% now funded, Ooh. which is wow. absolutely phenomenal, so cool. guys. Nice. So legendary. Uh, if anyone hasn't checked it out, do go check it out. It's just a top tier, high quality graphic novel. You can get leather bound versions. Second edition of my novel. If you haven't checked out my novel yet, best time to get it now. Special collector edition covers. Oh, gore, the leather bound, which is really nice. And look. Oh, special special merchandise look at that so yeah. so great so great and uh hopefully oh it's it's ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Ah. uh and yeah this is this is awesome i hope to make many more i'm uh, gonna we're gonna push forward oh, nice hat oh now i need to rep my geeks where's my geek oh where are my geeks oh, you're good sure. you- <laughs> Um, your fucking video got like 800,000 views of the one time you wore it. I think I got to wear this a lot more to pay you back. So. <laughs> uh, Shad, you're welcome back anytime. I'll just throw oh, it and stuff. Dude, I'd love to be here. Love it. Real, you guys are awesome. So much fun. And if you, hey, if I'm not wearing out my welcome, absolutely, guys. And it, the chat know, is dude. Shad wearing out his welcome. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. No <laughs> way. They ain't gonna say no. <laughs> I'm gonna say a special shout out to the quartering for for popping in. Yes. Always, always. Oh yeah, good to right. have Jeremy on here. Uh, Jeremy's great, and uh, I always appreciate him. He's a good guy. Gets a lot of shit. I uh, I think he's a good guy, but I don't want to ruin his rep. Totally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah. He's too nice. One point three hit one point three million subscribers oh, over there good. in the quarter. Well, Damn. Very cool. That guy, he grinds, man. That guy grinds. Like speaking no of grind, speaking geek of grind, grind. Geek grind, geek grind, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Camera's on the whole time, eh? <laughs> uh, links in the description. Lots of blends. Lots of blends. Yeah. Uh, uh, I drank uh, this one. They gave me some uh, KKK cups. This is the shit. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if once we're able to get those out and international shipping has started, uh, please support them because they support us. They support us, and uh, they're not going to hold any anything over our head, no strings attached. Uh, Ryan can be as racist as he wants on this show, and they're still going to support us, and God bless him for that, okay? Uh, Ogden3 has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. Damn. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, 
I'm working on the Rings of Power video. I'll be live on Sunday for House of the Dragon with Mahler, Shad, and Jane Theory. We're going to have nice. a girl. Ooh, Jane Theory. Nice. Ooh. Jane's cool. Ooh. Jane's girl. Jane's awesome. A girl. Another uh, so another another female for all the people that hate us to ignore the existence of <laughs> yes so, absolutely yeah mm -hmm. pretty much uh, uh, she's been you know she supports all our channels she has her own she's really cool great voice and knows her shit when it comes to uh, Lord of the Rings and a Song of Ice and Fire which really helps with House of the Dragon so yeah now, I've got a Marvel video I was gonna do a She Hulk mid season review episode like uh somebody got some shoes somebody got an outfit that they didn't put on and we saw <laughs> I'm like Ooh. It, it turned into a completely different video because I went on a rant and uh it just turned on into a completely different video much better idea to be honest with you than reviewing just fucking She-Hulk so uh that look for that next week too I think Perry's gonna edit it but that's it uh thanks geek grind thanks uh meta pcs thanks ev uh, the chat for supporting shad <laughs> Thanks for all the super chats and donations. Thank you to the Mod Rodics. You're awesome. And have a good night, everybody. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye. I hunted, Rob. I hunted for Toby Maguire's dick. <laughs> Friday night tights. You're about to get frostbitten. Get him. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. All you geeks and gamers better stop jerking off to me, okay? I smell like burnt hair and Julie. That isn't stopping you. I fuck you like you're retarded because I think you're all retarded. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. Frost bitten. Go frost. Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frost bitten. Go frost. Wow. Why like tights? Get him. Frost. You're not jerking off. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. <laughs> Weird. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. I am not qualified. <laughs> Go ahead. Make my day. Yeah. Call me Beaver Barbie. Bitch, you're that goddamn ugly. I jerked off to the dislike ratio. I'm not hot to you. No. No. What in the heck did I just walk into? <laughs> wow. People keep confusing me for a brief pubescent Justin Bieber. Someone in the chat called me Eminem mid transition. Frost bitten. Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frost bitten. Why did I type? Frost bitten. Now press F if you're not jerking off. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. I'm standing up for all the women at G4. Emily. Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Pocket, Scissors, Tape Dispenser, and Filing Cabinet. X-Ray, girl, she is a beautiful young Oriental. X-Ray, girl, give me cock. Ask them the price of cock. X-Ray, girl, what is this for you to stroke your chopstick to? <laughs> You don't like it? Go somewhere else. Peace. Peace. Oh, that was fantastic. I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> <laughs>
Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dame, dame.